<laughs> Hello, everyone. We've got Grink. What uh, is Grink? Boo boo. <laughs> there isn't really an explanation. There's some Hi, stupid Angel, <laughs> joke on my channel about a character named Gone Grink. I yeah. <laughs> All Hello, I everyone, and welcome to Green, the thing that I don't know anything about, but have no problem telling you all about it. Hi, everybody. Hi, Corky. Hi, Leon. Good to see you guys. Here I am, again. We are here, back in Security Breach for the third time this year, but you know what? We're okay with it. It's Security Breach time. Again. again. <laughs> and, but I this feel time, like I'm in a weird spot FNAF Groundhog's Day. This time we brought a special little somebody with us. I dr you guys dragged him kicking is? and screaming for your <laughs> laughing pleasure. <laughs> this time, Ubu's here, and he'll be your guide through the FNAF-themed Twilight Zone, where you have to keep playing the same game over and over all year. Indeed. That's, Imagine that's a amazing. world. Where you have to play video games, but it's the same video game over and over. It's yeah. not even that good of one. It's scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, for it's... some of you guys know, uh, we rather like this game. When it comes to uh, Five Nights at Freddy's games, any way I can get rid of this games, bar, this window. Uh, I don't. You? Oh, you could do the full screen projector instead of window projector, maybe. I will try it. Um. And when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's games, uh, this is kind of the only one that we really like playing, so... Because it's the only one that's actually a game. Uh, Ubu? Put Yo. those menus away. Your menus are... Man, my, my face gets, keeps getting broken, I told you. <laughs> Hi, guys. I, I can see you still. Your menus I just got are showing. Under the... There. Oh, there we go. I'm just, I'm just... Don't worry, it's gone. I think your it's menus gone. are showing is like the equivalent of your flies Whee! down. <laughs> How embarrassing you can see it. Uh, Ubu, can you still see the game? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. I have two sources, one that he could be streaming and one that, in case he was. Okay, so we are good. Um, as soon as I hit new game, it's going to immediately go into cutscenes, so is there anything? Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, Ubu, so why did why did you want to play this game? Why did you want to watch this game? Um, because uh, we talk, I, I talk about FNAF a lot, and I feel like it probably comes up a lot when I come on here. And so I was like, why not? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right. Fair Sounds enough. Good to me. Um, but yes, this is this is probably the only FNAF game we will play because we enjoyed this one. The other ones... I mean, maybe the VR one, but... Yeah, actually, I do want to play um, Help Wanted and the Help Wanted 2 when it comes out. So I am pretty excited about those. I think I'm the biggest FNAF you're, fan you're here. You're not going to play it. Oh, I, I, I'm not going to play it. I'm going to force you to play it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you're not going to play it. <laughs> <laughs> I am a big chicken in VR, so. I don't need VR headsets breaking as she tries to run out of the room and then it goes, Hook! Yeah, that's probably what would happen. But, <laughs> because we uh... like to record what we stream and that means you have to have a wire attached and that means, Hook! and down that's you go. Me, that's me choking, by the way. Well, Hook! it's you getting your head yanked because the cable's like, you can't leave physics. But yes, uh, it's good to see everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started and uh, play that sweet, sweet opening. <laughs> play it for my entertainment. Warning, this game uh -oh. contains fake jump scares, caution is advised for people, the history of seizures and other things like that. Fazbear Entertainment is not helpful. Hello, boys and girls. Fazbear Entertainment. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you don't have seizures because that warning just came and went really quickly. Yes, it did. <laughs> and in come the flashes. Look out! It's dead! Ah! <laughs> They're so scary! Oh, oh. They're not scary. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's funny because like the original like OG FNAF 1 animatronics already weren't really that scary to me. And then like this, it's like, no, they're just fursuit people. <laughs> they're too cute to be scary. That's why I like this yeah. one. They're just like mascot costumes, but robots. Exactly. What's not to love about mascot robots? The fandoms. Uh, <laughs> well, well that, we'll... that's about all I can think of, and that varies from fandom to fandom. In and within fandom. themselves, what is there not to like? <laughs> Truth. The kidnapping child technology yeah, that, that and capabilities. Part. That's impressive, though. That's okay. The general audience doesn't know that. <laughs> yeah, it's Freddy Mercury Bear. Oh, how cute they are. He goes, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Biting people. You don't know, 
Hey, little guy! Hey, little guy! My bicycle! They're so cool. Oh god, they Leon, scare I me. have seen what the internet's done to Chica. It's a scary, scary place, the internet, let me tell you. <laughs> and then all the kids are like, let's do the new Freddy Fazbear dance! And they all start glitching. <laughs> Is that like the new uh, planking? But you just like. The new glitch. Glitching. You can access here. Okay. Okay. That's the wrong game. We're playing safe mode because well, we're babies. Yes, In Willy's Wonderland, there was a gorilla and he could have come out and been like, okay. That's true. He could have. <laughs> I mean, by that logic, she could come out and do that. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Leon. The recharge cycle is not complete. Shot Somebody turn on Don's. Uh, I did. Input. Freddy. Down Freddy here. Head. Down where? Freddy. I still do not see you. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, Are so you I opened his stomach hatch and climbed inside. <laughs> Are you caught? <God>? What? <laughs> stomach hatch. <laughs> I have a stomach hatch? For oversized birthday cakes and Are you just another child? It is not a safe play area. I thought I felt full and fulfilled. <laughs> there uh, you are. Oh. Let, Jump let you scare. Scanning complete. You are oh, indeed a child. Your guest profile is unknown to me. Who are you? Because he's homeless. Ah! Uh, <laughs> That's the scariest Great. jump scare of all. Being homeless? <laughs> I will notify the it main just it happens before you can blink. Oh, connection error. Eddie did just. I Freddy did just give birth. The main network. It's her. The DLC was off. probably more for older FNAF fans who like a straightforward experience. Me. It was okay. Yeah, it was okay. Was like, it was a walking simulator. We were like, there were moments that. that were fun, but overall, we weren't a huge fan of the. <laughs> Hello. Hi, uh, Freddy. Of the DLC. <laughs> I but like we walking. also we also really like the open world of this one, so that's probably part of it. But it was more like a story, like it could have just been a movie. But that's basically yeah. what it played like. There was a couple puzzles. It was just like, oh, once you understood it, it was like, find the MacGuffin and yeah. then move forward. That's basically what the game. That was. is the security guard. She can help. No, it's no, Vanessa. Her. It's purple Don't guy. I thought she was a police officer. Get me. Isn't there some other way she's for you to communicate with me besides in an alternate, talking In the book, like... she's a firefighter. Really? It is a novelty Freddy Fazbear. Yeah. No, you're you're gaslighting me, aren't you, Boo Boo? <laughs> I was like, really? Because everyone always talks about the books, and I I have not, and probably won't read the books, and so I'm just like instantly convinced that they're telling the truth. In, in the comic, she's a paramedic. Uh huh. <laughs> and I don't know what other medium there is. What was that? In the, in the hieroglyph, she's a chef. <laughs> Gregory's got some hobs. Wee! Wee! Hello, Gregory. Basketball is Freddy. my favorite sport. I, will escort you to the main entrance. However, I think I hockey is my favorite this... sport, but I don't really you like sports, so it's just the one that I like the least. That, like the the that you hate. <laughs> yeah, that, that I hate the I least. like it yeah. the least, so I like it the most. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you hate it the least. Yeah, I like how barbaric hockey is because they just like beat each other. Yeah. They're really aggressive. It's a very raw sport. Well done, yeah. Gregory. There is an open it's air vent inside the main room. And unedited. Unlike that stupid baseball. The outside. <laughs> no, it's not edited. We just all wish it was. <laughs> Unlike that stupid backgammon. So you are small. Uh, could you imagine that adventure? Hop, hop, hop. You break Miss. your leg. Ah! <laughs> He's just stuck Freddy! back here. And Freddy's like, I can't go back there. I am in safe mode. And it's well, like, if it makes you feel any better, I don't think anyone's going to keep you in there. <laughs> yeah, there's the plot hole to this game. Yeah, what if the small child fell off the massive boxes? What if he just stayed here until 6 a.m.? Well then, uh, uh, uh that's then a good question. Then there'd be no game, and then we couldn't go fight the DJ and have an awesome Your music. Perfect tonight. I like the idea okay. of it not even being music, man. It's just Your like hands. a dude. <laughs> <laughs> just like a like they went on Unity and found base uh, human <laughs> asset, like in the Unity <laughs> asset store. 
basic man <laughs> T poses for dominance, and he's got a lot of poses to T. Mm -hmm. Corky, you've <laughs> seen you've seen poses. through this game, right? You know the big music man, right? He's very cool. He looks like Spideris from uh, Miss Spider's Sunny Patch Friends, but with a music man head. Monty, uh, Monty's not so happy about the performance. You're going down the vents, you see the purple at the end, that represents the purple guy that's not gonna be <gasps> in the show. Purple guy! Uh, guys, purple guy, confirmed! Matthew Lillard, air duct? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's the guy who was, uh... Oh, that's right, that's right. No, I think you're confused, his name is Shaggy. I was gonna say Shaggy? That's what Shaggy I wanted to do, say. Shaggy do, air duct? And I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you and your darn kids. Was that the bite of 87? <laughs> Ooh. Yes. The bite of 87. Was that, like, really loud for you guys? Also, hi, Serenity! Hello. Let me in. Duh, duh, duh. Let me in. You wanna go see Chica? <laughs> Chica's Ugh. so cute. Now we've been introduced to the crew. Yep. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen. And gentlemen. Look, I it's did. the MVP of the movie. Oh my gosh, oh my it got God. the most kills, it the most, guys! It did the most mayhem, and yet it got claimed the least number of YouTubers when it was played. That cupcake got the moves like Jagger. Really, though? I was a little disappointed how much of the... It's because it could lead to the most PG-13-esque kills. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a bummer. He'll be impaled through the chest, PG-13. He'll be thrown off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what's gonna happen when they put Ennard in the movies? Uh, they Nothing. can't do anything with him. They should have already done it. Yeah, they should have done they should have done every animatronic at once. Yeah, all of them. The first act, little girl already's puppet. He's just like, uh, my name is Josh Hutchison, and this is my sister? Question mark? Daughter? Question mark? It might have. You know what? It might have just been a lot better if they were like Act One went into Act Two, but instead it went from Act One into Question Mark into Act Three. Fifty twenty mode. Exactly, Corky. Exactly. <laughs> oh, hi, friend. No. Nope. <laughs> just oh, you, you could do it. I know how to get you. <laughs> this out. is where he oh, grabs. Yeah. Climb back into my chest cavity. This is where it's a completely different game. He just grabs you by the hurry. head. Throws you into the wall and goes running out. You find out he's still glitched. He's like, <laughs> and just starts working up the place. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, but you better be careful moving around. I don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel. I don't want to get spring locked. That's a For verb reals, now. Though, like Gregory could not fit in there. I don't want to get aftened. <laughs> oh, purple stage. Purple stage. Purple stage. What would be here? Like, who goes purple. here? Purple. Purple guy. There's oh, a button. He holds a button. hand out. Hold on. Let me Hit out. the button. No. Let, 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 out. Out. Push button. Huh. He won't let me out. I'm trapped. Maybe if you stomp on it, the weight will push it down. Can't. He can't jump. Use your big bear toes. Use your big bear power to destroy that button. <gasps> did you see that? that like what was did that? Did you see that? Yeah, that I was did. the I bite even... of 87? Was that... uh, guys, did you, Chad, did you guys see that though? Like, there was so, I've never seen that before. Hold on. Okay, so. Replay. Uba, I know we make a lot of jokes, but I actually really love this game, so. I mean, it looks very entertaining. I've never played it and I probably never will, but it looks entertaining. Well, Alright, so I watched so many people back. play it. Pay attention. There's Look something the in the court upper. Because Don corner. has the PS5 and. Oh! It was! It was totally like an endo, just like creeping down the yeah. wall. Yep, yeah, everybody saw that. Let's watch it again. Almost. There almost. it is. Who is it? Who is it? It's, I never noticed that it's, either, Serenity! It's Freddy Shadow, seen from Fruit the side. Punch Clown. Fruit Punch Clown. It's, um... It's crawling on the wall. Is it crawling, or is it Freddy walking down, and it's... Um, oh, no. I, it's crawling. Yeah, it's it's obviously supposed to be a little something that they put in, so you're like... Whoa, 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 whoa. You mean exactly what just happened to me? <laughs> yeah. 
See, they did it. It only took 80 playthroughs, but it finally paid off for y'all. Three times a week for a year, apparently. Three times a week. This is our job now. You would never suspect we are traveling together. But yes, that that was creepy. still do our best to avoid her. That was Spider-Man. Oh yeah, you're right, it was. That was scarier than everything that the movie did. I feel you are. You didn't like uh, when the cupcake no. uh, chews on his leg for a little bit? Oh man, the cupcake was the MVP. The it did everything. Station. It solved There's the mystery. No it fine. was the famous lost sixth child. <laughs> it got the most kills. It did the most damage. Afton replaces his own head with it. Yeah, that's where you realize the cupcake was the real villain all along. Mm hmm. No, it was. I, I was really enjoying the movie up until about after the. Um, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Who was it? Uh, after the uh, break in. I, I do not know how I got here. Oh. Well, like totally the movie made sense up to that point where like the thing the happened. Show. I'm not trying now, to spoil it, and then there was a break in. Have you on reduced mm -hmm. power. And it's like okay, but then it all just started falling apart. Just one more thing to deal with. <laughs> Time <Tyler! laughs> Oh, Again! Hi, how are you? Thank you. If you see you, anything, for the notify song. me immediately. I already alerted the others. Now, I like how the, the horizontal view of us peeking through the curtain kind of looks like we're watching it's a TikTok. YouTube short. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, okay, chat, y'all take that clip and put some, like, really bass-boosted, like, hip-hop music behind it and subtitles underneath, and you got I yourselves you a viral video. A viral vid video of, of us I saying it's a viral sense. video. Let yeah, and there make sure that, like, at least five of the words in the subtitles aren't at all what Vanessa said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if you see anything let me know <laughs> and it's just so because she's a real sigma should... male i yeah. guess okay like just to... where are we when i first finished watching the fnaf movie i was like that was boring but it was it wasn't bad but it definitely wasn't good like that's how i felt about it oh yeah Roxy Raceway. I gotcha. They are all yeah, accessible I, to staff. That, I think that's how Aspen felt, too. At yes, first, she so was like, this is silly, and then she was like, ah, this is dumb. Yours and I was like, special it's situation. silly. You know, it's not like a movie that well, I'd spend the, money on. But. The thing that got <laughs> weird about it was... Uh -oh, um, power. Usually the way I... It's like, okay, it was an okay movie. Like, I wouldn't say it was like... It wasn't bad. I have definitely not even close to the worst I've ever seen, but... Mm -hmm. I am terribly sorry. Like, not even close to that. Like, not yet but yeah. it I definitely could have been way better as a you movie. And I think the... Me. I, I'm I sure the person who said it, because I, I don't remember who it was, just some random things trouble. on the internet. I don't know if I can do this alone. Now we gotta do this alone. Um, Uh-oh. Because Freddy's gotta recharge. So I know you haven't <laughs> played this before, and I'm talking over it like you have. Hey, he can still wave. Look at the... You have broken the laws of physics. If Robocop was here, you'd be through that wall. Um, I get a little privacy. <laughs> so, <laughs> the thing that kind of changed my mind from, um, I can, reading. Hi, Miko! <laughs> the, the thing that kind of got me to go from a mediocre, like, media movie oh, to this is bad. bad was how many, like, quick little rewrites that I could have thought of in, like, seconds that mm. would have made it way better. Like, here's a good example. When the dude at the beginning was going to try to offer him the job and he was leaving, when he gave him the card, he could have said something cool like, here, take my card. I know a lot of people, when they're in your situation, come back. You know, because they always come <laughs> back. Maybe yeah. something to foreshadow the idea. And then, you know, another part would have been showing someone watching Mike being asleep on the job because they have a camera on him. And then on his little mm. coffee cup or his desk, it shows Michael Afton. So that when we get to the end of the movie and they're like, this is Michael Afton, you're like, oh my gosh, they're the same person. Instead Not of who's that. Michael Afton like, if, if you're you watching the movie. Like, you didn't already movies. know the, the lore, like, I And so the part like... that I disagreed with somebody posted was like, it'd be a great movie for people who haven't seen anything with Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'm like, no, because then I'd be like, who's Afton? Yeah. Yeah, it's... 
Oh, geez. It's Maybe like, I could distract her with something. the only reason that the big reveal, you know, is like a thing is it's like that's the only like other person in this movie who hasn't who's been in only one scene so he's got to show up show up at some point because it's yeah. he's played by him you know that's like the only other person in this movie i recognize other mm. than the main guy so he's probably going to be something other than the one scene you've seen him in hey look but it's golden freddy but but you're right the, oh my gosh <gasps> it's go hey. <laughs> but that that was like and that's just a couple examples because then yeah, when he they're... looked at him and said I always come back it's like oh my gosh that's like kind of but they tried to do that in a weird way of being like uh that's two things and it's like why would Vanessa quote that back at her father like she's trying to be like look I'm more like Michael but that wouldn't make sense because she wasn't there for that conversation and also there could have been some foreshadowing about after he left who he was talking to he could have been like after Michael left the office for at the beginning he could have been talking to someone, and he's like, keep an eye on him. I, based on his file, he's desperate enough to come back. You know, he could have said it then. They always come back. <laughs> and he likes, he's writing a note, and he looks up, and he's like, keep an eye on him. And then you see someone step into focus, and they're like, you see behind them, and maybe and you see their hair. Vanessa, and yeah. that would have been Vanessa yeah. hinting like some, at oh, somebody's, hi, hi, you know. Just a little more foreshadowing <laughs> and a little less <laughs> random things. Yeah, it, he's coming. <laughs> there, there was no foreshadowing at all. <laughs> like right. unless, uh, unless you're already well aware of FNAF. But see, that would have like... been the. I'm running from everyone right now. Um, that would have been the <laughs> point that I guess I'd make is like if you're making a movie, that's a great time to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't need the lore to be set to be a certain thing. Oh, I'm just Chica broke. like I'm not committed to any of the lore myself. I, I know just enough from like being entertained from some random YouTube videos or something. But um, well, yeah. Gregory, other than that, it's like. Yeah, I'm not the like um. Oh my gosh, they didn't follow the lore because the puppet dies first, and then right. put gives. Gives yeah, gifts gives life to the other ones. You know, I I don't care. Yeah, like about I, that I, necessarily. If they if if this was a time to like rewrite it and try to set a certain like this the is how the story is, great. But it didn't even follow door. its own. How am I gonna get out of here? Events. Yeah. Or, it, or it, it, and the other thing I would have done have Michael Afton um because his goal would be to try to get the kid right. That's his M O. It's like mm -hmm. once he d refuses to take the job, he looks in his file again, sees that there's the weird, like, paternity case. Sorry, spoilers at this point, since I'm talking about it so much. <laughs> if I watch the movie, Freddy it's, movie it's... spoil. Honestly, okay. I'm pretty sure everyone's already seen it by now, so you guys are probably fine, but. Um. But if it would have been she was asked or told about his, um... Leon, oh, okay. spoiler alert, because we're talking well, about the movie. I'm still keeping it kind of general, if I can. If, if there would have been somebody who was, like, tipping off other events, like other family members, and, like, promising them something else, giving more motive, and then it's, like, basically seeking revenge for things like that. Oh, okay, cool. Mm. Um... Spoiler for everybody else. If the if if the aunt would have been basically told by the recruiter uh, that hey he lost his job right, then mm -hmm. there could have been a whole thing. Where you, you and a lot of people, Leon. I think Corky and uh, included. <laughs> where it's like, why is it that? And and then the other thing is when they got picked up, or when you know the girl, the sister, daughter thing, whatever came to be collected so to speak and that was um instead of it being what i'm assuming was some version of golden freddy but looked more like sans freddy um if that one would have been afton it would have made sense that bye bye to the ant because it's like i told you to scare him and make him desperate or I told you the information to yeah. make him desperate, not come and wreck my hideout, you know? The, yeah, that was another, that was one thing that I was like, wait, why? Like Exactly. Yeah. Was, I, they, that's what I'm saying. The, the motive up to that point, like with the ant. The subplot was too sub, a little bit too sub. Too sub, you know? not enough, like, this is the main plot. Or even yeah, the switch, where know. it's like... But hey, that's just a... a rewrite. Big, a good rewrite. A Dawn rewrite. That's just a, a weird plot with a few things that need working out in it. I mean, yeah. to be honest, the rewrite for Monster Hunter the movie no, was no. like... 
Wait, I'm still here. Redo most of the movie. Now like, what am I mm, supposed to do? That's that an movie's old way worse. You guys might remember that one time Don basically went on a rant and rewrote the entire Monster Hunter movie. But, uh, I don't know, maybe some oh, that of the came old out. remember that. Yeah, that's a real thing. Oh, that came out a while ago. I mean, I... I knew it was a thing, I didn't know it was out yet. Last I heard it was gonna be like, US Marines shoot dragons or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it isn't. It should have been, but it wasn't. <laughs> it should have been, that's what I want from Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's <laughs> I, exactly Leon. I thought it would have been cool with the idea of having like a... Military no, grade nice. Humvee or tank fighting a Monster Hunter monster. But they were like, our guns are ineffective, and it's like, Here's a better idea. Instead of having a throwaway line where a military person says, Oh, our guns don't work. Maybe show them using their guns and how it's not working or it's like tickling the monster. Like, you know, the Devil Joe or the Rathlos or whatever it was they were shooting. And instead, have them shoot bullets and it's not working. And then show the hunter off in the distance, like shoot with the longbow gun or something and show the gigantic caliber that is the entire bone husk that they're shooting with. And it's like, kaboom! And then the thing actually like launches to the side. And then as they're driving their big Humvee in the desert and the thing is charging at the, the monster's charging, they're like, there's a man up ahead. There's a what? And there's a dude and he's got a big lance, you know, like a gun lance or something. And they're like, what is going on? And then they try to swerve. And the guy with the gun lance just like shield is bashes the truck out of the side. You? I'm just putting this here for people to read. Shield bashes their Humvee out of the way, and then when the thing comes by, he blocks it again, and then a dual blade person spins all over the monster, and it knocks its tail off, and then they run away. And then you just see the other Monster Hunter person doing the gestures, like, come over here, and they're, like, waving drastically, and they're like, I just, go, go, go! And then they get out of the vehicle, and they just start running. And then they're just, like, pantomiming, because they don't speak their language, because they speak a Monster Hunter language. Oh. Now Instead, I don't know. They have someone oh. sit there and fight I, over water. I, <laughs> Go ahead. So I, I only know a little bit about Monster Hunter, and I don't know anything about the movie. But as you were saying all that, <laughs> my first thought was, what if like they fight something really small? Because I know there's like different tiers, different like powers. Oh yeah. Power yeah. dragon monsters and stuff. What if like. You know, the for whatever I don't know why they're there. I don't know what's going on within the plot of this movie. But let's say U.S. soldier guys mm -hmm. they show up in Monster Hunter Land and they fight something really, really, really small. And, and they guns, lost. They lost terribly well, to it. I was gonna say they all guns, died. <laughs> good. Okay. And then the movie <laughs> ends. It was just a, it was just a YouTube video. Basically. But, um, I think, what if, like, it was about these, you know, just, like, normal people, and they, they realize what kind of world they're in, and the re the way they realize it is by fighting this little thing, you know, mm -hmm. what, for, for the gamers out there, they're like, that's a little baby monster hunter, you yeah. know, um, they're shooting at it, and eventually they kill it, but it's, like, a grueling battle that takes forever, uh -huh. and, and then they use the scales and stuff, to like make armor yep. and then like make weapons and then, and then they go fights yeah and they and they level up dare i say yep. and they and then they like use the little weapons they made from little monster and fight something a little bit stronger and they realize hey this works a bit better and then it's like we're in another world we need to save these people from the big monsters you know that kind of thing but they're like i don't know i think that sounds kind of neat because it's like it's because I don't understand like the thought of like our guns don't work. You know, it's like right. our our super bullets do not, you know, or, or like our our blinding fast lead projectiles do not work against an animal. That's you know, as you do. Yep. Uh, that doesn't make sense to me. But I think like maybe something with like really thick scales. It's you know a little bit. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, and then, it, it, oh, I pretty much had the same thought you did 
that but I, that would have been a lot better if they're just like okay we're in some new land let's adapt and we'll survive uh, you know like like basically what you were saying nah they don't do that at all Freddy, okay you guys, they, should, was, uh, you guys should do a movie grits for that monster hunter no, I, think you know. I, I watched that movie on the <laughs> first time I watched that movie in fast forward it was so boring I own the movie I am not watching it again you're not a proud owner of the movie. no i am not owner. i thought it was going to be like the resident evil movies mediocre but still kind of fun if you like the source material no mm. not even close the best well, part about it was like one of the people was like the actor who played hellboy before <laughs> oh uh ron perlman i think so yeah and that wasn't an, like all of the action takes place in the last like um No uh -oh. no no. Ooh, yeah, that's no, a no. that's a tough question. What's Which that? one's worse, Dragon Ball Evolution or Monster Hunter? Movie? Dragon Ball Evolution. Never watched it, never will. I watched the movie Grits for I watched it. Yeah, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. It's stupid. I'm to um, baby. I watched Dragon Ball Evolution as a child when I was a lot more forgiving and I still hated it. Um, That's how you know it's bad. Chica, yeah. we're not in there. I am, but how would she know? Chica, we're not in there. Go away. She's unoccupied. Her battery ran out. She has to go back to one of those recharge stations, but there's not one close by, so she's just dead now. <laughs> Chica, we're not in there. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, maybe that would be a good movie grits movie because I'm completely indifferent to Monster Hunter and I don't even know if Aspen knows what Monster Hunter She checked Hunter is. the one next to me that and then walked weird. off. That was weird. She like went down to it. Oh, guys, watch. Cool trick. No, it's confirmed. It's legit. That's just not real. It's Intangible. AR. Because in, uh, in um, augmented reality, it literally augments your reality. <gasps> no, it doesn't. Whoa. Not at all. It's not possible. <laughs> yes, it is. If Unless you the whole hard world enough. is VR. Oh, I guess your guy's not doing the tracking thing. Mine isn't. Well, no. last time I, last time I pulled it up, everyone was like, "Ooh, boo, you're sad." <laughs> okay, there she is again. How is no, she back up ahead, here so fast? <laughs> tease you for it. I'll just avoid the little window because it's funny. Okay. I'm just saying it's gonna do this every once in a while. That's alright. I don't know why. Yeah, look, cause my my dude's mouth lines are going up into the ceiling. But why? Why do they want to be in the ceiling? I'm telling you, almost every time I, I don't do know. this art, this is what happens. I just get stuck in the loop. Calibrate. 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 Celebration. Celebration is good for the ubu. Calibration time, come on. Calibration. It does not want to calibrate. <laughs> is that come the imagination on. song from yeah. South Park? <laughs> yeah, if you sing it right. Calibration. Or something like that. If you remember it, then you get it to calibrate correctly. But if not... But if not, it doesn't. Calibration. I'm silly. Oh, dance party! Oh, 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 ow, wow, ow. We changed our song. It's a calibration song! Thank you, Serenity! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll fix it. It didn't. Aww. It's a thought that counts. Y'all see how much I, I'm pressed in this caliber place. I, I know you I said it's it. the thought that counts, but in my mind, I heard it's the plot that counts, and I was gonna say, the... yeah, but not for the movie. Oh. Not in the FNAF movie! <laughs> Where is she? I don't know. I'm running for it. Well, I hope y'all enjoy this static image, because I don't think that's changing anytime soon. Alrighty. Nope, nope, I'm getting lost, though. Have you ever seen Lost Chica? Have That's ever... a good show with an island and a polar bear that never gets explained, question mark? It is. is this a real thing? What are you talking about? I thought lost? it was a TV series. Yeah. It's a TV series about people who get lost on a, on a weird no, you island. you said Lost Chica. I thought that the show... You were, you Have were you asking Chica. Have you ever seen Chica. Lost, comma, Chica? 
I was thinking it was called Lost Chica, and I was like, is this like a YouTube I'm show? I'm sure somebody would buy that. <laughs> I'd buy that for a dollar. It's Lost it's Chica. It's just Lost, except everyone is Chica. It's just Lost, except with FNAF characters. Actually, I would oh, watch no. that. I think people would watch that. Their entire watch it. entire uh, YouTube channels that are basically just that. Like Squid Games, but with Baldi's Basics and Five Night Funkin' or whatever. The Five Night at Freddy's. Would you Would you watch RoboCop gets hired? RoboCop versus FNAF. Oh no! So Donnie and I had <laughs> yeah. this this funny like, OCP buys F Fazbear oh, Entertainment. Man. Yeah. Now we can kind of. Because we've been playing the RoboCop game, it was just ah, okay. like in our head, like, what if OCP bought? Okay, uh, you'll be safe here. I have to use the restroom. Oh, I don't oh, have a so Don BRB. Yeah. Okay. Good luck. Hi, Green Dragon. Oh. Uh, uh, we're falling. gonna do a little Don, and then a little BRB. I'll try not to take too long. Okay, so I'm playing now. Good luck. Um. <laughs> Ubo. I don't know why. I'm not brave. But are you bold? I'm not brave. I'm just dying. <laughs> That's <a dumb laughs> <saying. laughs> How do I? Okay. You gotta get brave. Okay, I'll be brave. Get brave, or you'll go to the grave. That's what I always say. So did we? The the hippo magnet did the thing. So now where do we? That's a good question. For someone who's played this game. Mm, yeah. Uh, Green Dragon, this is the only FNAF game that we, uh, that, that we have any desire to play. Besides the VR ones. We're not really a fan of the older games. Like, as far as games to play, they're fun to watch other people watch, like, play it. But, uh, we, we're not super down with, like, playing on ourselves. Don just doesn't find them very entertaining. Um. I've played a few of them. I really like Pizzeria Simulator. That one does I... seem su seem fun. That like I yeah. I would play Pizzeria Simulator. And I like the idea of Ultimate Custom Night a lot, um, especially since it's free. That that free fr price point is always a. <laughs> That's a, you a buy that for a dollar. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy that for free. Um, I mean that that's like the same thing with Wii Sports. Everyone has like massive nostalgia for Wii Sports and I have to wonder how much of that is are you really going to criticize a game you got for free? You know? Um, the first FNAF game, even though I've played a very small amount of it, it's got a, a special little place in my heart just because it, it started it, you know? Yeah, and it yeah. wasn't convoluted. It was just like, it's implied, they're haunted by dead kids, and there's a joke about the bite of 87 in the intro and that's yeah, it yeah. That's, that's, that's all the lore it was before um, like it got nutty yeah literally the next game is when like everything started to just deteriorate plot wise but uh but yeah the first one i feel like in its simplicity Stop. it it accomplished what i what it set out to do um and the other ones look interesting enough, but I don't know if I'll ever play them. I Sister Location could have been fun. I, like, I think I get what it was going for, but I don't think it stuck the landing. So, uh, and I don't want to play FNAF 4 because it's a bit much. I don't really want to play 3 or 2, and that's kind of it. Yeah. I definitely enjoy this one, I'm, and in spite of my massive fear in VR, uh, one day I would mm. like to try. Like, I, I, even the slightest things scare me when it comes to scary things in VR, so I'd like to, like, get up the courage to try it, um, but we'll see if that ever happens. <laughs> yeah. I, I will say, as a horror series, at, not as a video game series, I have to give props to two... Three, I guess. I do four, like three. Kind of. Uh, yeah. That, like, that one was my favorite one to watch Markiplier play. Yeah, oh, guys, I. We made it to the daycare. Gregory, nice. We're here. It's the character that everyone likes. The one that uh has like multiple personality disorder. Um. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, cause like. I always maintain 
that a lot of FNAF characters, design-wise, really aren't that scary. But the puppet from two, uh, yeah. spring trap from three. It's hard for me to say the animatronics from four because they're like really try hard, I'm do which this I. Real quick. Um, okay. Because I I don't want the oops not video the audio to like be over. Okay, so no, we already turned it down a little bit, so it should be. Okay. From the last time we played this. <laughs> I just didn't gotcha. want the uh, character audio to be over your audio, Ubu, so I was just checking real quick. <laughs> like, I think that... Because they fuck yeah. <laughs> you can't even hear me. And that's what I think. What do y'all think? And they're like, we didn't hear it. Um, I I'm think, yeah, I... Balls. Alrighty. I think the FNAF 4 animatronic designs are a bit too try-hard, which I get that's what it's going for. And you know, once it's like in your face and you hear the breathing and crap, that's like it is spooky. But they're it's scary, a bit too but much like, yeah, I agree with you. The th I think the thing that um, really sells Five Nights at Freddy's characters is that because they don't look scary, but they do scary things. That's what makes mm. them frightening. Um, like, like yeah. this guy right here. Friend, His design have, oh, is a bit scary. Yeah, and I have no control right now, so they've we taken away my ability to, to really. But he doesn't look scary. Mm. But if you think about it, rule. he's not letting Keep me do anything. Oh. You know. And then oh, he uses you. that no, no, that I voice. You know. The, the sun guy is more abrasive to me than scary. What the heck? I guess Monty's here apparently. Oh, it was that was <laughs> okay. Pink I was like, Hi. A glitch? that would be a surprise. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily uh, think Sun is scary. I think his design is scarier than like a bunch of the other animatronics. No! But let me go. Sun, Sun's voice is scarier. Yeah. Sun's voice is just or uh, Moon's voice is scarier. Sun's voice is just the like clean up, clean up, clean up. Yeah. The, the, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> um, but uh, what else? I think, I think if honestly, it's kind of interesting to me. They they like they missed the ver the elephant in the room when it comes to animatronics being spooky, which is just like if you look at like old older timey animatronics in the real world, those are like horrifying. Yeah. Like, I like, don't know, he's pretty horrifying right now. <laughs> I mean, the way he walks is really strange and, like, bizarrely ethereal for a robot, but, Indeed. um, I don't I'm know, there's sure something... I where I'm supposed to go for. I'm pretty sure oh, come you on. press... Wow, he's fast. I'm pretty sure you press the button behind the desk and then he becomes evil. Is it that? Okay, I, I was back over there and I couldn't remember what I was supposed to do. All right, all right, mister. <laughs> all right, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Him consistently picking you up over and over isn't scary, it's just annoying. <laughs> okay, I'm, gotta hit the thing I'm next trying. Door. There we go. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, and funnily enough, I think one of the scariest designs from the entire series is like an animatronic that's not even a threat to you in the game it comes out in, which is Music Man and Pizzeria Simulator. Mm. I, it's funny. I think Mangle is pretty scary because of like the way that it's all taken apart and stuff, but it's mm. also really cute, so it's hard to like be scared. I think Mangle's cool. Yeah, me I too. wouldn't call Mangle scary so much as like interesting and cool. I don't know. Maybe I maybe I'm just quirky and weird, and I have a different standard for what's scary than other people. But <laughs> oh no, he's gonna put on a nightcap and paint his pants. Paint his pants. You like it? I usually don't do this. Don's usually playing. Well, now it's your turn to prove that you're brave. <laughs> Try to be brave. <laughs> I do not know what you did, but the lights are out in the daycare. You need to find the emergency. Oh. Gregory, what the heck was that? They are in the play structure. Gregory, that was not very poggers I'm of not you. Going out there without Gregory, a why would someone it's program a robot right. to turn evil? Oh. Here, huh? Uh, yup. 
<laughs> uh, probably. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Can't you just, like, knock the things over, like, a bunch of times, and it'll, like, kind of softlock him into just stacking them over and over? Yes. Uh... Don, you need, uh, when you get back, you do, uh, Don slash back, sort of like the BRB. Oh, okay. Clean up! Clean up! Bum, 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 bum. This section kind of reminds me, I know it's like topical because it's the popular thing that people have been uh, watching and talking about. Yeah. Have y'all seen, uh, uh, what is it, the, the, the digital circus thing yeah. on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> you, y'all sound ahead. really... <laughs> yeah. You I... sound really enthused about it. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we have seen it. Okay. I saw it. I, I also watched it. You did? Yes, you I did. You said you didn't. I did. I already watched it when you were sharing it with me. That's why I was like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. <sighs> what did you think of it, Ubu? I, I mean, I enjoyed it, I guess. I, I've been a, like, fan of Gooseworks for a few years, so I just kind of watched it on precedent of everything else she's made I've enjoyed. Mm. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's, like, my favorite thing she's made, though. I think the reason that people are head over heels about it or just because they're just finding out about Gooseworks more than anything. They're quirky. <laughs> yeah. I love watching um, fi a, a few years of Backroom's liminal subspace wrapped up in the one plot line. Hi, Green Dragon! Thanks for <laughs> popping in! Or just, I love it when people who know nothing about computer science make a show about computer science. Mm. Oh, hi, Chibi! Good to see you! But, you yeah, know, my... I I didn't get the hype. I don't understand why it has so many views, and I, I have a feeling it's going to be who... people's identity. Yeah, it definitely seems like one of those shows, which is sad to me because, like I said, I've been a fan of Gooseworks for a while, and like I don't know her the stuff that she's just like put on YouTube. It's never even like occurred to me that just like an animator on the internet is doing this because uh -huh. it's like really well made um and ha and it it has like a direction and an identity to well it, you like know? not okay and I'll, maybe, maybe if i put it this way people won't be too disgusted with me <laughs> um because i know people absolutely love it but i'm gonna poke holes in it because i have a very high standard and i hold myself to it which is why i have at the cost of my own health done what i did for you're about to die uh, yeah. done what I did for... <laughs> Don't uh, say that! You're scaring what? me already! You are! He's right behind you. You can't hear it? I can, but I don't know what to do about it! I mean, maybe I if you had your eyes on... children should be found. Anyway... Here we go. <laughs> I don't think that the... Amazing Digital Circus was... Worse than Five Nights at Freddy's movie. I think the Five Nights at Freddy's movie was worse. Um, however, the there's a pretty big, like, improvement that could be made, no, like, uh, the idea of the character, um, oh, get away from me. the main character's freakout was delayed weirdly when they were touring them to the doors, and they're like, mm. oh, here's your room, and she saw the picture of herself, or his self, or whatever, and didn't have a weird, like, that's what I look at moment. No, there was, like, an out-of-order scene where then they saw a reflection oh. in a mirror, and they believed oh, that, and no, then had the little no, freak out. No. And it's like, I'm gonna you know, what's going to happen here? I can't here. go up this slide. He's, um, I don't even know which way I'm facing. And just the idea of it's like, what's the plot? It's they're quirky characters, and like, okay, so the voice actor, so the rabbit is just that one Stay character. Stay away! Jump. The character who is uh, from the has been hotel, and it's like, I don't, I like the voice actor. I, you know, if I got to do something that I would want a character that's snarky and has that attitude, I think you'd do a great job at it. Or she, I don't even know, personally. Um, and so it's just like, cool. But what's... I, I don't know. It, I don't I don't think it's bad, but I didn't get the... Like, I didn't fall in love with it like uh, other people have, so... No, I get it. I, I don't I know. I mean, the, the reason that I brought up, like, uh, Gooseworks' stuff in the past is because... I, didn't, I don't even know anything the, about Gooseworks. Like, what else did... Gooseworks do. I mean... I might, I just don't know. I mean, I don't know <laughs> Hi, if it's anything Karma. that, like... 
I don't know if it's anything you'd really know. I'm not saying like it's obscure, or, but it's not like uh, I I heard everyone talking about it. The only sure. thing I've ever heard like anyone else bring up is this. I do have a friend uh, who, who like I, I met through like gal streams who like knew who Gooseworks was, and that's pretty much it. Oh, okay. but um, I I found out about Gooseworks because <laughs> she used to do a lot of music stuff, and whenever Undertale came out she did like uh covers of like undertale songs oh. and um and then well, later this. i was later i was like oh she also does animations and i really like the animations but hmm. the animations are like if characters talk it's almost like banjo kazoo and text bubbles uh. like it it's it was always really interesting to me <laughs> because even though i'm watching an animation it feels like a weird banjo kazooie world in particular i don't know it, it's it's hard to explain i just always thought it was really high quality stuff amazing digital circus though is like it's her idea but handled by like a team of people i see and yeah and, and I, I get exactly what no! you're saying is like things things happen out of order and uh one thing i thought is like some of the jokes would like not really land you know like there were some things that were like funny to me, no, like no, uh, no, 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 no. Well, it's him. Oh, it's the wall! You suck. Um, <laughs> give me the controller. I suck at this. <laughs> she like climbed up the couch, and I'm just sitting here watching this happen. And just like, what are you doing? All right, now you guys get to watch Don like own this. Like it's easy. <laughs> I'm just like struggling. It's gonna take him like five minutes to do this. <laughs> I, I don't. Thank you all for coming to Meg Plays Security Breach Poorly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, right, Don, show us how it's done while I keep yeah. talking about the show circus. It's Whoa! It's fine. Um, but, uh, uh... But yeah, like, there were some jokes that were funny, and then there were some jokes that didn't land. And I feel like... I don't think... Whenever... I mean, I guess what was the joke that you felt landed? Because, like, I must have missed all of them. It was... It was honestly some, like, smaller stuff that just kind of reminded me of, like, older stuff she's done. Like when it shows uh, Kinger and what's uh, the Gangle or whatever the the, the one like, that's like a uh, the, the theater mask, mask yeah. one. Oh, yeah. okay, sure. And he just like starts violently vibrating. That reminded me of something that would happen in like one of her other animations, and I thought it was funny. But um, I don't. I mean, I'm not like a big fan of Jax as a character, and I felt like Kinger has the capacity to be funny, but. Mm -hmm depended too much on like non sequiturs that were like that sounded like a fifth grader or something yeah like what the, what a fifth grader would think is funny that's um, kind of how i felt I, yeah. I, I agree with that yeah i totally felt the same way but, i was trying to figure out who the target audience was well i'm pretty sure glitch the, the thing that like put them on the map is uh what is it like smg4 which are like the Mario animations for oh, hyperactive they do that? children. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. If that, that should give you an... So it's like an idea from a talented individual made by a team of people headed up by SMG4. <laughs> so, I, so Ubu, I guess what you're saying the, you is mean that... You the rip-off artists? No, the people who worked on Amazing Digital Circus, all of them are like YouTube people. Yeah, there's like actual professional animators and like, uh, you know, pe people who have done this for a while. And then you have people who have technically done this for a while. But what they've been doing is for is like the reason that the like the youngest gen the, like the next generation of people is like spasmatic. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, My sister, yeah. I think she buys stuff from them and I'm... Very disappointed. Not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, oh man, I, I love this. I love this character. That's a reskin of Mario. Yeah, because yeah. it's Mario. Like yeah, the the get, weird. Get your own idea like, and make it. You know. I, yeah, as an, as I, I really like the character. Creator, I'm sure that it miffs you a little bit. You it, know? Yeah, it miffs me it's, quite a bit because as someone who tries really hard to 
do any kind of thing that's either original or has an inspiration or something like that it's kind of a little more frustrating when it's like inspiration throw inspiration what's that copying now that's the way to do it an oc recoloring that's what we do as a professional no that's what you do when you're practicing and you're in your teenage years like 13 14. yeah that's the thing is like it's one thing when you're a kid exactly or, or it's just good practice. starting or just, out exactly you know? just, exactly just starting yeah, out it's Great. All the Good best place artists to start. Mimic first. It, right. it, if you're like feeling your way through like your passions and like what makes you tick and what do you want to do in the future, that's one thing. But if you're like monetizing, yes, literally ripping Mario models, it's the monetizing and... that just got uh, no. That's that's a no. Yeah. Oh hi, Gusagi. Good to see you. Yes, we are. We are playing Security Breach and talking about. Uh, what do you guys say on Movie Grits? We're watching the movie and not. Oh, yeah. Talking about we, the we talk about everything except the movie we're watching. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is off of a long tangent of talking uh, about shows and things inspired by games and movies and things like that, because we were also talking about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, which was okay, medium quality, could have been better, and then got around to Monster Hunter movie, which was terrible and probably the right. worst it movie adaptation ever. It was completely a tangent, but and, still. And then now we and got to Digital Circus, and... which is better than the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, but not the best thing I've seen. And then I was just, you know, trying I, to understand. I remember when I first the saw the Amazing Digital Service, um, and I thought yeah, I, instantly, I was like, "This is gonna be like YouTube. Everybody loves this. It, it's like instant. Everyone's going to like this characters." But then when I personally watched it, I was like, "I, I mean, it's it, it was animated well." But I wasn't really getting attached to the characters in the same way other people were. I, and so I, I kind of felt like I was missing well, it. Mean, and that's why I feel like I wasn't the target audience. I already like, um, what is it, uh, Hell of a Boss, so... Yeah, but I think we're the target audience for that. Because I know, we're, but... You know, well, not adults. specifically, but Well, still. yeah, maybe not, <laughs> actually, if you think about it. I still have fun with it. I still enjoy it, but yeah. I'm just... I don't know. I don't know. I, I had mixed feelings about it, that's for sure. I, I I feel like yeah, I, I don't know what I feel I think it was animated well I think a lot of the jokes definitely are more for a demographic that ain't me and I don't I I know it'll be one of those shows where people are like I my my soul is attached to this yeah and which is why I, I didn't want to like be like, oh yeah, it's bad. Because I don't want to ruin other people's mm. fun, but like when I saw it, I wasn't really that impressed. And so I was like, oh, duh. But, but like a part of me is like, yeah, this is going to be I'll, I'll put it somebody's this... identity. Like they're going to love this. I'll put it this way. Objectively, medium. Yeah. Someone mm. else's opinion, adore it. Yeah. My opinion on that person adoring it, annoyed. <laughs> like that. Yeah, it, that makes sense. That's about it. Like, to put it into very easy to digest terms. And that's mainly because it's like the stuff that we've already talked about. It it falls short on certain jokes. It could be better here or there. It's animated pretty well. I just thought you it was know, weird. You know Don Think Tank. That's that's how he rolls. <laughs> well it's it's like it's that I want these things that everyone loves so much to be at where it should be good. And it's like it's one of those things that struck me as it should have been it could have been better instead of should have been better. See, and that's where it's like, if we put it in a category, like you've got the Amazing that's Digital Circus about... is, sh could be better. Five Nights at Freddy's should be better. <laughs> and then the Monster Hunter movie should not have been made. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, to put it in slightly comedic terms as well. Uh, um, but just, yeah, I know, I'm a rule breaker. You're not allowed in the daycare because you are hey, head uh, over heels. We can glitch into the daycare. <laughs> I can glitch myself back in if I wanted. Gregory, do jump it. in. Do you it. Need to get out of here now. You were pretty good at it, actually. You might be able to do it. <sighs> we, yeah, I think we need to make a base Dawn Evo think tank. I think you're right. What? <laughs> Yeah, I, I want it to do well, but, like, just because I know that there are people behind it who are talented. See, I feel like I feel like that's the thing that usually gets in the way. Because I agree with you. It's like, it's great to want something to be better, 
but, but sometimes I feel like the want obscures from the reality of like, man, I wanted this to be better. And it's like, yeah, but in about three well, months. Well, no, it's that it's, you, the people that worked on it are are are, are, are talented. talented. Yeah, they might be talented. They might yeah. have the so ability. So you want them to succeed. But see, that's the point I'm making. Are it you, should be where are you better. Going? Because yeah, the it, people, you know what they could do. Don just knows where all the presents are. I yeah, know. I, I, I think, uh, I, I think there are kinks that need to be worked out. Um, Again, it's also a pilot, so I mean, I guess you can give it a little more grace. Yeah. I've seen some really yeah, bad yeah. pilots, but at the same time, it's like, eh. I, yeah, yeah, I, that, that's a good point. Is uh, hey, maybe hey, it'll be better. But I also know that like glitch makes shows that aren't pilots, and I've tried to get into them, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't get it. It's just like, it's just not written to where it's like resonating with me at all. Um, and I'm not, like, uh, I, I, I'm not vain enough to think that it's like every show has to be for me. So it's like it's okay if it's like, yeah, this isn't really for me, and, and that's fine, you know. But yeah. I, I, I guess knowing why it wouldn't be for you, not like me knowing, just like uh, having a, a reason that isn't just like it could have been better, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, if that makes any sense. No, like yeah. I can tell if I like sit down and watch like a really well done children's movie, I know it's for children, but I know it was well done. Uh, if I sit oh, down for that? like... Ooh. Ooh, that's the that? fountain. What's that? Ooh. You didn't see the, the You didn't see the rabbit jump by? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no. Uh, uh, but you were what saying was that. That is a fountain. But uh, a fountain with something like Amazing Digital Circus, it's water. like it might not, not be for my demographic. You didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? There are things no, where it's like it could have been done better. You know, no like some of some flex. things I could I could identify as like jokes, and I. It's they like they were just like really either drawn out know. or just like that Why? wasn't fine. Or like know. maybe we do this in like episode seven, but this is the you. pilot, you know. Maybe they um, want to help you too. I but, doubt but it. yeah. For some reason I don't know. you're different. I was just curious because uh Good since news. I follow Goose Works on Twitter, I see a lot of people hours. talking Good about news? it. I yes. also follow five people who hours? like animation in these stuff. So I'm hearing about it non-stop. And then uh, Matt Pat was like, I might do a theory on this as show. As well. Oh, of course you would. <laughs> you know, I would... <laughs> There's yeah. no theory to it. Here's the answer. You can access the main At best, it's a Matrix patch. knockoff. At worst, it's a psychedelic backrooms knockoff. Mm. Just have fun the with it. The no, no, though, just yeah. have fun with it. Don't ask any more questions. Don't pretend anyone writing it. Don't pretend you know much about computer science. Just go crazy with it. Make some zany things happen and show us how much the peoples don't care and have the characters that do care butt heads. There you go. It's on a computer somewhere that the weird AI that is the toothy man is controlling. <laughs> the toothy man. And, <laughs> and yeah, the, the, Accurate. the no, teeth and the eyes from the mask that ran yeah. off the toothy yes, man. Kane. Yes. Yeah, the, fine. Kane, the betrayer. You know, just... <laughs> exactly, just start throwing... You can just grab lore out of anywhere and just throw it um, all in there. So just have fun yeah, with it. I've, have fun! I've heard I've heard people be like, there's a company, like, because there's, like, a logo at CNA, and so people are like, it's Kane and Abel, and I'm like, please don't do this. It's yeah. Just... <laughs> it's like... um, Gusagi asked uh, if the PS5 version of this game is less buggy than the PC one. Yes. Honestly, this is probably the least buggy version after playing the PS4 version. Yeah, I feel like this version, uh, like, PS5 security breach is a enjoyable uh, experience. Whereas if you play it on the other ones, it's too buggy to be enjoyable. We we have it for PS4 as well, um, and it's almost not playable. Well, like, this version has, like, no load screen, so if you had a pretty good PC, it'd be not glitch. I guess the only reason I'd say it is because if, if you have it for PS5, it's going to be the same experience because each PS5 is about the same. You play it on a PC, depending... Now it depends on your personal PC rig. Think oh, my that. God, Serenity. No, Hi. I saw that this, this game map. came out for... Uh, oh, by the way, here, watch Switch, this. And I was just like, no, why would they do that to the children? Like, it's going to play so <laughs> bad. Oh, we're not taking yeah, that. Yeah, 
I saw that trailer for the Switch version, and I was like, well, in theory, that's cool, but like... In theory, it shouldn't work. It's, it's being held work. together by bubblegum, rubber bands, and tin well, foil. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, is like, if it were somehow able to work, like, as... Chica. The way it does on like the PS5 or something, that would be cool, but that's Remake. not gonna be what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's it's gonna be gonna like a PowerPoint so, presentation. Huh? Where do you wanna go? Do you wanna go to the loading dock in the basement or do you wanna go to the fire escape? Uh fire. I wanna be safe. Alright. To the fire escape. Ah! Scared the cat. I'm sorry, kitty boy. You scared the cat out of me. I knew that she was coming, but the jump scare got me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. what if Lefty was in the FNAF movie? What if Lefty ended up being the one who killed me? He was in the movie. You didn't see him? He was right there, not, behind the map pack cameo. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I said Lefty. That's the black one from Pizzeria Simulator. Help yeah, me, it was in the shadows guy. everywhere. I could easily show you 16 edited doctored photos on YouTube right now about how Lefty is in the movie. I'm sure I could yes. find it. Someone Photoshop Lefty like creepily <laughs> lurking directly behind Matt Pat during yeah. that shot from the side. Every, nobody noticed because they were too busy looking at to see his name tag said Ness. Yeah, they're like, wow, it's him. It's Matt Pat. I have identified and everyone's the the big... <laughs> and everyone's theory <laughs> is that it, his name tag said Ness because of his theory about Sans and Ness and how that was really off base, even though the creator just doesn't want it to be known that they're really hardcore <laughs> ripoff <laughs> artists to the point where even their name is based off of a famous uh, American Japanese translator for Square Enix. Anyway. Yeah, the, uh, Grandpa, I'm trying to talk. Grandpa, th Grandpa thinks I'm crazy and calling me cuckoo. I think so. <laughs> I, I think he hears someone outside my door. Uh... Anytime he hears human life that isn't me, he gets wild and wacky. And we're also approaching his bedtime, <laughs> so he might also be telling me to put the blanket over his head. Hi, please take this map. Hello. Take a map. Did you know that Sans is Ness? <laughs> Thank I'm you. I'm not Please a enjoy. very big fan of the creator um, of Undertale because I hate him. <laughs> That's a little strong, but <laughs> the more I learned about him, the more I've learned that nothing he did was original. Or the more and more things became less and less original. I was like, wow, I'm sad now, and so I just mm. lost like any respect I had, because it's like, I thought, well, you know, even if the, his plot line or his game stories, people didn't focus on the cool part that I thought, but, you know, people still liked it. That's great and all. But, you know, he made a really cool song. And then I find out that not only did he not make that cool song, but it was based off of Live Alive. And it was, like, heavily based off of the song, and the name title came from it, too. And it was like, wow, this is really similar. And I'm all for, like, <laughs> No, I that's think crazy. Soggy's right, because I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, uh, I that's just it, I that was it... the last example for me. Was just like wow when I found out that and that game finally came to America. It was like, oh, yeah, wow, yeah. that's that makes me feel. I sad. think a, a little a little part of me <laughs> as a game developer is a little bit jealous too because when Undertale came out and Toby Fox was like working on stuff. He was, he lived in a, a house of guys who did like Smash tournaments and like he was working while they were, you know, doing their Smash stuff and they like all lived together. And me I, and us as a developer, it's like, we we had to like have our own house, pay our own bills and stuff. And like, we've been working really hard and he was able to succeed and had the it success like with the Undertale. But at the time where that was happening yeah, for chips. us, we were getting like married and trying to start our lives so that we could even start making video games. And so I look at like the success of Undertale and I'm just like, it makes me a little jealous. And I think that's where a little bit of our like kind of comes from. We also had some people who were like hyper into that game. Yeah. It, we, it, well, it's just like one of those things where Which it's like, oh, well, ruin Undertale anything. did it. And it's like, <sighs> yeah. Yep, they sure they, did. Yeah. It yeah. sure did. You know, so how's that next game going? Ah, yeah. okay. Where's the next one? Oh, they're done? Okay, cool. Um, I'm really glad that that attention really went somewhere. 
But that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. Go, go, go. Oh, sorry. No, no. I, uh, go ahead. I, uh, I'm trying to think of what I actually want to say. Um, I know the way that, or what I, I'm trying to remember how I even found out about Undertale. Um, it was everywhere, which was I, even crazier I, about I it. I think the first Undertale yeah, thing well, I ever saw was the Game Theory, actually. I heard that. Funnily enough, because we've been talking about MadPad, you know? I think I think I heard Megalovania, and a bunch of people on Twitter were talking about the Skeleton Brothers. Yes. Yeah, I did hear like, about They were like, do you like better? And I, so all of a sudden, you just like get hit by an 18-wheeler of Undertale references right. on like yeah. everything. So you're That's, like, well, I guess I know about this game. Right. <laughs> That's what just felt um, strange about it. Yeah. I oh, felt like Grumpy. it was forced yeah, on actually, everybody. That's, that actually, I think, Usagi, that is the first time I heard it. I remember when Barry and Ross were playing the, uh, Undertale, and the thing that stuck out to Don and I was that you didn't have to fight. And the, the combat the being best. different. It's like, that is really unique. But then, like nobody focused on no, that. Like that, that very quickly Not for faded very long, into anyway. the obscurity, and it oh, it became about the characters. Which I will admit, I do like you know Sans and Papyrus as like characters. They're quirky. You I know, don't all care. That. But like, I didn't see the mass like yeah. fandom explosion about it. You know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. I mean, I liked Undertale, but the more that I just kind of like looked it up. Yes. The more I saw people who are Play like, music. but what if there's like an alternate universe where like Papyrus <laughs> is the edgy one who you have to fight? It's like, it yeah. and then there's one where like everyone's dead and bleeding all the time. And it, it's like, what the heck? <laughs> and yeah. uh, I feel you like that serenity. probably. Yeah. That probably only got like amplified with Delta Room because now it's like, what? But what? Hold on, guys. What if? There was another universe, and so they were probably like, yeah! <laughs> um, and then I found out about... <laughs> Gusagi, but... you know what? It, you know what? You have fun with it. That's, you know, that... No, my thing about it is it feels like there's too many things in our, like, day-to-day -day lives that are forced on us, and it just seems to come out of nowhere, and it's like, why is this one being pushed so hard by an algorithm and this one isn't? Yeah, it's. Mm. I think uh, a lot of and it's annoying because I know how that. computers work, so it's like I know somebody is doing something because an algorithm would not work this way unless there's some sort of force that's driving data this direction. Well, and I think especially and you can't YouTube, follow it. they've admitted to the fact that the the algorithm is there is influences like human influence. Well, yeah, that's kind of how that works because a true algorithm it would just be like each person would individually be given things but there's always that thing that gets through and suddenly you like you could probably even see it like tomorrow on youtube you go on youtube and you find a random thing in your feed you're like that's weird you click on it and then you start seeing in the comments going well everybody here we are again nice to meet you because this is where the yeah. youtube algorithm brought everyone why i don't mm -hmm. know YouTube the video's three years old and somehow somebody Grease somebody's palm, or suddenly the algorithm was like, "It's time for this video to shine." But now it doesn't matter because it's all shorts, and everything's trying to imitate TikTok because everyone's attention span has gotten so short that now they can't even sit still for three seconds. Hey, look over there! It's William Afton. Just like that. I, How many yeah. of you looked? How many of you looked? I looked at you. <laughs> I was just looking at the screen, so <laughs> I. Um, I get what you're saying. Uh, I know that there's, like, a video that keeps popping up on my feed where it's, like, a background from Donkey Kong Country 2, and it's, like, Sticker Bush Symphony playing, and everyone in the comments is like, here's the checkpoint of the internet. It's good to see you all again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I hear people talk about the checkpoint of the internet. Uh, apparently it got pulled down because Nintendo was like, no, this is ours. Like, well, that sounds that sounds like a new Donkey Kong Country game's getting made. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they only. It's so funny how like a few months before something gets announced, they just like get really, really, really worked up about copyright strikes, and then like uh when like uh, what is it? I feel the, for you for sure. I think the algorithm was helping my videos get views at first, but now it's not, and I'm bitter. You know, Movie Grits did a similar thing for some reason. I think like our most viewed video is 
like the Pink Panther 2 or something like that. <laughs> really? Yeah, there was just like a moment in time where it suggested movie grits to a few, like, to, to people. And, um. That's so weird. Yeah, there's like a hundred something views on like one of our Pink Panther videos. And then it just goes back down to like 30 and 20 and 10. And it's like, okay. <laughs> what? I even like, whenever that happened, I was like, Aspen, uh, good news, but why Pink Panther? <laughs> it's like, I have some of good news things. and I have some bad news. The good news is we got like 200 hits on Pink Panther. The bad news is... Why? Pink Panther? Yeah, no <laughs> one's no one's gonna stick around because no. that's... That, we're done with Pink Panther. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely yeah. an anomaly. And it's, it is, it's, it's a tough time to be a content creator, well, I think. Well, it's not so much that it's just it's it's like i understand that and that's what i'm getting at is it's like that's kind of cool for little bumps here or there it could be a new thing it could be whatever but i guess it's just more that like it feels dishonest and it feels like i'm finding more and more things on youtube that are just blatantly dishonest yeah like mm -hmm. they're like oh check out this yeah, real thing that really this. happened you're like no this is horribly cgi'd I think that's supposed to be you the joke, but sometimes I'm not sure. Yeah, I think also a lot of the AI stuff people have been using a lot more, and I think that's a part of that, too. Um, yeah, I, I feel like it, it is really depressing because it is. There, there, there are so many outlets, uh, you know, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, uh, of people who spread not only, like, just like make low hanging fruit content like you can't even really call it content but they just like flat out spread misinformation yeah um yeah they're they're like they well the Come this will out. appeal to a very right. rabid voracious younger demographic so i can say anything and as long as i hold their attention they won't know if i'm right or not yeah. i can just say it you know and make money off of them by spreading misinformation or using an AI generated image or something like that. Um, it's funny you say that because I was just talking to my uh, my brother the other day. He told me about this YouTube short about like there's a dog that like they put like buttons in front of it that can like say words when he presses it and oh, it had an ex those. existential crisis uh -huh. and wanted antidepressants and then i saw it for myself and it turned out that like the person who made that specifically took clips out of context and it was just kind of oh, a yeah. dog asking basic questions like me dog human you know and That's then it would so ask... weird it would, but but it didn't have an existential crisis when it would ask for medicine it was literally like it just understood when i press this button i will get the pain meds that i was prescribed which is the reason my owner set this up but wow. the youtube short set it up to, to like to framed it as yeah. it got so depressed about its existential crisis that it wanted to take antidepressants and it's like no it wanted pain med it wanted its medication that the vet prescribed for it because that's messed up <laughs> well and that's the other thing it's like it's not that the the animal like a dog or a cat understands what they're doing all they have is a ring ring bell association oh, so yeah, that's i hit they, this button that's how they train dogs for movies and stuff well, that's how they like, train uh, yeah. Well, actually, no. Yeah. The way they train dogs for movies is they teach them the one command. Copy. Yeah, they teach. That's them really copy. important. Yeah. Oh, it's, no, it's... we're trapped in here, Ubu. What are we gonna do? Frick. Go for it. Um. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. Buy um, something, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's like impressive that dogs can do stuff like that. But well, like, uh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I guess the, to finish what I was saying was the most important trick to rem uh, teach a dog or not teach out of them is copy. Yeah. That's basically what they do for movies because you can't train them to do everything, but you can train them to have a command that says, I, do what I oh do. Oh god, Roxy, hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that the reason it knew, like, me press button, me get medication is because, like, they trained it to do you that. It wasn't just forever. like, I'm, who am I, you know? And it was like, oh, I don't, I don't know. gonna get you! I, I feel like you know this experiment has been done before with a far more intelligent animal in the form of coco the gorilla and all coco ever did is just like say like me happy me sad you know like it, it never and it whenever went past it's almost like animals just have like this very primal 
way of looking at the world, you know, it, they'll, they'll reflect on, like, how they're feeling, but they never ask why, you know? Yeah. Whoa. Da -da 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 -da. It's fight time! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> yeah. The fire escape was is blocked unless I'm a VIP. She said what? She said, I bet you don't even have friends. That's not fair. Oh, I bet I bet I'm more popular than you, little homeless child. <laughs> Probably. What she does joke. look pretty fierce, though, Guzagi. She Roxy. does look homeless. I'm just Roxy's kidding. tough um, love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared. I just think I'm the the prettiest girl at the dance. Um, and you're the ugliest boy at the dance. Um, we're that the frozen Freddy well, treat melting. Nice. Man, I miss those little ice creams. They were so I used good. to get... I yeah, they had the, the Sonic one, yeah. and like the, the Powerpuff Girls one. I like how that, for a hot minute, everybody on like twi Twitter were just like getting V to their VTubers made into those ice creams. Do you what? remember that? Yeah. You can't hide. I feel like forever. I saw that at one point. Yeah, it was, it was like one of those just fling things that everyone did for a little while and they all had like frozen treat versions Sneak of themselves away, it was great <laughs> what a what a sweet summer treat yeah i i still i guess i'm i'm kind of forcibly in the loop with vtuber stuff no matter how hard i try to just like follow artists and not prioritize VTubing so much. They're just everywhere. So, so what you're saying um, is you always come back. It's because you follow me and I and I reblog drama. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, that's it. No, I follow a lot of VTubers because like some of them I talk to, and uh, others I just feel it's like we know each other well enough to where I would feel bad if I just unfollowed them. Um, <laughs> like they never did anything to me. I just Maybe took a map. Get out of here! Another gotcha. one. Extra dollars. Ma'am, this is a pizzeria. Yeah. Ma'am, six feet apart, please. Where am I? Look at all this stuff. Freddy? Oh Freddy, my are you gosh, there? look at all this stuff. I'm trapped. Isn't I'll it bet neat? You think you're real clever, Gregory. Dude, you yeah, saw I me. I know how you feel. You're big trouble. Like we're playing this, this game, and this game is almost like time. it's getting there to so, feeling like it's an older you game are going now. To wait right there in it's Boston like when I was thinking about when the like the first arrived. Five Nights at Freddy's game came out. It's like what, 2004? 2014. Or 2014, excuse me. Not quite as old as I thought, but Still, it's 2023. That's like forever ago. Hey, so yeah. do, do we want to get uh, destroyed by the Vanny or? Do, do we want to get destroyed by Vanny? Is that what you just said? Yeah, I mean, here. What? Uh, Hello. What? What's the pros of getting destroyed by Vanny? We get to see that cutscene all over again. That sounds like a con. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah. Serenity, the way he said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> if that's a pro, what is are she the cons? Again? Where is she at? Oh. In the front. Is hey guys, McDonald's? guess what? Uh, uh, Gregory's a robot because a human wouldn't have their eyes glitched by Vanny being near him. Just saying. Yep. Yeah, but Vanny is possessed by a computer virus. Spoilers. So not... maybe she has uh, eye piercing powers. Yeah, I thought <laughs> thanks so. For, thanks for stopping by, Gusagi. <laughs> it was nice chatting with you. Take care. My. Why is it doing that? Or me? I don't know. Probably let me know that there's a creepy thing coming after me. It doesn't seem it, to phase Dawn, unlike me. Doesn't who it just make like... you scared? It Aren't sounds you like you saved your game or something. You saved. Freddy, help! The Gregory. rabbit lady found me. If you get this manager, it's just bugs bunny. We to the second floor. I piled up some boxes so you could hop over the construction. I will say this. <laughs> so Adonis kind of shared his opinion on the Five Nights at Freddy's movie a little bit. Um, okay. But for me personally, I hear you. I'm on uh, my way. As, as someone who I would consider I'm more of a fan of the series, 
Um, mm. There were certain parts, like, at the beginning and at the end that, like, definitely hit my fan. Like, ooh, I like that because I'm a fan thing. Um, yeah. Especially the part where Afton Springlock stuff, uh, like, activated. Um, mm -hmm. And he, like, became Springtrap. Like, Springtrap's my favorite character. Yeah, I, I honestly think that, like, the whole entire Afton you know, family stuff. That That's basically the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, right? And so, mm. the fact that it took so long it for them now. to get to that was a little... That's what disappointed me, but when it happened, I was like, oh yeah, this is what I this is what I wanted to see out of this movie. Wasn't it great? Yeah. The thing you wanted to see only took place it was in the, the last ten minutes. End. And I was, it's, that, like, uh, it's like in Rope, like Star Wars Rogue One, where everyone says it's good because Darth Vader's in it for two minutes. Yeah, that like that's that was one of those things where it's like, man, this could like they could have started with that, and it still mm. could have been a good movie, you know? Like, like, oh no, they still would have wanted to establish what the story is, but it would have been nice if they established what the story was. Instead, we had a character, we had the movie that took place about one third of it was in a dream that made oh Dragon King, yes, we was <laughs> drink the wawa, <laughs> made very the little sense. Here. Let me have the wawa. <laughs> Speaking of drink Wawa, I need more. Wawa. You can have mine. Okay, cool. I will mark it as my own. Plug, plug, plug. <sighs> yes, thank you for the redeem. Thank you for the hydrate, Dragon Kid. Rogue One was okay. The sad thing is, is that one of the main characters could have been removed completely and the movie would have been just fine. That's kind of well, sad, that's... considering that at one point Honestly, the character seemed cool. Honestly, that's kind of the way Star Wars yeah, It's either. probably the best Star Wars movie that Disney has made. But that isn't a high bar to live up to. Yeah. <laughs> Dragonkin, when you say it wasn't that bad, I heard that. But when, no, I, I didn't. didn't it I was didn't. bad. <laughs> yeah. When what wasn't that bad? Uh, I don't the... mean like Rogue One. Oh, Rogue One. Like I said, the whole thing. The problem with Rogue One is they did. I know they did a rewrite because the trailers that I watched for the movie didn't have. None of that movie was in that. Yeah. None of the mm. stuff that they advertised the was in the Dave actual movie. I think said, too, is, is accurate, yeah. It was enjoyable by accident. <laughs> Ready <laughs> to go, Farah. Are you okay? Oh, no, Freddy! Oh, no. Hold on, I gotta get more snacks. I'll get you snacks. That'll make you feel better. No. Oh, check in the porta potty There's probably snacks in there. Greg, er, Freddy, I found a pudding cup. Quit pouring that in my exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> You're gunking up the works, Gregory. <laughs> oh, let's give him the Roxy, the Roxy treat. There you go. <laughs> Here, I heard Foxy was your favorite. Face. Of course I will. Oh, how do we get there? Maybe this will help. <laughs> uh -huh. That's much better. <laughs> Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> I'm solar powered in the eyes. That is really the only way I can. <laughs> God. I think my favorite thing about me. your uh, your the the, um, room Glamrock Dawn head is pit instead pit of the little top hat, I gave you the little baseball cap. That's pretty good. Find a way to turn on the lift. Good luck, Superstar. Good luck. Entering rest mode. I forgot that this really part well. happens. I'll do my best. What if Gregory said that to Freddy? What? <laughs> I don't care who you are. Oh. <laughs> Good luck, superstar. I don't care who you are. I was gonna say I don't care who you are, but uh, Freddie dying like that is sad. But you know. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, thank you, Think Tank. Now you guys can all see hi, Doc's hi, little hi, hat. Hi, hi, hi. That is one thing I like about this game is making Freddie like a companion are instead of Freddie. You know. Yeah. It definitely, uh, at I, first it inverts your expectation, but then it just, I don't know, Security Breach feels like a different game. Like, it doesn't feel like a yeah, FNAF game. Yeah, it feels like a game. It, th it, which is funny because that's the reason <laughs> we like it. I'm playing a game. <laughs> I'm not sitting and surviving. I'm yeah. playing a game. And the, the, the world that you explore here in the Pizza Plex is just so fun. I, I really game. like the setting of this game. I like the, um... I like the feeling I have when I'm in the main courtyard area. It makes me feel happy. Yeah. And I feel like those places don't exist anymore, so at least there's a digital place that can... I can go to the thing that all the movies talk ooh, about that ooh, I don't ooh, get ooh. to see. Roxy. Oh, snap. And I like it. She's upset you don't have as many friends as her, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> I didn't get invited to all the birthday parties like she did. Hey, kid. Still yeah, no signatures in your way, so I see. Yeah, pretty much. Actually, I think when Sister Location came out and I watched Markiplier play it, because that's how I've consumed all of my Five Nights at Freddy's besides this game. Um, I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think so either. Um, yeah, she seems to be getting more aggressive. And you're running on a run! Yeah. Hello. Yeah, that's that's what I liked about Sister Location, is I, it felt like um, a little bit different. Oh, you mean the one where Michael Schmidt gets um, scooped? That didn't happen. Yeah. Also, I, I really like Baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I... I feel like Sister Location, it wanted to be like a point and click. Yeah. And Are you I'm all for like a FNAF point and click, but some of the little mini games they did, it was just like just the Ballora ones the were moment. dumb. Like you're you're pl you're watching it, and I, I, maybe that was the point. Was the parts in the dark? It was supposed to be that it's like no, you want to play this game because you want to feel how this is supposed to be. But, like, mm. watching the parts where they're in the dark, like, the Ballora sections, I think it's the other side, too. But I can't think of who the other character is at this moment. Fun Time Foxy. Is it? Fun Secret Time Freddy. Power. Those are the other ones. <laughs> um, well, I, I, you're, you might be right. I can't remember. I can only remember Ballora. I can't remember what's on the other mm. side of the... Fun Time Foxy. Is I know. It, it is Fun Time Foxy. Okay. Well, when they go through the parts in the dark, those parts are very boring because it's just black. But like, mm -hmm. when I, I would assume that when you're playing that part, it's like, Ooh, because you have to like listen and stuff like that. But I, that's the reason I. That's didn't probably like the reason I don't four. care for the games. I just, I'm gonna be. I've already said it a few times. People who's been on here a few times know, Silent Hill broke my scare center, or I should say, I have develop the ability to suppress my fear completely. Yeah, Don doesn't get scared by games because... If I don't want to be scared, I will not be hey, scared. Hey guys, look, it's Foxy! He's in the game! It's right there. Um, because I was too young playing the first Silent Hill because it How came out... How old were you? Five? Six? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, like, way too young to Silent be Silent Hill came out in like 98, so yeah, like... Yeah, you, you speed ran <laughs> getting scared. I gotcha. Well, it was more yeah, like I really, broken. really, really wanted to know what happened next, and the part terrified me so much that I froze with fear, but my desire to know what happened next outweighed how scared I was of walking through the dark courtyard, so mm -hmm. I just basically forced it far deep deep down of any amount of fear and um so now it's more about okay i get this done if i'm scared or uncomfortable with something it's more like how do i get this done how do oh, hide, i hide, hide, hide. i don't worry about the like Already feeling that i'm feeling at the time it's somewhere. where am i go where am i going to get rid of the fear or the anxiety or whatever it is that i might be feeling and at the same time completely ignore it hmm so yeah, that, I, okay. Th that's just, you know, you could chalk it up to some kind of, like, trauma, maybe, if you want to say it that way. I don't know. It's been very helpful. It's like... <laughs> it's helpful when you're playing horror games. Well, it's sure. helpful for video games. It's helpful well, when you work on the admit, roof of a house. You, you've and, kind of... You, know. you, you have talked to me about sometimes that you, you don't feel the same way about horror games as other people, so you feel a little bit left out. Yeah. So, but, like, you know... Now we should be able to find I guess you can say that's to your advantage when playing them, but experiencing them, I think sometimes... Well, I don't have the same experience. Yeah. Now, granted, I that see. usually turns into being pretty funny to watch, which is why I don't mind playing, and that's why you're here watching, because then you give you the reaction. You guys literally saw how much I reacted to just Sun and Moon. Like, I... I am so much more... Si well, of course, like, when I play other horror games, too, yeah, but yeah. it's just like... Yeah, that is, Dawn does not have that. Dawn does not have that at all. Yeah, the... So, yeah, Dawn playing a horror game and Meg watching is like, uh... It's it's like one of those roller coasters. Like, it's a small world, for but for, like, scary stuff for Meg. Yeah. And that's, like, an entertaining dynamic... Yeah, I, see, I, see. I, I think so. The, except for when I get jump scared and I grab onto him and then he jumps because I grabbed him. <laughs> well, I jump because you just yanked me and all yeah. of a sudden everyone, and I have to explain to everyone, it's like, I did not jump. She grabbed me so viciously <laughs> that my fingers got, the controller got pushed. Uh, and it's I'm like, not 
scared. And don't say I am or you're banned. Ban <laughs> that guy. Or you're fired. I'll oh, look, fire guys, it's you. <laughs> it's My left... favorite boy. Oh. Hey, look, it's Balloon the jump scare. Light. The only oh, jump scare gosh. in the movie. <laughs> Three times. Yeah, it's it's so silly when movies make like the only effective jump scare something that's not scary. Wait, wait, go uh, look at Spring Trap before we go. I want to see spring it. Spring Trap. <sighs> right there. He's right there. <gasps> He's spooky. Look how cute and spooky he is. Okay, I'm happy now. Why would they advertise the plush version of a serial killer who they sealed behind a wall? <laughs> to specifically because, not to advertise him. Because to marketing is marketing, and it's easier to hide in plain sight than it is to hide something that you're ashamed of. Also, hi, Wasabi. I don't it's think good corporations to see you. think like that. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hello, <Great>. everyone. <laughs> Welcome to part one of our Let's Play that's lasted almost two hours. Um, oh, what's the whole... I, I, I don't know. Like, I can tell Megan it's like, I am absolutely terrified right now. But I will say it just like that. Yeah. In other words, I mm -hmm. my little... This part of me that says you are scared of this is... Broken. No, ding, ding, ding. It's going off, but it's oh, just... Oh, I see. Yeah, nothing. You, you understand, like, I'm supposed to feel a thing right now, but you're like, but I can't see the next part if I let myself get scared. Right. Mm -hmm. Or, like, in it, uh, the way I put it is sometimes it's my mortality radar, where it's like if I'm having to work on a roof, and, you know, it's like that feeling that's like, I'm afraid of heights. I look over, and it's like, huh, I could die. <laughs> and so it's yeah. like, I need to be careful. There's oh, hi, bye, Corky. Have a good rest of your evening. Bye, bye. Thanks for hanging Looks out with like us. Old. Farewell. So long. What did you do? Farewell. Something to you, happened. my friend. I, can communicate again. I won't sing the rest because I, I don't want y'all to get copyright signal. struck. Thank you. Ah, I've, I've been struck. I didn't think you could stand up. Good job, Gregory. Your eyes still work. Oh, my eyes don't. <laughs> Why must you flash me with that flashlight? <laughs> Why did we give you that? Oh. <laughs> Have a good rest, Corky. Okay, but, but yeah, it's good that here? you still know that things that are dangerous are dangerous. Otherwise, you'd be like, I can stand on the roof. I can do a handstand on the roof. Yeah, basically knowing that I'm afraid. It's the idea of I still feel fear, but I already know how to conquer it, so it's great. Yeah, and I have used that to do mundane things sometimes. Unlike me when I was playing uh, the closing shift for Halloween and, uh, or Spooky Month, rather, and I, like, it got to a certain part where I just froze. I was like, I am not ready to deal with this yet, and I just stood in the corner until I was brave enough to give it a try. Don would just be like, oh, look, this is happening. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I, I never, I'm like the opposite. I've, I've had to very, oh, overcome my, uh, easily scaredness all throughout my childhood and adult life. I I like, I couldn't drive a car until like a few years ago because I just overthought it so much and it scared me. Same. A at some point I had to be like I can't expect my parents to drive me for the rest of my life and so I like made myself drive myself to work and I hated it. But then I did it again, and I hated it less, and then I did it again, and I was like, this is actually kind of fun, and like, freeing, and Aww. now I like driving. That's great, Ubu. I'm so glad that you were able to like, you know, even though it was Open tough the door. for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just just uh, Saturday night, I got invited to a birthday party by a co-worker, and they live out in like, Freaking Timbuktu and like the country, and uh, that was something to drive to. It was like oh, a 45 minute drive on the interstate, and then like into the woods at night. Oh. It was it was scary, but I did it, and I didn't cry Good or job. die. I'm Thank fine. You. I'm just dying. <laughs> dying. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> but, uh, yeah, the drive home was a lot scarier because, uh, like, as I was leaving, uh, the guy's mom who had the, the party there, she was like, now make sure you drive slowly because there's wild boars running around. Oh my god! And really? uh, I was like, well, I'm already, like, in the middle of scenic nowhere in the forest, so I was already going to drive slow. But, uh, yeah, and then on top of that, uh, there, the street they live on, if you go one way, a few minutes later, you're on the interstate, but if you go the other way, you go deeper into the woods that, like, no one's supposed to go to. Because Freddy, it's, there's, like, a me. power line, and that's it. That's so, like, the only people who go... Sorry. I'm oh. so sorry. I can it like he left controls. Praise the Lord for a second. Oh, um... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but and and both that times I was I was trying to get to the house and I was trying to, trying to leave the house. I ended up like going down the spooky part of the road. Oh man! And it, it was like I'm in a creepy pasta right now. Yeah, like Think Tank said, watch out for skinwalkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see any boars. I didn't see any skinwalkers. I didn't see much of anything because the woods are so dark. It's it's amazing how truly dark the world can get. Yep. But yeah. uh especially when you're far from cities and there's just no light at all. Mm. But yeah, once I got to the interstate, it was like, whew. Well, I'm all right, you, now I can just I'm kick glad back you and listen did to it me. and you survived and you were here to stream. Thank you. I'm glad I survived too. That would have been depressing. Um go to the uh, the last thing I did before I left the party, this might come as a shock to everyone, they played Mario Kart, and, uh, I whooped every- I whooped everyone's butt, and then I left. I'm not surprised. <laughs> I didn't think I would do that well, because I don't play with items, and I didn't, like, force them to play the way that I do. Um, but, but yeah, we did, like, a four-race Grand Prix. I don't mean to brag, but I kind of do mean to brag. Um, but it's not much to brag about. Well, it's not much of a bragging thing because people who know me aren't surprised. But yeah, I won all four of the races. Voice uh -oh. place. Holy crap! Roxy was coming. Are you lost? <laughs> well, I'm about I to get lost my bird. from this location. Oh, I'm sorry, Grandpa Joe. No worries. That doesn't mean get up and come sprint at my away. PC. On it. What is it? Oh, in a little bit it is really? bedtime. Grandpa oh, okay. Maybe. Don't whine ah. like that. That's annoying. <laughs> Thank you, Mito. It's just like... <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Right, Sid? I... <laughs> I heard the, the cookie monster... I heard the cookie monster after the... One of the animatronic saw you jump scared noise. <laughs> oh, no, 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 <laughs> I was no, like, no. yeah, I was like, which animatronic was? <laughs> that's uh, that's actually Chica. She makes that sound when she's hungry. She's like, pizza. <laughs> I guess that's true. She has multiple personality disorder, and one of the personal one one of the personalities likes pizza, and the other one likes cookies. Pretty unhealthy. One she needs a personality that likes broccoli. Or likes cookies. So do I. All junk food. <laughs> She's like uh that that split movie that M Night Shyamalan made, mm. but oh, for dietary I, I liked uh, I liked that series of Unbreakable Split and Glass. That was that was there was very good. Because it was the anti Marvel so superhero movies. <laughs> yeah. And that was when uh, M. Night yeah, Shyamalan darker, finally got yeah. an, a producer or editor to help rein him in. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's actually have a plot line that makes sense. Like, okay. Shyamalan's like, yeah, I, yeah, I know. Like, okay. <laughs> We're going to cut out all this extra fluff about the, th the therapist, okay? Yeah, but that was <laughs> no one wants to see it. It'll go on the Blu-ray special features, okay? We'll put all that? of that right here. All you right. don't understand. It's like poetry. It rhymes. No, it doesn't. No, it M. doesn't. Night. Oh, oh, you're right. Uh, okay. <laughs> I trust you. Good. See how much better Doug's the movie is? Doug's making this funny, but that's actually what happened. Yes. He knows because he watched the Blu-ray special stuff yep. at the end. Almost 30 minutes of extra content that someone came by and went, 
Now Shadow. No, I'm pretty sure that they said it on the like the behind the scenes that they finally found somebody to rein him in, and he's yep. like, "Yeah, you did a good job." It's like he admitted to it. Yeah, and then that's why Glass also turned out really well. I was like, "I'm excited for Glass," and we went to theaters to see that one. It was great. And it yeah. was like, see. He can do great. Well, he just needs a pretty good editor yeah. to help. I hope okay. like, let's focus those ideas for a movie. The, right away. the entire behind the scenes is, is just people spraying him like Shyamalan <laughs> with a spray bottle. <laughs> no, 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 calm down. No. He's like, but what if there's a really silly twist? <laughs> okay. The can. twist is that it's in this universe. Just be happy with that twist. Just. But what if there's another? <laughs> no. <laughs> One twist per movie. <laughs> but I like the twist. <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. Well, I I'm the writer and I don't. <laughs> I love it here in the pizza place. I'm the producer and I put the money into it. Are you lost? And I'm the actor and I portray it. And I'm the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> and I and they all take turns spraying it. <laughs> <laughs> By the end, the entire crew has spritzed him, and he's had his bath, and he's ready to start directing. <laughs> All right, action. Trip, trip, trip. Looks like the sad cat, like a meme. Poster's <laughs> just like, I hate Mondays. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to BRB and take these puppies out, <sighs> and you guys can continue. Okay, so, fine. So, um, Ubu, what do you think's happening in what? the story so far of the game? Um, so you're trying to get, you're trying to, like, do anti-Home Alone, where, like, instead of you keeping the adults out, you're trying to, like, keep yourself in the domain of the adults, and, um, it doesn't explain why, it's just like, she's a bad guy, question mark? She'll help me find my parents, question mark? She may or may not uh -oh. be, hello. <laughs> well... I wanted to collect that, but apparently it didn't happen. She got programmed to go in corners now. Good job. Um, but, uh, all right, what else? So you escaped Bunny Woman, and now you're like, okay, it's time to, it's time to take Actually, back Actually, speaking Christmas. of which, here's Bunny Woman. Uh-oh. Well, she's not ready for you to take back Christmas, so here she comes. Never mind, she's gone. Oh, no, there's the save sound. There's yep. the level up sound in another <laughs> video game. Um, and that's she? pretty much it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh-oh. <laughs> Foxy say stuff like that. I bet you don't even have friends, stupid because child. Because she's trying to use tough love to get you to come and... To her arms would be like, I want a friend. She's like, Oh, that's okay. I'll be your friend, and I'll take you to another you friend. Can't hide forever. And that's some like four-dimensional reverse psychology. She just lunged at me. <laughs> you can't hide forever. This isn't the Olympics, Roxy. This is the Pizza Plex. We take elevator, things elevator, seriously elevator. around here. Now, now the now elevator's gonna spawn in your bathroom because you said it three times fast. Oh no! What time is it? That moon thing's gonna get me. Quickly, take it away. Charge station. <laughs> Dang, he's got a long reach. Oh, it had a hitbox. <laughs> yeah, that was quite a surprise. He's a, he's a bigger. Yeah, he's got some intangible arms that were like pull like <laughs> outstretched to catch you. Oh, why is my vision so blurry? I feel like I should go back upstairs. Oh man, I need a new prescription. That's a camera. Best Vanny. Das Vanny. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't believe I'm stuck in the pizza plex. But what if Arnold Schwarzenegger was Gregory? Fred, do you have to help me? Let me get into your small scared. compartment. I'm a scared child. Help me. <laughs> Why are there so many security barriers now? <laughs> Why are there so many security barriers now? 
<laughs> Freddy the Moon Thing is going to get me. Who would uh -oh. be uh? Uh -oh. Uh, -oh. uh oh, man, uh -oh. she does not want you to get that. And I got it once, and then the Moon Dude did something. She and the Moon Dude are in cahoots. I guess I should stop trying to play the game and just get through the story. Yeah. Come on, man. What is this, a completionist run? It could have been. Nah. I've already done that. I mean, I don't care what you do. You can do it <laughs> if you want. Okay, I'll turn it off. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> I don't care what you do. Why am I even here? Come on, man. <laughs> Watch y'all bring me on this channel. <laughs> there she uh -oh. lunged. You hear her go, okay. lunged when she should have lurched. I, I, I think you see what you should have said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Whoa. I was going for something like that. Water, water boy oh. quotes. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> he jumped. He lunged. Yeah, he's he's zag. He's zig zig odd. He's took my zag nuts. <laughs> oh zag nut. Oh zag nut. Zag nuts. Trigger short. Come on, man. Okay, trick or treat. <laughs> Why are there so many security barriers now? I find myself, funnily enough, saying all zag nut quite a bit. <laughs> just like in my day to day life. Just kind of my, kind of to myself, because I know like my coworkers would think I'm insane. They think I'm too quirky. <laughs> so quirky. Well, I I'm can't... finding all the glitches. Oh, is that so? I don't know if they're supposed to be glitches or not, so I can't really say that. <laughs> they could be on purpose. Man, y'all should, uh. You should take all these bits where you die and uh, make it into like a glitch compilation and spread more misinformation on YouTube. <laughs> uh, no thanks, I'll pass. <laughs> Be Why like, in this so part, it was now? kind of a funny glitch because I wasn't supposed to die here. <laughs> that's the glitch. Oh, that's what's up. She's hiding back behind the pizza area hey, and she kid. just kind of comes Come out. Come on out. out. We're only trying to help. You're supposed to know she's in the pizza area because her lore is that she likes pizza you even though she's a robot, her. which is kind of weird. She can eat all she wants and not gain any weight. But I imagine it will probably gunk up the inner workings of the mechanisms. <laughs> yep, it's there's a true. note about that. There is a note about that. <laughs> I'm Bye, everybody! Oh, they disappeared. Bye! Bye, buddy. It's because the robots aren't there. actually there. They're just AR. ghosts. No. Yeah. What time is it? That moon thing's gonna get me. Quickly. They say hi get to, to the again. recharge station. Follow me. me, me, me. There he goes. Come oh. on, Freddy. <laughs> Come on, Freddy. It's fast. Give me a big hug. Give me a big hug, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Let's get into the sleepy tube together. Come on, Freddy, give me a little kiss on the cheek. <laughs> Uh-oh, he tripped. I feel like You're next. being in a giant battery would be bad for a human. Maybe I don't know a lot about battery science, but I don't... He's probably got, like, a radiation now. Oh, maybe. Well, I, that's Freddy, okay, because he's a robot, Can you hear so. me? Freddy's in there. I have to this get is out. the point in the game where the rest of it becomes a dream, because he passed out Fine. in the battery. Please take this map. <laughs> take a map. Take that's it, the, I dare you. That's the um. Thank you. What you call uh, it? Enjoy. I hate that thing. Yeah. That should have been the plot of the hmm. first FNAF. It's a map movie. of the utility tunnels. Josh Hutchinson like falls asleep in a battery and. <laughs> yeah, well, it kind of was, now I think dash. about it. I he did sleep a lot in that yeah. <laughs> You're right, Think Tank, just like in Ruin. And pill bottles are kind of shaped like batteries. Exactly, Think Tank, oh. Think oh. Tank knows our theories. <laughs> side, side note, slight side note about Ready? the FNAF movie. Here. <laughs> oh, um, I love this part where the endos come after you. It always is so creepy. Just gonna add, uh, 
technically, the another thing that they could have done was uh, after he they was like... They could have put kick me signs on all the endoskeletons. Yeah. Um, Anyways, go ahead. No, I was going to say <laughs> if they would have... Um, Not again! Had him, when he was in his dream, ask the kids to show him who took his brother, if that's when they start trying to get into the security office. Since they never did that for him. Not really. Mm. Uh, they try to get into the security office then. Why? Because then when they finally get into the security office, because he's like, I'll protect her from them instead, take me instead of her, and all they do is take him and show him the room where the yellow rabbit is, and it's like, oh, you weren't trying to do something bad to me. You were trying to do what I asked you to do. Wow, what yeah. a concept. Maybe you're not so bad. But instead, let's build a fort together, because apparently these five to eight year olds who've now been alive since 1987 and now it's the year 2000 nobody everybody forgot that time moves forward so they've actually aged now they're technically 20 something year old ghosts but let's build hey, a fort man, anyway. i'm in my 20s but i still build a pillow fort if i had friends help me with it it's like they're all like no we don't want to... you guys want to build a fort no we want you to help avenge us <laughs> We want you to help us do but, our calculus homework. Sure, I guess <laughs> I guess building a fort Hi, is an okay second. You know, the funny thing is, uh, this is the third time we've played this game this year, so we love to spend time here in the Peak Suplex. Yeah, it's been yeah. almost a year in Freddy's. It's funny, this game is called Five Nights at Freddy's, but you spend more like six hours here. Hey, that well, six there? hours at Freddy's doesn't quite roll off the tongue as well. Six yeah, hours five nights at Freddy's. Y'all should uh, y'all should take uh, Scott Cawthon and Steel so Studios to court and be like, like, uh, you inside? only spend like six hours in, at Freddy's. <laughs> just like false advertising. Yeah, I feel like I'm I am owed. I paid money for five whole nights and I got like a six fraction hours? of one. I got half of a ooh, night. Ooh, I, ooh, look at the Mendos. <laughs> they're so spooky. I will say I liked how they built a pillow fort in the FNAF movie. I, I will tell you guys right now that while we were watching and that part happened, I audibly said cringe. Yep, it was cringe. It was funny. But that's not, that's not how I should be feeling. I should be like, aww, or I should be like, Oh, they're so scary, but I audibly, like, I I literally well, was, like, cringing. I'm when like, we no, had to... I don't want to feel this way! <laughs> well, when we had to watch the same explanation of the plot for the third time at the river after he no, said, let's take a walk, and then sat at the river, I checked out. I, because the dog checked out, yeah, that's true. But I got bored. I, I don't know. I wish the animatronics would have gone to the river with him and were just, like, tossing stones to see how many skips it would take. I, I wish, just, I, I wish they had an existential bad. talk about how they feel like they've been, uh, well, actually, if they just talked at all, that'd be weird, but, uh. <laughs> I like the way the I mean, Foxy would do the do 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 but yeah. it's not really talking. Yeah. I mean, do is a word, but. But not in that context. I don't know. <laughs> I, the, the. I know what they were trying to do with the movie was to make the animatronics seem more like kids. And, like, mm. I know a lot of people have praised the movie for bringing that aspect out of the characters. Except they weren't kids anymore. It's been 17 no, years. No, I don't even care about that. Years. I don't even care about that. Like, Math is important. No, I'm not. Because if they were dead <laughs> as kids and they remained as kids, it's like, okay, fine. If you want to say that's how it works... Like, so we're bringing fine. Casper lore into that, this? No, I'm dude. I, with Scott <laughs> Cawthon, who knows? But the the fact of the matter is, like, yes, I just... wish there was a point where they did anything, anything like the source materials in the games. Despite what you might say about the in Mario movies, in spite of what of what Gamespot said, because they said the same thing, and everyone like flamed no, on them for no. saying that. Despite the Mario <laughs> movie being okay, it was better than I thought, and it seemed like an, a fine movie. They still did include a lot of the game stuff. Like, hey, you do build a Mario Kart that way with three things, like Donkey Kong Land. You can race on Rainbow Road. They do use power-ups like that. It's like, oh, that's kind of cool, even if it's a little nod. But he just kept falling asleep on the job. And if he fell asleep on the job in the video game, he'd just be dead. Yeah, it's, they just weren't... They weren't actively scary enough. And they're not yeah, well, scary well, well, because... Was he, he, you know, well, as far as he knew, he's like, oh, there's just some random animatronics here. They don't move around at all. Yeah. They never tried to come at him. I'm just saying, there could no, have been the motive. The only time that they came at him was at the end and in the dreams. And it, it was like... 
to me, it felt like they didn't want to do more action scenes. Like, well, it didn't have it to be action. Like they felt like they were trying to make it lower budget. That's what felt weird about it. It's like this is a Hollywood movie, and I would be putting those animatronics in as many fight scenes as possible because it's a horror film. Well, I would put them more but like it teleporting didn't around. Feel like a horror film. It felt yeah. That like... that was that was something that uh, Aspen brought up is like one of the aspects of the games that yeah. makes it kind of at least the other ones maybe not security breach as much because uh, they do a lot of moving around in security breach so they're stuck but, uh, here because i can see them through the door that they opened that's funny wow anyways you were saying that's pretty good um but like in in like especially the earlier fnaf games the animatronics i think a part of what makes them a bit scarier uh you know to, hello oh. what to to make up for the designs that aren't quite so scary, they, they're they very still. They're very static. Right. Dare I say, they're JPEGs. And um, it, Aspen oh. was like, I feel like, or what, yeah, what she would say is, I feel like they're less scary because <laughs> they're just like big things moving around now as opposed to like, you know, you, you look at the camera and it's there, and then you look away for a split second, and you look back and it's gone. And all of a sudden it's like standing there staring at you. Um, like from the other side of a door or something. And I think that would have been cool. Yeah, You know, I maybe do. maybe in like those scarier moments, they move around like that. And for the silly stuff, like building a pillow fort, I guess it's hard to, I don't know, if they could find a way to jpeg make a tilt uh, a pillow for it that'd be kind of funny but yeah i see what you're saying i kind of agree with aspen there they and you know what's funny to me is that they tried a little bit because i remember there were some I moments where mike was in the shot and like you could see chica in the background like moving by really slowly so it's like they <laughs> tried to mimic a lot of the shots from the game but it just wasn't enough like, mm -hmm. I, I think, because Balthross mentioned something, um, uh, just saying, oh, I feel like they might have wanted to play the move, it's safe. Knowing it was popular, they didn't want to overcommit and risk it flopping, so they just did so enough to break the budget. this is what you look like inside? Or, like, to keep it mm -hmm. even. And it's Creepy. like, maybe that's what it was. I and like when I was watching the movie, I was thinking, like, they made this as to not scare the eight-year-olds in the theater. But the eight-year-olds yeah, that, eight that liked it before. But the eight-year-olds that liked it wanted to be scared. So, but I'm sure that they didn't care because I haven't asked I would the like eight-year-olds. I, I would love we, to hear what they thought. No, but, I'd like to point yeah. out the fact that Poltergeist is PG-13. Yeah. And I, I also think mm. Take M mentioned if I did, I just want it to be like Willy's Wonderland. Maybe a little, like maybe a little bit more than it was. But that is true. We've literally just watched Willy's Wonderland before we watched Five Nights at Freddy's. And I think that may have... Like, we came off of that high, of that high-octane, like, action and thrill mm. of that movie, and then we went and watched Five Nights at Freddy's, and Donna's like, I'm bored. Oh, I didn't get bored yeah. until I realized that we had spent an hour doing nothing but watch a person which sleep. Is, which, which I'm so frustrated about, because at the beginning, I just wanted I to relate like, to the character I was supposed to relate to and fall take a nap. You're living <laughs> Why not? vicariously through, uh, through Mike Schmidt. I You're like, so. I wish I was doing that. No, yeah, honestly, I what it felt say... like is the first act up to the night where the people broke in felt great. Mm. I was yeah. invested. I was having fun. I wanted to know what happened next. But right after that point, everything just where things should have continued to, to rise. Escalate. It should have yeah. continued yeah. to boil over. It should have continued to rise. We had a complete reset. Everything's fine. Let's have fun with the animatronics. That reset all of the tension and mystery yes. around them. Yes. Because, oh, they're cool. Oh. They're our friends. Which Maybe is like, we should have started with the they're cool and then on the first or second night. And they were then the break-in shows and, they're not cool. Know. And now yeah. you're concerned mm. about the main character's safety. And he's bringing yeah. his sister, yeah, his sister, sister to work. Now she's in danger too. But they kind of did a weird... Oh, wait, no? Yes? That was a good no. song choice yes? for that particular Maybe. part. I remember when... Uh, they were doing that think tank and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, I see what they're doing here. I'm getting it. But then like all of the momentum just Yeah. At that, at the point where uh, he started bringing Abby to work. My, my like, whole oh. thing is like, okay, 
for the games and the lore and the hiding the Easter eggs, that's great and fun. Yeah. People enjoy it. Have fun. That's the best part about it. Have fun. But movies, there are certain things you need to do with, and if you're going to do a, like, children's movie runtime of about an hour, you know, 90 minute movie. Yeah. So, less than two hours, you gotta get, you gotta get your point across. And it, it's not, you should never try to make a movie like a lot of people say the Back to the Future 2 and 3 aren't the, are not their favorites. Like it's just weaker. Because, but those two movies were planned back to back. And so they were basically making the movie with the sequel in mind. And that's usually not the best way to think about movies is make a movie with the sequel in mind. Because then you start... The, the one movie suffers. Unless you're going to release both at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It needs to kind of stand on its own. Even if there is a sequel planned... I guess another example with like the Harry Potter movies at the beginning it's like you could watch just this one and it's okay the years sewn up but then as you get farther along it's like part one part two and it's like eh, okay but now it's basically you might as well say the movie's actually this long and you need to watch the whole thing but less and less of them it became more about like how do we oh I am how, how do we incorporate the stuff that we Hello, want to have Russell. or hint Hi, at it, but still make this feel like a complete adventure or movie? Yeah, no, I, I think it's very... Oh, sorry. I know go ahead, really go good. ahead. Oh, uh, I, okay. I'm going to do a good shout out here. <laughs> You're go okay. ahead, Uber. Okay. I, yeah, like, as fun as Easter eggs are, if that's the reason you like a movie... It's not a good movie. Well, like, the idea behind the movie should be that you could get new people introduced to it in a digestible yeah. uh, dosage. You know, like, for the parents and grandparents who, All like, right, hold I want to associate we... with something my kid likes or my grandkid likes. Can I get this in a digestible thing that I can take, go you know, go to the movies with them and enjoy it with them? Yeah. Everyone who came over on the raid, we are talking total spoilers about Five Nights at Freddy's movie while we're playing Secure the Breach. Just heads up. <laughs> Just in case you haven't seen it or you don't it's want any surprises. Um, and for, uh, thank you so much, Amosol, for coming by. And hi, Spike. I hope you guys had a good stream. Um, and for oh, those of you who don't know I who we are, service now. Oh, I am Meg the Slime. And I am Don the Robot. And, and yes, and Running we are through also, the most intense part. And we are joined by... Uh, Ubu. I'm Ubu. Ubu the Ubu. <laughs> Ubu the Ubu. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I, I feel like it's silly to say this, but in, a, in the day and age we live in, it needs saying a, a movie should have a story and it's important that it be kind of like self-contained because not everyone wants everything to be a cinematic Oh, that universe. endo was close. Dude, he booked it. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> like, movie review with the grotto and blue, ooh boo. I don't know if yeah. you guys know this about Ubu, but one of the main things he does over on his channel, Movie Grits, is they watch a movie and they review it. So it's kind of like a podcast. Um, actually, that's exactly what it is, is a podcast, right? It is It is. It is absolutely <laughs> a podcast. Um, I, and we do talk about it. I don't know if we review it, but <laughs> well, I, do have a, yeah. I do absolutely have opinions about things. Yes. Um, well, but, like... uh... Yeah, go. Okay, sorry, Movies are a big part of your yeah. uh, stuff that you do. Huh? What? I said <laughs> movies is a big part of the stuff that you do, the content that you create. So. Yeah, I only heard like the second half of that sentence, so oh. I just heard like stuff that you do, and I was like, <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> um, I do yes. things. Move, movies, I and funnily enough, I think going forward, I, I will, when I start making more content, just stories in general will be a big part of it, and movies are absolutely not like movie grits. Yes, we watch movies, but like Ubu stuff, it's going to be like talking about the like important aspects of like movies and books and even video games, like as far as stories cool. go. So this is a, a topic that absolutely interests me and I'm passionate about because I've gotten <laughs> to a point. I used to be MCU fanboy. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, did you see like Arnim Zola was in the background? You know, stuff oh, like, like, do they epic. tease MODOK? You know, stuff like that. I found and uh, really now I'm at a point when like, I feel bad because like, I'll talk to my brothers and they'll be like, dude, did you see the new Ant-Man? I'm like, no. And I don't want no to. <laughs> um, you know, because uh, I'm just like, I just want to have 
I like a standalone experience His name you know i like Not it's cool you know like i watched the mario movie and i recognize mm. balloon fight and i recognized Where ice climber and i recognize nes pro yes. wrestling and it was really cool but like the movie itself was fine you know yeah <laughs> like it, it was a movie yeah, well, like, in the it moment, it's like, I recognize so much. It's like this movie was made for me and my weird Nintendo obsession from when I was a kid. <laughs> okay. But, uh, so, we had a question from the chat. Okay. What would you do if you gave the ability to summon any animatronic in FNAF in real life, you have total control over them, and they can never harm you? Hmm. Um, I would I would summon Glamrock Freddy to be my bestest friend and I could be his superstar in real life. That would be great. You just we just hang out. We just hang out. Just hang out. I'd love that. You'd, you'd like shove yourself into that compartment just like awkwardly hanging out of his torso and he's like running yeah, around. Yeah, as a full grown <laughs> woman. Yes. Absolutely. Probably probably Music Man and throw the giant rave. Oh yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> Music Man seems like he'd be a chill animatronic, considering, like, yeah. after, like, the little boss instance, he's just, like, doing a DJ thing. Yeah, he just vibing. Like he, yeah. He just had it, he threw a temper tantrum, and then he's chill for the rest of the game. Um, I don't know, man. What I think, do? like, I'm not a JoJo guy, but I'm using a pu the puppet is like a stand. Would be really cool. <laughs> Ooh, Grammar a function. puppet just sort of hangs out Perhaps with I'm you. Still not a yeah, I'd be like Ansem you? from like the first Kingdom Hearts game. My head. I the have puppet, no, my big heartless guy. I do have just a little, uh, a wires. little Glamrock Freddy doll and that Don bought me. So to have a big Glamrock Freddy would be pretty great. That is my answer, B2. In case of an emergency, the protective uh, cylinder. And as far as like the the FNAF movie falling apart or not, I, I'm sorry, Think Tank. If we ruined your experience because we were kind of talking into it, that's kind of why we haven't been talking about it. Because like we want it to be fun for people, and just because it wasn't fun for us, like we don't want to ruin it. Well, but at the same time, it's like because we do like the franchise it's like head, man but they could have oh like, you know it's, it's definitely a difficult feeling sometimes oh thank you b2 for the follow uh um, you just got me? jumped by headless freddy what circle button what okay let's try that again i hit x circle and it said uh, i hit square that was weird by the way, anyway. Think Tank, you can always look at the movie the way I do, where for all of it, like, I'm aware of the flaws. I'm aware it's not, like, a masterpiece by any stretch. But my takeaway was that was silly, that was fun. Much more better. And you can do that, too. You don't have to be like, but it wasn't, it wasn't so just okay, no. You know, you can just... You can be like, it was a silly time. You know, I got to see Shaggy do. I got to see some like Jim Henson animatronics. Pretty cool. Be careful. Mm -hmm. I wanted that's, that's to. Like, I wanted to be able to enjoy it more, but objectively, it wasn't as good. But you can still have fun with it. Like I'll always say, um, you don't. It, if you know it's quality, but you still enjoy it, it doesn't really matter about the quality. But it is good to have some kind of objective grounding where it's like i have things that i personally say it's like oh no so and so or such a such thing is terrible but i love it <laughs> it's so much well, fun listen, even though it's bad I, i've, I've Freddy's seen head, people defend she hulk to the to the, the end <laughs> if like there are people out there who just they just you know they're they're like guilty pleasures or like objective steaming piles it's right. okay Good job. you know i love how it puts the little hat on yeah. as like, long as you understand all i'm trying to do is be like objectively speaking here's and as a like an event of like how could it be better or how could it improve um because i'd always do that for myself even um Okay. Wow, they're giving you easy mode. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like, finish your yes, finish I know, what right. you're saying. Um, <laughs> and then it jump scares you. Anyway. And so, good job. It's Freddy's just the idea of like understanding. It's like the show. these you are the things that objectively the makes movies cylinder. or games or theater or plays or stuff good or bad, and that's okay. If you enjoy it, that's that's like opinion. I enjoyed this, and that's good to have, and that's good to know. 
There's so much but tech stuff in here. I more have a problem when something is. is I can use to stop I, I'm a little more Both personally upset about something when it's like this is objectively function. really bad, and I people keep saying it's objectively good, and it's like no, you li you just like it. Where do I get one? Yeah. Well, you can win a but what's really it gets really weird when a bunch of people, and I mean tons of people, like something. But, but it's really, really bad, and then it's like, okay, now it makes me ask a different question. What's wrong why? with me? <laughs> no, no, not even that. Just why? <laughs> What's wrong, wrong with them? Use the service elevators at the back. Yeah, it. That is a thing. Like, yeah, like you know, there's. Like like yeah, exactly. Only kaiju movies are another great example. It's like I love some people love them, and it's like they're not great, but it's still fun. Oh my god! TV head. Yeah. Hi guys. It's. It. I mean, like I say it about a lot of. um video games even it's like the first Rock thing is that it's fun roll! Yeah. so you can as, as long as it's fun it's still a game you know the, the point is to be enjoyed and have fun my problem is just the yeah. idea that it's like we're giving something a pass because we like it for, yeah. because I like other things that it reminds me of and we're not looking at the thing in front of us whatever it might Freddy, be check out these pictures yeah Chica has I, some and sort of I think that is box. an important thing Roxy to, to remember eyes. is just because something reminds you of other things. We have to get these. That doesn't make it you. like a masterpiece. So and it's important to, to understand friend. and be honest with yourself if it's like, them. I like what All this reminds me of, to hurt me. but I see the problems. They get what they deserve. Instead of like be because this because there are They're member berries here, uh, yeah. it's the best Rambo thing, there. and I need to defend it. Yeah, that's that's a thing that you know. Just there's so many daggum member berries these well, like, days. For this game in particular, I I like it because of the feelings I feel. I the story yeah. is like meh. It's a it's a story. It's there. It doesn't really make sense, and there's tons of plot holes to it. But I like the feeling of walking around this area, and I like the gameplay it lets me have. Go ahead and say the thing to the the chat because it looks like yes. I I wanted to say hi to Cabal and Sayako and Kissa and uh, TV Head. Thank you guys all for coming into the game grinder today. It's wonderful to see you. I hope you guys had a good stream. You caught us in. We've been talking about the FNAF movie and uh just like movies in general and like stuff like that so if you're uh if you haven't seen the movie yet and you're worried about like spoilers and stuff um we we might be talking about like you know some things that might be spoiled so just a heads up if that's something that uh you want to avoid um but yeah for those of you who don't know who i am and who is here with us today i make the slime and i am don the robot and i have Freddy. and i am no oh, and i'm ubu of space. <laughs> <laughs> of space. <laughs> uh, well, welcome in, Luigi fan. Thank you guys for coming over on the raid. Um, and I hope you enjoy your stay in the game, Rado. Yes, exactly, Miko. Exactly. We like to talk about stuff over hey, here. Hey, superstars! It's me, Freddy! So, to if y'all will give me a minute, I need to Grab put my bird up. Oh, put him up like he's a toy. I need to put him in the bed. Face. Right. Gotta put that uh, I need to get more water, and, and I need to powder my nose. Don't all right. I will, I'll sprint so through, through the house and do all of this. Okay. All right, now our tour runs through the house and be back. <laughs> I'll try. I'll try not to trip over a cat or something. <laughs> oh, poor Roxy. Ryan. I do think, uh, I think B2 said earlier that, uh, they would make Roxy their best friend. Uh, th you must have really enjoyed Ruin then, because there was that really touching moment in Ruin with, uh, Roxy. And, uh, what was her name again? Um, Ca Cassidy? Cassie, yeah, Cassie. Cassie, Cassie. It was Cassie. Um, that definitely, for anyone who's a fan of Roxy, that was a good moment. Well. Freddy, get out of my room! Me? I'm not in your room! I'm totally in your room. Um. Yes! Oh! Whoa! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you, Captain! Um. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, the swear jar is not here right now, so we yeah, because we're not playing cheers. a game with swears. <laughs> uh, thank you for the bits. There are questions here. Vanessa, there you are. I did. Vanessa, like look, I that. found the child. <laughs> I liked the actress they got to play Vanessa, and actually. As somebody who is a fan of Security Breach, like this is my, you know, favorite Five, Five Nights at Freddy's game. Oh, um, like I was happy to see her in the movie because I was like, oh, it's Vanessa. 
But then, like, you know, the more context in the story and stuff, I was like, oh, okay, it's Vanessa. But, you know, it was still cool to see her in it. The fangirl in me was happy to see my little security breach characters in the movie, you know? Because a lot of times they like, uh, they like to be like, security breach is this, and old FNAF games are that. But it's like, they technically are technically the same world, but, it, you know, FNAF. It doesn't matter. None of it's really consistent. Yeah. It's just, enjoy the moments. But that's what makes it fun. What? Hello, Crispy Biscuit. The moments are... Oh, no, I think the thing that people love about FNAF is making up the lore and finding oh. everything. So, the fact that there's... Uh, and we talked about this when we played Ruin too. It's like the fact that there's open-ended. Oh no, there's things, there's enough evidence for two different things to be completely true. To be yeah. Com yeah, to be that true. That are contrary. They both can't exist at the same time, and yet, in the context of the game you're playing, they do. How? It doesn't matter. It's not real. Oh yes. The laws yes, of physics. Exactly, crispy biscuit. That's exactly what. <laughs> the laws we're of physics about. don't apply to this, so don't think. It's kind of like the mystery science theater line. If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts, just repeat to yourself, it's just a show. So you should really just relax. Yeah, I feel like if you enjoy FNAF Security Breach in that way... Or the lore crazy other things are theorizing, have fun with it. Yeah. Don't get angry about it. Don't argue, but just be like, if they have evidence, there's evidence. But if there's no evidence, then it's like, that's an interesting thought, but there really isn't much behind it. It's kind of like how uh, Don and I were playing, uh, just making fun, because we've been playing the uh, Robocop game, uh, the one that just came out. <laughs> Um, we were like, oh, uh, what if S uh, what if OCP bought Frasbear Entertainment? And then all of a sudden, instead oh, OC, of, yeah. OCP it's like Ed 209 just walking up in here just this like... This is not your... Like the puppet is replaced with Ed 209? Yeah. This is not your child. <laughs> Release the child. It's <laughs> just like, oh, and that's the like, your animatronic destroyed the parent. I think that's the fun, like... <laughs> The fan, the fun, the side of the fandom that's really fun to be a part of is the part that's like, what if this crazy what if thing happens? questions happened? that are yeah, but that's good. For, that's fun for writing. That's fun. Fred two oh nine. Yeah, Fred two oh nine. Exactly. <laughs> you are not clear to take that child. I will be keeping track of them and keeping them safe. Ah, uh, yeah, Captain. As a Doctor <laughs> Who fanatic, you're cool with inconsistent lore. I can see that. I um, don't know much about I, Doctor Who. Yeah, other than we it's never like really same got budget into as like Doctor original Who, Star so. Trek or something. Like, I, I, I'm kind of missed, missed the boat on that one. Uh, I don't know. I heard my, when I was a tutor and then a teacher in like 2012, 2013. I believe, I believe Ubu is back. Yeah, I it hear Ubu I, um, noises. Um, there was, there was a, <laughs> there was a girl I liked in high school who liked Doctor Who, so I watched an episode to have something to talk about with her. That show is weird. <laughs> I, I, the, the episode... The episode I watched was about how, like, Britain had, like, moved to space and built their new Britain on top of space whales. And it was like, wow. that that was like the big reveal of the episode. And here I but... thought Dragon Ball Z Abridged was making a joke, but I guess not. Go Space Brisbane, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is, like, they answered the question of, like, how is Britain in space? What, what happened to the space whales? But they never a answered the question of why is there, like, weird fortune teller, like, 25-cent machine animatronics on every street corner that act as security guards. Like You that, guys, that like, the, the chat is like, oh my god! The, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm just sitting here, like, stunned <laughs> slime that that's that, even that, a thing. That was my takeaway, was like, sure, they answered the question of the endangered space whale species, but why the heck did they feel the need to make, like, the police force Zoltar the fortune teller on every street corner? Yeah, Chris, <laughs> like, I'm with you! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, my takeaway was this feels like Power Rangers for British children. Huh. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, there was... I, I was just out of high school when I was being a tutor, so... It was a a family that had like a middle schooler and a high schooler, like a couple years younger. The high schooler was like a few years younger than me, or like two years younger. And they mm. were like really into Doctor Who, and that was like my first experience of it. Was that and like other references or other shows making reference to it that I was like, I don't know what this is. But mm. I never really dove into it much deeper than people telling me about it or seeing references. Hey, look, it's the ones that are like uh, the puppet. Oh, I guess uh, choice time, Ubu. 
are we going to Monty Golf or are we going to uh, Laser Tag? Oh, Mini Golf or Laser Tag? Yeah, which one are uh, you? You're the guest. Laser Tag is objectively better, so. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, golf fanatics. Oh, don't tell all, Cranberry. All the golf heads in the chat. <laughs> Just Cranberry hate laser tag and love golf. No, when we were playing Nancy Drew, she was our star putter for mini golf. <laughs> oh. oh, okay. <laughs> uh, golf is for yeah. nerds. Hey, I love me some putt-putt. Except to golf is for low energy rich people, and laser tag is for hyperactive 90s kids. <laughs> and that is very true. Although I will say that the Monty Golf here looks epic. I would totally go to the Monty Golf. That looks epic. <laughs> You're wrong about mini golf. <laughs> I yeah, I don't actually hate mini golf. I don't actually hate golf. I like the idea of it, but laser tag is better. So I I don't like the idea of real golf. I love mini golf. Yeah. I love. I like golf. walking around in nature, so I feel like I'd be doing that a lot in golf. You'd think I'm so. That's <laughs> yeah, very true, Chris. But it's yeah, not really nature. It's it's very manicured nature. Yeah, I guess that's true. And also, you aren't going to do a lot of walking if you get stuck in one of the sand hole things. Or you're taking the golf cart. Yeah. <laughs> Before the golf carts, and everyone had to walk. Yeah, that that's exactly how it would have gone. <laughs> What are you up to today, honey? <laughs> I'll be on the golf course. Oh, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> don't think. Putt putt is smiling, fun. smiling, the customer is not as good as. Right. Not as good as um, pajama, pajama Sam. Pajama but... Sam. <laughs> That's literally what I was about to say, but I didn't want to like interrupt. Them. Oh, I, sorry, I interrupted. You guys you. finish each other's sentences, aren't you? Cute? Sandwiches. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I hate that when people hear the, the joke, we finish each other's what? sandwiches, they think of Frozen, but it's from Arrested Development. Really? Mm-hmm. Huh. It's almost like Arrested Development is clever, and Disney isn't. Hmm. Oh, Ubu. Are you going to talk about <laughs> Disney like you talk about Pokemon? <laughs> I talk about <laughs> Disney, too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry guys that's an inside joke <laughs> oh yeah I dude oh, oh man it's so tragic me and Pokemon there he goes again is, no I'm just kidding an guys. absolute love <laughs> rolling your eyes both of you um yeah so... that's, that's a love hate relationship mm -hmm. no because I love to hate it I'm just kidding I'm sad that I hate it I also said that I hate Disney. You know, I, I, do. I don't think I'm allowed to hate Disney because my mom loved it too much. And I basically grew up like Sora, where like it was just all around me all the time. And I whether I wanted it or not. Now, mm -hmm. that also meant that I got to experience a lot of the really old Disney because she would like collect all of it. And she was like, here, watch this, watch that, yeah. watch that. And I'm like, I'm watching like the Disney afternoon cartoons. And it's like, I wasn't even a thought in the 80s. So it's like cool i yeah. get to watch the good stuff because my mom was keeping it kind of thing mm. or recording it mm. or whatever uh yeah uh, that's a joke because when kingdom hearts came out i think it was you oh, used to make fun of me like no, you no, like no. sora because no, your life okay. is like no 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 so Do when we were kids <laughs> yeah, i'll tell the story okay when we were kids uh don would go around and he'd tell this joke at church and he'd say um what do sora and i have in common and he he said it to multiple people, and his punchline was that he's surrounded by Disney because his mom loves Disney or something. Yeah, but when knows. I said when he said it to me, and I I known that he had answered the joke, I'm pretty sure I did at the time. But like I said, that's because you're both my hero. And he was like, "Aw, no, it's because I'm surrounded by Disney." And that was the <laughs> delivery. I kid you not, little twelve year old Donovan, just like I'm trying to be sweet to him, but he's just like. No, it's like because you are sweet, but incorrect. <laughs> yes, exactly. Based. Uh, Before based was a thing. Anyway, what you should have done is uh, get a pair of yellow shoes and like ask all the same people you would ask that, and they'd be like, "Well, you know, Don, you uh, got and you'd be the like, shoes." No, actually, I got big yellow shoes. Best, like a clown. Best thing I did. So best thing I did thing. is I threw together like a thrift store Kingdom Hearts costume. Oh, he was he using was Sora colored tape from from and, and, like a trunk or. 
Oh, it was great. It was great. <laughs> I made like everything out of like tape oh, and uh you you're Oh, so you did you say you dressed up as Sora? Or yeah, something? for yeah, Kingdom Hearts for, 2. For Halloween specifically. One year. Ah, that's the good one. I like the Sora the Kingdom Hearts 2 get up. Well. Cuz that's what I grew up with. At least you faced her head on. She, what I grew up shit. with is if Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 weren't a few years apart. Yeah, oh man. My generation grew up with Sora from Kingdom Hearts 2. And my father grew up with Kingdom Hearts 1. Well, you could say that about Kingdom Hearts 3. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so That's true. Uh, I remember when the third one came out. and No, I remember when the second one came out and I started the game and it was Roxas. And then it was like, who is this? That I felt the same way. I was like, I don't want to play as this freaking idiot. I want to play as the other one who looks the same. Yep. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Uh, I, I was I was gonna say that I remember when the third one came out, and I I specifically remember talking to my mom because my brother was playing the third one with his son, and they loved it because like the Disney no, he stuff. Didn't. No, my 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 nephew loved it. Yes. And so he was like, yeah, it's great, but like as the person who was playing it as a fan of the first one, it was totally like, oh, this is terrible. But like the kids that of the dad like the of the dad that was playing, it was like, this is amazing. It was the same way with my cousin. I'm just like, okay, so the kids that grew up with the first Kingdom Hearts and the kids who were exposed to the third one, it's like completely different experience. Oh hi Vanessa. Oh you didn't want White Lady jump scare? <laughs> you're like, no. Hello, um, Oh my god, you can eyes. see the darks of her eyes. Uh, but she's the beautiful eyes you have. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> uh. that's, when, that's when you find out Vanessa's like secretly in love with Freddy. She's like, gives him a little kiss. <laughs> and then it's like, whoa. Yeah, Crispy. Crispy and then Gregory Biscuit pops out with the camera. Uh, <laughs> They, Cut they, on Phil! Gets all, three. gets all bashful oh, and goes, I made story, you a yeah. sandwich, Freddy Fazbear. I'm your biggest <laughs> fan, Freddy Fazbear. I hope Bear. you enjoy the picnic basket I prepared for you, Yogi <laughs> Fazbear. Um... Yeah, I, yeah. I, it was it was King Mars 3 that had the Toy Story one, but yes. I don't think we even got yeah. that far. I think we got... Nope. The because the game Hercules. played itself and I had it on the hardest difficulty and I just mashed the X button and everything just died. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to think. I didn't have to play. I could have just... And at that point, I was like, I'll just watch a Let's Play. Because yeah. Megan got me the whole collection, the story so far, and I played through every Kingdom Hearts game again. Like Except... The last two were terrible. The Dream Drop one was a horrible port because it was all on the DS and it was like, I can't even do half the mini games. And the story was oh, absolutely this is the box terrible. Where we broke our leg. It all came full well, circle. <laughs> and then, oh. but. Um, oh, but again, my other leg. But, um. Uh, the whole the whole thing about like the it was like oh remember how you like Kingdom Hearts two let's do that plot again and you're like oh yeah really? the, the dream drop was yeah the dream it's drop like was basically just... like let's undo everything and yeah, play it again and it's like that's not a sequel that's a that's a redo no did the yeah. third one start with the big boss fight I can't remember yes now. it started okay. her, on Hercules's place. Which I did like the design of those levels. Oh, no, I love the art, and I liked a bunch of the other stuff. It was just mash X button. It was just so Win. easy. That's why I was saying, like, it, I think they made it for the kids. Yeah, if you want, that's when you play on normal. Yeah. Crowd mode should have been yeah. for, like, I don't know, maybe the people the who people grew who up with it. The people who played the first one. Even if you don't... Yeah, the people who've been waiting for... Almost like a ten decade years. and a half for it to come out. <laughs> ten years. Yeah, and with your very favorite song. Hi, hey, Sora! G Donald, Goofy, I'm still a teenager! Sora, you're in your 20s now. Actually, Sora, this is a product of the heartless and the darkness, as you failed your Keyblade SAT, so you have stayed the same age for five years. Thanks, Goofy. I'm glad you of all people know the story. Boy, and are telling everyone. <laughs> Gorsh there, Sora. Gorsh there, Max. You're just my surrogate son gonna, until yeah, I'm back. Yeah, why didn't back. we get Max? Come on, that would have been so cool. I want Max Goofy in the next Kingdom Hearts. And Goofy was like, there don't give me I mean... a break from modern living. Dad, I don't want to go to college. You're you a heartless. I knew it. <laughs> you love to hang your weary loads. Oh my God, Ivy! Thank you for the. Oh, that's 
okay. That's but little okay. son, it you're happens. out of luck. You gotta get in there because I don't give up Disney. Disney. <laughs> the <laughs> out oh, on the open road. road. <laughs> Remake. Oh, Freddy. Remake the Goofy movie rated R. I don't know. I, the Goofy movie is perfect yeah, the way it is. When's, when's the Goofy movie live action Goofy, remake gonna happen? Oh, After no. today, my we'll be cruising. Just you. <laughs> no more football. Wait, stars. How do I use it? <laughs> like insert uh, a new high school in your window. Wasn't there a video where Disney told the game studio they couldn't do a lot of things? I wouldn't be surprised, Miko, if that was the case. Um, I I know yes. that yes, I they, know yes, that it was. Uh, but the time the time when Kingdom Hearts One was made compared to the time where Kingdom Hearts Three was made, that a lot of different policies and like things about Disney have changed hands. Yeah, it was Nobu Imatsu's writing, and they were like, um, Tetsuya Nomura. Tet yes, sorry, Nobu Tetsuya Matsu's Nomura. A composer. Sorry, composer's but... fine. I hear Sakurai. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the not so goofy movie. That'd um, be like the. Yeah, no, I don't even want to think. Yeah, that. exactly. Anyway, <laughs> that'd, that'd be funny. No, the the okay. I don't think it was Tetsuya Nomura's writing that made Disney change their mind. Oh, I beg to differ. And that is my personal opinion. But Say what you will about Disney, they do know how to write a pattern. Me. Oh, can we hit the button now? Remember, we we're trying to hit a button. Now? Oh yeah. Purple guy. See, there was a sticky note. It's up... marked with an F and then question marks. No, no, oh, it's no, a number hashtag. question mark. Wow. Oh, I thought that was you. two Fs. Fantastic Four? Five Nights at Freddy? <laughs> Freddy Fazbear? Five. There's five Freddy's? Question yeah, mark. Yeah, I wonder We're how. We're rebooting. You... We're trying to reboot another dead franchise with the Fantastic Four, <laughs> and they're hinting of it in the security breach with an update and, it's and they're changing like... to Doctor Doom because he's a much better villain than the one they're currently trying to do in the MCU and they're hemorrhaging what? money so much yeah, you mean that's, to that's tell me you don't like the iconic Kang the Conqueror character who? you know nope he's iconic Everyone I read the comics him. I do wish that <laughs> we would get a really, really, really good uh, Fantastic Four movie because Victor Von Doom is like my favorite Marvel villain. Yep. So like, because I always played the Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. Yep. And and a lot of them, uh, he was one of the main villains. And so like, I'm really attached to the character. Well, since it's Captain like, America's gone, I... now Chris, now he can go back to being the the Human Torch. The human Torch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the the Fantastic Four. I confuse the everybody. Hole. It's the Fantastic. And they're like, wow, we're here now. I guess we'll be fantastic in this universe. We and are fantastic in every universe. Come on, Goofy. <laughs> I don't know why. why? Don is just slowly becoming... Laura, uh, Donald, Goofy, be fantastic goof. with us. Give me strength. And then he summons Mr. Fan or, uh, Human Torch into the, into the Kingdom Hearts. He summons... um. Spider-Man. Are you a think tank? Are you referring to the 2000s uh, Fantastic Four movie? Because I can only think of the one. There's, there's the Fan two. Four stick. There was two of them, and then they made that like remake one that was like they kind of lost the whole point of like. I only remember the one where Chris Evans was the uh, Human, yeah. Torch. Human Torch. Yeah, okay, I, I, I saw I, can... I saw the newer one where it was like he's a high schooler now, and it's like no, he's supposed to be like a middle aged scientist who's like well developed but oh, they wanted to be like okay, but we yeah. want to make it relatable to the teens and it's like yeah but that's not the kind of character that you, you yeah that's too yeah. weird they having a teenage iron Mr. man eh, but that was even weirder like nah there's a sequel Mr. to that Fantastic. one with silver Sur i never yes. watched that one. i never saw it either but i know it i knew it existed i kind of been i might dig that one out of wherever i can watch it i don't know where just... i can watch it <laughs> it's actually terrible uh, oh see, laser I tag see. right 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 laser... where is it over there got it forgot we were going to laser tag <laughs> and i don't know what we said to go to um yeah i saw like when i was a kid i saw the uh original fantastic four movies i i never maybe for movie grits but just for <laughs> enjoyment i'll never watch fan four stick i don't care <laughs> fan if, four stick if, I don't care if drummer Whiplash Kid is Mr. Fantastic. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, I and I also hate that like Doctor Doom looks like a crash test dummy. Oh, yeah. that is a shame. 
Doom not is my such character. a like. Uh, I actually think the actor who played Doom in the first Fantastic Four was really good. Yeah, that was my favorite part of that movie. Like it he did actually, a good job. It, it probably is part of the reason that I like him as a villain. Was like, I was a kid when those. Hey, look, guys, it's Gregory's reflection. Um, sorry. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like because I did like that movie when I was a kid. But there, there, there's so much better you can make movies now but then again we'd have to let mm. disney do it and i don't trust them with marvel yeah i'm i'm very weary of doctor doom happening because yeah. like at this point i know they'll be like doctor doom wow where'd you get your phd the school of evil <laughs> you know yeah. and and like we, we, we can't take anything congratulations you win a trophy um but uh, it's but, funny yeah, to say like, it too, Christy. Oh, Christy Biscuit. Yeah, fan four stick. It's just you don't have to explain like the bad one or the the one that doesn't look like there's any color in it. You know, you can just say fan four stick, and everyone knows what you're talking about. TV said uh, if, Den if the Deadpool movie is Deadpool kills the universe, like some people have been theorizing. I hope Chris Evan makes a cameo as Human Torch, like. And like Thomas Jane as Frazier as Punisher. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. That would be. So and and good. and also, I would if he's Captain America and Human Torch, and that he's would like be amazing. just calling to attention all of that. <laughs> also, hello Nicholas B F V ten. Welcome to the game, Rado. TV head that really threw me off. You were referring to the guy who played as Beast as a uh, Frazier, because I was like Brendan. But I also know Brandon you're referring Frazier. to the show. <laughs> yeah, I know you're yeah, referring yeah. to the show, but I also, yeah, Kelsey Grammer is who you're thinking of. That I love that guy. He's so. I we we watch Renfield, and I love that movie. And I was like, I love this guy. He's such a great actor. Everything I watch with him in it, I enjoy it. Sideshow Bob is Beast and X Men. Sideshow Bob? What are you talking about? <laughs> Kelsey Grammer, Sideshow Bob from The Simpsons, and he's also Beast in the X-Men movie. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at that Faz Life magazine. Wow. I'm always, I'm always living the Faz Life. Faz Life, too fast, too furious. Yeah, I live life in the Faz Life. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it got you to laugh, so it's not that stupid. It's it's good for a laugh. <laughs> oh yeah, just because something stupid guy. doesn't mean it's not funny. Look at the guy! Look at the guy! Oh, you're getting gifts. You getting will be fighting for your lives on a hostile alien getting gifts, planet. Getting gifts. Soon I'll be fighting for my life on a hostile planet with a bunch Why of other. Why he's got bear ears? Look at him! He's adorable. No Hello. No he's got a top hat too. Shoot a gun. No hitting, kicking, pushing, shutting. Naf crossover with Faz and Furious. The Faz and, Faz and, the Faz and Furious. Oh, Ubu, that's too good. <laughs> Yay! You picked the ears. Your move, creep. We need to give Donna helmet, you guys, because he's got the Faz and Blast. The orange team, soldier, report to the orange team. There are so many helmets you guys can choose from. I'm on the orange team. The Gundam team. helmet? The Freddy helmet? Start. Bicycle helmet. Start game. Uh, you also have uh, taking his hat, which makes him bald, which is the opposite of helmet. <laughs> the fast. I mean, I would imagine his head is metal, so it, his head's kind of a helmet. Wait, in that reflection, he wasn't wearing a helmet. Dang. All right, everyone. Zero it's out gonna of ten. be very flashy in here. This game's so flashy. I need a hero. Nice shot. Yeah, think tank. Nice shot. You should you should tweet at MadPat about that. Although I'm pretty sure MadPat doesn't like security breach because when he started doing theories for security breach, this isn't cool. This isn't cool. This isn't cool. Like people start getting mad at him, so. This isn't a game anymore, Chica. She's cheating. No touching and laser tag. No touching and laser tag. Look at the little healthy <laughs> laser gun. He shot me in the eye. She gets disqualified, right? She's touching me. <laughs> if Deadpool meets Magneto, we definitely need a Magneto. Welcome to die. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Agreed. Magneto's another one of my favorite Marvel villains. I've always liked Magneto. I also think it's because in the older uh, X-Men movies, the like first ones, not first class, but the ones before that, uh, it's the guy who also does Gandalf. I forget the name of the actor. Ian McKellen? Yes. What is he said? Um, of, which I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so I was like, it's it's Gandalf! He's Magneto! This is great! I love this. My little fangirl uh, mind was... What did you do? <laughs> Todd! Everyone's falling off the side. Well... <laughs> Alright then. So that happened. Oh. Well, you know what's even cooler is Professor uh, X is the poop emoji. What? <laughs> Wait, does the, the... Professor X is the poop emoji? I can't wait for them to make uh, Ash from uh, Evil Dead become a uh, character in the Marvel Universe. To defend. But like he's <laughs> he already in all is. Of the I know. <laughs> but I mean, like, actually engage him as a superhero and a fast talking. Wise cracking superhero, because we all need more of those, right? He do be a boo on TV. <laughs> uh, we got Spider-Man, uh, and we got Iron and Man, and we got um, Deadpool, and we got uh, Wolverine, and we've got the entire crew of. Um, Who do you guys think is actually uh, going to be cast for? Uh... And I'm sure some of the Eternals quack crack some whips, but I don't know any uh, of them because I they aren't interesting to me. Yep, Thor eventually. Yeah, Thor, after a few movies, decided to also start uh, yep. cracking wise. Because it works so well for Iron Man, and that's mm -hmm. just what you do now. You just well, make a character, put no, him in Guardians. suit, and Leotard. I think it was Guardians, really. That yeah, Guardians. <laughs> Chica. It sucks because it works for Guardians, but then they were like, we know Thor has his own identity, but people aren't as excited about his movies, so let's just like make him Guardians 2.0. Yeah, I, I think the Guardians of the Galaxy movies are probably my favorite that Marvel has done in the last, like, 10, 20 years, mm -hmm. however, since Disney bought them. Yeah. yeah. Guardians 3 was, like, the only post-Infinity War movie I Agreed. was, like, excited Agreed. about. Yeah. I know there's a Spider-Man one, but let's be honest, I wasn't excited for the movie so much as all the member berries. Mm -hmm. It's just like, Green Goblin again? I've never seen Green Goblin since 2001! And uh, William Defoe re re revising that role was just like, mm, made oh yeah. you happy. Yeah, it's like, I was happy about that, but like, yeah. a new MCU Spider-Man movie, I don't... It's like, <laughs> yeah, I might have felt the same way as you, Ubu. Now don't jump, Don, you'll break something. He does it anyways. <laughs> I go where I want to go. <laughs> I do what I want to do. My name's Gregory, and I go where I want to go. Because I'm not forced <laughs> to chase the MacGuffins. Nope. I can freely roam, That's and it's up to Dawn me if I want to end the charade. The charade. <laughs> um. Also, if I could remember what it was. Uh oh. What the mock? <laughs> <laughs> The you know, only it does sound like that. That's what she says. <laughs> the only says. reason to not get rid of Chica's voice box until you absolutely have to is because she goes, What the fuck? Like it's that. great. <laughs> That's what uh, that old YouTube guy <laughs> yeah. used to say. Well done, Superstar. You won the Phasm Blaster. Yay. Now you won the lecture prize from the Superstar you won the, What? What is it? The... I don't know what I'm thinking of. My brain hurts. <laughs> wow, look at that bloom, guys. Wow, bloom. the Death Star, but green. We went Grink! That, yeah. uh... <laughs> Darth Grink. Darth Grink. Yay! We got... Wait, 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 go back. Booby's nose. Wait. I can't see! No, he goes, I'm your blind. friend! Where does this vent go? I'm blind! <laughs> Freddy says some Where really does this vent go? <laughs> when you shoot Freddy in the face, he says some pretty funny things. Why? I feel like I've seen that before. What? But the the Freddy the saying face. funny things when he gets ah. shot in the face. But yes, yes, movies <laughs> movies are funny, and uh, and we like to talk about movies. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. is the best one, Crispy Biscuit. He's like, why? I like the one he goes, I am your friend! 
<laughs> it's pretty good. It's okay. good that it's always nice to have little things like that where they're like, well, the player's gonna want to shoot their friend in the face because, you know. Absolutely. So we need to have a little Easter egg for them. I will say, one of my favorite things about this game is just the level of detail, the set dressing, just, like, I, I know it got such a bad rap when it launched because it was the just so The game was so too broken. hard for the people who usually play FNAF. Yeah, and it was very difficult. What? I can move in three dimensions? This is too much. <laughs> but, like, it, one of the reasons that Which the- Which one the door? That rabbit lady's in a secret room of a phaser blast. It looks like a hideout. Cool. Fanny. I think her name is Fanny. Fanny. It's wow, pronounced that Yanni. Sounds... <laughs> it is very Yanni. similar to Fanny. <laughs> Fanny. That's like the worst line of the game, Bunny. though. It was very this be a coincidence. <laughs> Freddy, thank you for spelling it out for everyone. Just thank Just you. Just in case you didn't know, Fanny's uh... like the first two syllables of Vanessa. Whoa. Oh, that's true. The game isn't very scary, but I mean. I'm not a good judge of that. Yeah, this is true. I mean, it still scares me sometimes, but like, I guess I don't care that it's not scary. Because it's got it's moments, but that's not the hyper focus is to do a yeah. quick jump scare and then just, you know. The jump scares are startling. I wouldn't say it's scary though. Yeah. Well, that's the thing I've noticed about like uh, scary movies that I don't know if many people notice, but like they purposefully some movies, not all, I guess. <laughs> it it, she it is feels sick, like though. they they purposefully like get everything quiet, and then right when the thing that they're like, I want you to be scared at this moment, they have like a stab of a sound effect, and it's like audibly louder, so it makes you flinch because it might cause a micro amount of pain, because it's mm. like just barely above that decibel level where it like starts to hurt, but not cause permanent damage. So it's like ah, and it's like oh, I'm scared, and it's like nah, you just got poked with a needle, and it made your body flinch. <laughs> You're just that, reacting this, to physical stimulation. This conversation reminds me, earlier I'd said that, like, uh, the FNAF movie, it, it reminded me of another movie where, like, there was one place where I got jump scared, mm -hmm. and, like, it, it, you're, like, that one, I, like, in, in FNAF it's supposed to happen, but it's, like, a joke, so it feels like it wasn't supposed to happen or something. Oh. Uh, yeah, I, I thought that was kind of fun, you know, that they're like, uh-oh, it's him, you know, it's scary as a joke. But the other movie, and this one, it wasn't supposed to be a jump scare. But even though it was like a creepy movie, it was yeah, the part that got me was uh, I Am Legend. Hi, oh, okay. Um, I cannot yeah. see. Uh, so there was a... There's a part in I Am Legend, and, you know, for those who don't know, that's the Will Smith is the only person alive. There's, like, Fast Zombies movie. And, um, there's, like, a part when he's, like, going through, like, a sewer or something, and he's, it's real dark or something like that, and there's tension. But, like, it, the scene doesn't really go anywhere. There's, like, tension just because of, like, the setting, but it's not like this will lead up to something. And then the scene transitions to him like closing a medicine cabinet, and that's skulls. what scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that's it was just so funny. abrupt. It was like a, the the medicine cabinet jump scare. That's I was like, great. <laughs> the fact that like given the the, the entire setting and like skulls. concept of this movie, the thing that scared me the most was Will Smith closing a medicine cabinet. Is like. Dumb. That's pretty funny because there's some pretty scary parts in that movie. But that's the thing. That... The funny thing is, is that movie's like the third or fourth time that that story's been remade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's I Am Legend, then Omega Man, then I Am Legend again, and then I think it was the Will Smith I Am Legend that was the third one. I, think. I, uh, I, I, the uh, Crispy Biscuits mentioned uh, there was only one part in this game that scared them, like genuinely scared them. Uh, I want to know which part you, is. That is for you. I'm really curious, actually. It's, I uh... do agree with what TV said, too. It's like, uh, a, a game or movie with a lot of jump scares is like a comedian show, where the comedian runs up, tickles you, and says, Aha! You left! That means I'm right. a good comedian. Because they tickled you! It's like, it's almost I don't have a choice. It's like, ah! It's like, yeah. oh, you got scared. It's that, like, that I... actually is a really good analogy. Yeah. And... Then that's not all. Again, that's not all horror movies. It's just usually if a horror movie tries that, it's like, okay, you're not very good. You're you're not very good at your job, are you? I remember. You resorted um, to. 
basically. Oh, no, we're totally going on spoilers, Crispy. This is like our third time playing through the game this third. year. So, <laughs> like, we've beat it many, many times. I think times. this is my fourth time in the last 365 days. Yeah. Uh, within the so last please, year's... please, no, no problem uh, sharing. But, uh... Oh, I was going to say something. Um... Oh, when we were... T so, when we started working on Mansion at Midnight... I took a poll on Twitter to like kind of get people's feedback about jump scares because I had wanted to add a couple. Don was like, ah, I don't know, they kind of like get boring after a while and then you're, they're repetitive and people get used to it and then it's just annoying. Um, and one person mentioned that like one of the, the big takeaways from Bendy and the Ink Machine is there's all the jump scares in there, but the thing that you wanted to learn more about was the deep, dark story that was going on, right? And so, in the midst of you trying to see the story, you're kind of distracted by the jump scares. Welcome, readers! Oh, hi, Layla! Hello. Um, and it wasn't to the game's benefit, was basically what the person said. And I found that really interesting. Uh, let me just do a little shout out for Layla. Yeah, I know for me, like, I, I know FNAF is known for the jump scares, but the thing is, is like, in the best games, the jump scares are like a punishment, you know? Yeah. It, like, there's tension, and that's freaky, but, you know, the, the reason the jump scares work is because there's tension, and you didn't, like, meet circum- or, like, uh... Yeah, you didn't meet certain demands to make the tension, you know, kind of dissipate, you know? Yeah. And then you get the serotonin of, or, like, the, the satisfaction of, okay, I did it. Um, but, like, in a game like FNAF 3, where, like, the phantoms yes, just, the like, jump at stressful. you... Oh, yeah, there's that, that. I was gonna say the Mr. Hippo magnet was the scariest part of this game. <laughs> Uh, the endos are genuinely the scariest part of this game. Well, like, I think you're... Because, okay, the first time I played this game... So, I bought this game <clears throat> last year around Christmas time because usually once a year I have to, to skip the line at, like, Target or Walmart or whatever. <laughs> name your, like, s store that has an electronic section but also has, like, a bunch of other departments, like clothes, food, etc., um, Fred Meyer Safeway. I don't think Publix does, but something like that. And so I usually find, like, a cheap game to buy that's, like, on sale for the holidays time because I want to buy something and I don't want to wait in line. And I'm like, I'll pay 10 or 20 bucks. So that last year, it was this game. Uh, it was, like, half off. And I'm like, sure. And, and up until this point, like, the only Five Nights at Freddy stuff we really do was just watching Markiplier, right? But this game in particular, Don was like, you know, I bet I would like playing this game. Well, Whereas the other ones, he was just like, ah, I'll just watch Oh, it and also play. I had, like, recently bought a PS5, um, and I wanted to... And I saw that it had the automatic upgrade, so it was a PS4 version, but if you put it in the disc, it would just give you the PS5 version. I'm like, oh, cool. Another PS5 game for, like, 10, 20 bucks. Um, and so I bought it. Since I bought that last year, like, almost last year now, we're, we're getting close to when I bought it, I have now played this game all the way through four times. Yeah. <laughs> and we're probably going for a... Is this a fourth or a fifth? It said there was a bag of monkeys. It's, it's so funny because when we were talking about this before, I was like, well, hey, if you like a game, you know, there's there's no limit to how many I times you can play ones. it. And, and you were like, I don't love it, though. Because, <laughs> like, I was thinking of how often, like, I'll come back to stream and be like, we're playing Spyro. What else do you think I'm going to play? Because that's a game that I love. I just think it's so funny that it's like, I'm not even that passionate about this game. Uh, you know, Don loves this. <laughs> Don does not love this game, but I love this game. So I guess you could say that that's part of it, Ubu. Because I mm. love this game a lot. Um, because since he's bought this and played it so many times, I've grown far more attached well, okay. to the franchise. I, bought, I wasn't planning on playing this game originally uh, for last year around Christmas time. SOS! I was planning on playing the... Um, uh, uh, Final Fantasy Maximum. Crisis Core on the PS5, because like I didn't play Crisis Core on the PSP, so I'm like, oh cool, I can. I, I just never picked it up for PSP. I had one, I just never bought it. I'm like, oh cool, I can finally play that game. So I played it. It was a bit shorter than I expected, and we were hanging out with family because it was like <laughs> Christmas <laughs> time, right? <laughs> and so I was like, hey, I got this other game. If you guys want to watch me play this one, they're like, yeah, sure. So I put it in, 
and it would Megan's parents were like her, her dad was like well that scared me no and no he went to go have a cigarette he's like hold on I'll be right back I just gotta change my pants <laughs> <laughs> but the it's funny thing is, is he when we got to the endo part, the, uh, he was like, "Oh, geez, they're like the angels from Doctor Who." Yeah, because my dad, my dad's yeah. a fan of Doctor Who, and so it was like that brings it back around. We were talking about like Doctor Who, and it's like, yeah, so that was definitely like the most intense part. Layla, I love that you've played through everything. So we are totally like. We're even better friends than we already were. Guys, if you didn't follow Layla already, you should totally be following her. But she's amazing. Just say it. Just say it. Yeah. Not because she loves this game, but like otherwise. That's just that's just additional love. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I think the only thing I didn't care for with Ruin was how much of a straight line it was. And that's just a personal you That know. Dawn as you saw with Dawn breaking the the laser tag. If there is a way that you can break the game, Don it will happens. find it. He looks for it. No, I don't look for I, it. No, it just no, looks you do. For me. You basically you look at the way the game is telling you to play, and you say, "Nah, I don't want to do that." Every single game you play, you do that. It's true. I'm not denying it. Okay, okay, don't, don't bother <laughs> because you will lose in that argument. Anyways, endos are definitely the scariest part. Look at them. Look how scary. I do think that's a very interesting concept. The, uh, you got all, I mean, like, they're like booze for Mario. Yeah. Well, but scary. And their lore <laughs> is that you're not supposed to, they're not supposed to be able to move outside of their, without a, a shell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, uh, we have to be decorative. Oh, there's a couple more in here, too. Oh, yeah, they're all over. Ah. Uh, oh, boy, three <laughs> of them. Hello. Them and those. Well, I didn't have the camera, and I keep forgetting that apparently even if you're looking at them, they can grab you now. Yes. Because <sighs> if you get too close to them. Uh, I, TV said, TV had said a little while ago, he said, um, how do we feel about the Gregory's a robot theory? 100% agree. Oh, yeah. 100%. Because it's not... Because of the way that Vanny interferes with his vision. Yep. And the fact that he... It's like, well, if he was a robot, he'd be like the other ones. It's like, no, because you can get Freddy new eyes, and he could be like, I can see you now. I have new eyes. Yeah, so... So... I, I, I completely agree What, you don't think Gregory's way. creator would have skimped on the eyes? Nah, he'd give him the best eyes. Why? Because he loves him. I don't know. Why well, does it matter? Stop and, asking and, questions! And, 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 I mean, there's just a... <laughs> the, the, the best thing about you security... You say, Gregory, is, look with your special eyes, and he goes, my brand... I surmise there are two Gregs. Ah, based on what is in Security Breach? Living and dead. That, yeah, that's that's like... like and one's well a real boy, boy, and one's a real piece of... Whoa, did you see how high the lid went? Yeah. <laughs> that was great. It's on the ceiling of yeah. the building. Yeah, yeah. Or, or it was the mimic, or a different mimic, imitating Gregory. And that's why he was so mean to Cassie. Or it was a mimic, but not the mimic, but someone who can mimic. It was Maybe a human it was Bowser from other video games. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever notice that Crash's name is an anagram for, for Stark? It's, it's an anagram for, for Rash. See? See? Rash. See? <laughs> oh. Yes. Epic. I forget. Um, oh, I was. I, Blind won't mind me telling this story, I'm sure. But I was talking to Blind the other day, and uh -huh. uh, he was going into he was going to college. He went into class, and there was a guy. Oh, yeah. Who was like, uh, so if you had a little version of Hitler, if would you, you had a little clone, him? but he's a... not. The, so basically, he's doing the only place bit to to the guys in class. He thought his classmate was and, like and, on something. And, and Blind he... was like, I don't know what was wrong with this guy. I was like, oh, Blind, he was doing a bit from a show. He probably wanted to know if anyone in class knew the, knew the Let's Players. He was like, and, just... and, and Blind, she's like, I just thought he was on something. <laughs> <laughs> so... Well, because you started quoting it. As soon as he said it, you, like, quoted back the rest of it. And it was like... Yeah, I... Well, me and Jimmy did, but yeah, it was just yeah. like... Yeah, okay, you and Jimmy. Okay. It was just funny. I was like, oh, poor blind. Like, he, this poor classmate. You didn't know that it was like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, that was fun. Yep. Chepiphany. Yeah, exactly. Chepiphany. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Billy and... Yeah. No, nah, it's grim. Uh, it's, uh, uh... Con carne. It's other Dio. Villain. Dio. It's always Dio. Because he always Dio? comes. So when is the part where uh, Afton takes off his mask and it's Shaggy and he goes, it's oinks. I always thought it would work. <laughs> Where's the man behind the slaughter? <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah. <laughs> like, like Zoe. Cookie. I lost my school, and so I went to do a miss. I got real dark place. <laughs> the things I'll do for a Scooby snack. <laughs> <laughs> like man, I always come oh. back, man. I'll always come I back like for that a second. I like that one. So, uh, as far as the robot theory goes, I don't have like a a, a stance as in like the lore, but my opinion is just like because the... the question was how do we feel about? Oh, it? sure. And how I feel is that's dumb. But not not from a lore perspective. Just like, why Sorry. can't we just play it as a kid? <laughs> That's dumb. Sometimes your delivery is just glorious. I can't. Um. So, the, Space the funny yes. thing about that is, there's also enough lore to say it's just a regular kid. Yes, yeah. That, I think that's the biggest. Or there's like, enough. There's enough here, clues. Okay, fine. Um. So yeah, like, I know he's got special eyes, but like. I, and I, like I said, it's not even a lore thing. It's just like that's so. Dumb. Well, um, no. What I was gonna say is like, um, it's like, oh, you could take that as that, but you could also say it's like the the radioactivity of the freaky waves is what's making his eyes get weird because like Danny's doing some kind of like radiation. Well, Danny's em also infected by mm. a computer virus that infected a human. So why couldn't they do the same to Gregory? Like, right. There's a lot of other things that add up to why he doesn't. But the well, like it's the pizza. He doesn't have a profile. Which well, no, anyone it's, who comes the profile the, thing would just be he didn't check in at the front gate. Yeah, I guess so. That's like yeah, at Chuck E. Like Cheese. It's like you don't have your little it. number stamp or whatever, or yeah. like you don't have your parental uh, chip encoded. So like a parent can't abandon the child. They're just not. It doesn't exist. Um. Okay. I got him. Oh I yeah, I uh, Layla. Like when he goes, you. I feel you are broken, or I right. feel like I'm Dan. And Dan that's and another. Yeah. Um, that's another one of those. Um, I guess Sony it? censored the the fact that he was bleeding. Well, that would have surely mm -hmm. made him human, right? <laughs> right. See, that's the thing about FNAF theory. Unless he <laughs> has red oil. Yeah. Did you ever oil. think about that? He bled he could be a red fluid. oil robot. If you break us, do we not bleed? Yeah, battery fluid, maybe. That's a quote from Short Circuit <laughs> 2. It really, it's a really okay movie that I liked as a kid because it had a robot in it. Yeah, I like, I like to say... Is the one with the robot that looks like Rob? Uh, no, Rob is the one that looks like the robot. Jeez. Johnny Five. You know yeah. what Johnny I five. mean. Uh, <laughs> and they Wally. look similar to each other. Yes. Yeah, I had a friend who, whenever, when I was yep, a Johnny kid, five. played Brawl. And when he saw Rob, he was like, "That's Wally," and I was like, "This he, Wally's like a cube with eyes." What are you talking about? <laughs> I think Short Circuit the movie came out before um, uh, the Rob. Rob was made? I think. I don't know. Whee! I don't know. I don't. I mean, I. Well, I, so I, I wasn't alive movie. for both of them, so they're the same age to me <laughs> before me. <laughs> Listen, Rob is actually in the Old Testament, so technically he came from. <laughs> oh, TV man! Los logos kick your boss! Los logos kick your face! Into yep. outer space! <laughs> Number of Johnny Five. Oh, that's. You can't uh, stop. I think, I think uh, our next watch along movie is going to have to be Short Circuit 2. It. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta happen. To me, it's, it's one of the movie. few movies that was better than the original, and it still does a really good job of like building up to introducing the like robot. Yeah, because yeah. like, I don't know. I, I, you always say this about the second one, but I also really like the first. One. I do not like the first one. But as you much. don't. I like the weird. Hey, look, the puppet. What? Up yeah. There, to the left. <gasps> it's the puppet. Oh, this is Dude, the guy I who really likes Rocky. Aww. Wow, Look, signed a photo from Roxy. There's a little doodle down there. He <clears throat> says, my dad is William Afton. Because <laughs> my dad knows wow. him. His name is Henry Afton. Yes, Henry it's and Afton are the fusion. same person. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hen Henry and Afton are actually the same person. They did, <gasps> they did the, they went to the Boo Saga and they got the earrings and then they're fused yeah, together. The <laughs> Connection terminated. Indeed, I'm sorry, indeed. Elizabeth, but I put on the Pataro earrings. <laughs> <laughs> we can't separate. If we were Saiyan, maybe we could, because none of the rules of physics apply to Saiyans. 
<laughs> I'm just saying. TV Head, ah. that is something that I didn't even know was a valid point about that movie until much later Which in one? my vo life. My like, I had no idea that that's what the actor looked like. No, no, no. <laughs> What's oh. going on? You can't come in. She says, uh, I don't know. I don't have a joke. I'm she asking. says, what the fuck is with this mocking door? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just that's, like that's just what it is, as many bee bombs as she can at the door. I- I grew up- wait, what is that? Whoa, 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 look at the photo on the table are you, there. Are you there. Which photo? Behind the- look, they're wearing, like, she Freddy got, masks. There's only one Ooh. security door. See on the photograph hey. on the table. The photograph on the table. It looks like you can access there! The yeah. Mind. It's creepy! Anyways. What? How is that supposed it's to like, help? It's like, uh, like a Batman villain or something. Yeah. The Mad Hatter got him. It's like... It's like they drew on the faces. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... Yeah, Freddy and, uh, Fredina. Freddy and Vanessa. Freddy and Vanessa, it's yep. Canada like I said, now. it's canon now, guys. Vanessa's like, Freddy, oh, she Freddy, I know, I know you wouldn't lie to me. You haven't found She's that kid yet, have you? security officer. <laughs> it's in the security room. Come on, where's the map pad lore, guys? Yeah, and then, and then she got so close when she's like, what are you, Freddy, what are you hiding over there? And he's like, nothing. She's like, I know you wouldn't hide anything from me. And then walks away. It's like, <gasps> and then Gregory's inside and is just like, what? what do we need? Freddy, what was that? I thought we were bros. And he's just like, what? What'd you say? He said, I think I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> So now we have to make a pizza real quick to lure Chica away from the door. I don't ever want to eat a pizza that shoots out Let's get some <laughs> cheese like that. And it's pizza. What do you so mean? It's just like the cheese grater. It's just, no. you know. And then here's like, the meat like, grater. <sighs> Can like I have extra that. meat? <laughs> you want Tweeting at him right now. <laughs> Where's the Vanessa Freddy lore? In the dog. If you guys, if you guys literally DM me Vanessa X Freddy fan art, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm just saying. If that exists, that would be crazy. With this fandom, I think everything I know. exists. Nothing is sacred. Nothing is sacred. A 30-page fan fiction about their very healthy. Like, it better not just be a reskin of um, what was Chica? that? No, that weird Harry Potter one. Oh god, no. Nothing can reskin my immortal. Or whatever. <laughs> don't do it, Think Tank, don't do it. But yes. not me. It's like it's like hot dogs, Layla. Like hot dogs. Cutting edge Ooh. pizza tracker allows you to deliver the pizza to your own <laughs> yeah. uh, Nobody has to Google that. Don't feel obligated. Please don't. No, please don't, be, don't, do it. don't do it. I don't it. know if you should. I might be Chrissy, yeah. If you do it, I will not be held responsible for the mental scars you Disclaimer, will Disclaimer, Game is not held responsible for any fanfiction things you might see while you look for things that we might have suggested. We do not, in fact, suggest you to do any of those things, and in fact, you should not do those things for your own health. We are not held responsible for any of those things. They're liable. Please take this upon yourself to do only things you do in your own person. We also expect that you be over the age of 18 and do anything like that on the internet. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. I also, uh... That's like saying, hey, do y'all want me to go to the landfill and dig through the trash to see if I can find a cup? Tis real. Okay. Now we know. And knowing is... Half the battle. <laughs> What's go, the Joe. In this situation? Combat. <laughs> oh, combat! <laughs> okay. Now we got... Mortal we gotta Kombat! Fight we gotta find the person who wrote the fan fiction or drew the fan art. <laughs> and fight them. them. So anyway, yeah. here's Wonderwall. <laughs> this is a call to arms. Game game grotto grotto heads. This is your call to arms. <laughs> grotto heads. Is that, is that what you think we call the chat? That's what hey, I'm look, calling the it's, chat. It's, <laughs> call it oh, whatever you want. I love this Easter egg. It's the Stanley Parable closet. Now we just stand here, wait for the narrator to start talking. Hey, look! It's is the broom that, that Tiny Tim uses in ba ba Bots and the Robo Friends. Look, it's the broom from the um, uh, Garbage Pal Kids, or it's whatever. It's the broom that Tiny Tim uses in uh, A Christmas Carol before he dies. 
It's Freddie and Vanessa's yes. kid, and, and Gregory is a robot boy. Maybe they're the child, and of it's course. always the big custody battle. Freddie, I, you need to give me that kid right now. His name no, is Gregory. Vanessa. Do you Gregory. know how I know that? He's my son, okay? <laughs> Freddie, you gotta hide me from Mom. You're the fun parent. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry for anybody who went through that as a child. No, it's just the idea of like. No, I'm thinking that robots. Just takes no, us no, to now, another level of now fun, I'm guys. thinking robots. Like we gotta bake the bait. Like they've ordered the box. It just says Gregory on it. Oh, like in the movie. Yeah, robots, in the movie robots. Like, but making the baby is the best part, and they open the box to like assemble Runner. the baby. Oh God. I will give him your eyes. I'm glad we kept your... <laughs> he has your grandfather's eyes and my grandmother's nose. I'm glad we kept those parts. <laughs> Last year's Christmas party got a little too crazy. Yeah, I forgot about that movie. <laughs> it's a good movie. Oh, oh that's it's right. Fun. I'm supposed to, like... Also, it has Ewan McGregor as a robot, which I love that. It does. Yeah. And um, Robin Williams. Robin Williams as a robot. And... He's like, and... Don't talk to strange men. <laughs> yeah, it's Rossi's eyes. It's like, um, Freddy, is there something you're not telling me right now? I said nothing. I will keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Don't make me get the laser like gun. the pizza. She wanted extra not meat. What? What was that? She just uh, like threw her torso at you. <laughs> that was BS. Chica, I said do not touch my Gregory. It's inappropriate. Stop throwing your torso at Gregory. Stop throwing yourself at him. <laughs> He's a child. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call Chris. Oh my gosh, Panda! Why are you seeing me? What are you doing here? Have a seat. Have a seat right over there. Let me uh, let me just wake up the puppies real quick. You said what the blank when he shot you with a laser gun? Can you speak to me? Self defense, block. Now what do you mean by block? This one's for Lana. Is that really appropriate conversations around a child? Ask yourself that. He's and not really Onyx a child! And Earth Clyde is here, so we have little Kiki 3 through them as well. Place the money mix. Your, Press the button. Stalking your child and said, I smell blank. <laughs> oh, the generator. Right. Uh, where's the generator? Where's the blacksmith? No, no, just hang out right there. Stop sliding! <laughs> like, slide. Stop sliding! Why are you sliding? <laughs> what she patch happened? <laughs> it's she good to see you, the bottom of her feet. <laughs> Where's the giant, Gregory? Uh. <laughs> yeah, she has Roxy's eyes and Monty's claws. <laughs> <laughs> Where's his Zeus? He's got the mother's eyes and my strong, strong chin. chin. <laughs> uh, oh no. Oh, thank you for the follow, Crispy. I'm glad you're having a good time today. Oh, my throat from laughing. Yes, I, I am throat. definitely been laughing a lot tonight. And now I've got Chica throwing her body at me. <laughs> <laughs> like, what is this? You know, she this is soap on the bottom of her feet. So the momentum continues uh, to carry I can't believe her. the Sonic campaign for soaps got to uh, Chica. <laughs> she got a, she got soap shoes. She's got running around at the speed no! of sound. <laughs> it's not me. It was the one-armed man. It was the purple man. Go Where's eat Willie the not meat and deal with you. There she goes, slide, slide. Oh god. Oh, it's oh, turning around. She's that? going all exorcist. Ooh. She got no. She got the Heelys, yeah. <laughs> the amount of time I get for her stun has shrunk drastically. It's cold in here. She's like uh, Mr. Freeze from that Batman game where, like, you do one thing to her and she learns from it. Oh. You shoot it, her in the eyes, she's nice. like, you won't be doing that again. Really, Shotgun? It really happened. She's like, zooming all over the place. 
<laughs> well, hopefully you don't feel too bad about long cooldowns if you play our game mansion at midnight coming out because the guns have a longer cooldown but that's because they're being reloaded magically and they have infinite rounds and also because it could be a versus game so i had to be kind the to the now? other players you know you the know. the shadows do slide along the ground ubu nice okay good then we got we got the spiritual successor to chica in, in, uh, <laughs> in the game i'm all right with that <laughs> well they don't keep sliding around after you take them down but you gotta use a special kind of item against them. I do actually, they say, what the mark? No. They do not. <laughs> don't say anything. I did, we did get some really great audio for the doll, though. Uh, the, the creepy puppet. Wait, wait, shh, 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 shh. I smell pizza. Chica, you need to learn that no means no. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, my goodness. I, I said have a seat over here. <laughs> This is for throwing your body at me. It was heavy. <laughs> I'm just a young boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a young boy. Nobody loves me. <laughs> Poor Gregory. Roxy was right. I'm like Bohemian Rhapsody, but real. <laughs> oh no! I don't know. What a strong lad. <laughs> He's a robot. I mean... More proof. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. This is kind of creepy. I feel bad for the that. Now we get to listen to dial-up tones all the time. That that's scary until her eyes pop out. Then it's goofy. Do you think your uh, bird Someone girlfriend will go goofy? berserk if you play hooky with me? I wanted bird to be glam rock chica for Halloween this year. Old square to collect chica. I mean, do you think chica's one. red berserk? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just blunt. Nope. I just wonder. Yeah, uh, I agree, Serenity. I like to preserve her talking until the end, but laser tag one. That's I love okay. to preserve her heart in a jar. <laughs> Man, this place stinks. Yeah, I agree, but, uh, Crispy Biscuit. Like, the way- that- the first time we watched the Trash Compactor scene, like, I remember genuinely just being really excited and, like, terrified at the same time when, uh, she pulled you in. Like... Oh yeah, that was like, oh, gosh! It, yeah. You I almost became a Gregory it. sandwich. <laughs> Where is everybody going? Bingo? <laughs> Where's everybody going, pizza? <laughs> Hey, look, it's Ennard. He's everywhere. He always comes back. To Ennard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My oh, powers I was, combined. I was, Chica, so, I was Freddy, so offended that you said that. Baby and, like, <laughs> and heart. Go planet. By your powers combined, oh, I am you. William Afton. <laughs> William Afton, he's... No He's hero, hero gonna take children population down to zero. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> it's quite sad. Oh, bye TV head. Thank you so bye. much for the raid and it was really nice hanging out with you. I always come back. Was Chica's head the, the power around? is yours to make me stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright everyone, Ennards has entered the innards. <laughs> That's that's the first thing it said when it crawled into Michael. It said, Gross. Was that the bite of '87? Oh God! <laughs> and then it played. Yeah. Mark Blair jump scare. <laughs> hey, look, oh there it is. Gosh. The Chica, the Chica shrine. There are so, so many dead robots down here. Man, how many dang dead robots they got? Not enough. How many they need? Not enough. <laughs> how many dead robots they need up here? Where was the other? Uh. <laughs> I like it, Crispy. Okay, there's the one. got wand. the generator. Oh yeah, this I part think, is kind of... Uh, yeah. Her head is supply. legit broken. That's yeah. not normal. Look. Man, <laughs> I know Music Man is the DJ, but she's like a, a one-man Skrillex with that sound box thing. Yeah. Yeah. That way, maybe? <laughs> Chica's dialogue is just the lyrics of Bangarang. Bangarang! Call 911. <laughs> <laughs> Call 911 now! Oh, God. Um, 
I was gonna say something, but oh yeah. Does Serenity, I can twerk to that. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry that I I might be getting a little slap at you. That made me really laugh. These are all the actually <laughs> Layla. Those are the Gregories that got fired. <laughs> all the old Gregs. <laughs> Freddy, this old one isn't Greg. working out. We should get a we should make a new one. You're right. Gregory Jr. isn't working out. <laughs> Freddy Jr. is not working out. Freddy, I don't want to go to high school anymore. All right, throw him away. Let's make another one. <laughs> Where do we go wrong? Maybe it's your overcoddling and always keeping them in your front pouch like a kangaroo mo <laughs> big mommy. It's like, but they love it. And I Freddy. love it too. I think I want to try drugs. Throw that one away. <laughs> Let's try again. <laughs> no, no, let's try again. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make number one. Hey. What, are we just walking in circles? Like I can't generally? find it. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. Oh, it's dark. Or do I just need the one? I don't I, remember. I don't know. Eh. She can show oh, a second. Now I have to run. That's a good question. You should do the flashlight in her eyes like you do with Freddy. Freddy. Uh, that only works in Frederick, FNAF 2. Frederick Fredrickson. <laughs> Gregory Fredrickson. We put on the Dragon Ball earrings and now we're Frederick. <laughs> <laughs> the strength oh, see, of a robot Layla's bear and the We small just child. need to blow up the pizza plex. Here's a little lesson in trickery. First you've got to kidnap a Gregory, then you lay the trap I'll and you teach you it. how to be Freddy. <laughs> Mr. Fredbear. Watch and learn. Here's the deal. You get a mic and you give a go on a spiel. <laughs> no! Have you have you ever shoved anyone in a robot suit? Nah. <laughs> Have you ever sang a song at a pizzeria? Nah, nah. Okay, I can see. This is even better with that redeem happy trails. Thank you. Ooh. Would you like it? Would you like to? Have you ever kidnapped a Gregory? Oh, no. Thank Would you, you like to? Oh no. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and then it's just the rest of the crew just na 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 Ripping terror, Gregory. <laughs> this is going down in Stop history. Stop him, not me. Let's no. try again. <laughs> Shoot the lasers at them, not me. Oh, My eyes. Throw him in the trash, not me. Let's try something else. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> That's so dumb. You know, honestly, if there if there hasn't been some kind of Five Nights at Freddy mashup with We Are Number One, I will be very surprised. I'm sure there has been. I know whenever uh, Robbie Rotten passed away, they inevitably did what Ding Dong predicted and made, like, somber piano versions oh, of yeah. We Are Number One. Sounds about right. It's, it's Ding so... Dong, he's, he's, you know, he's pretty smart Ding guy. Dong, the witch is dead. Ding Dong. Yeah. Ding Dong. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'd have a fun time hanging out with Ding Dong. You know, and Julian. Take, whenever we hang out with Ubu, it's always a riot. That's why we love having him here on the game. <sighs> so we're glad that you guys are having fun. I'm too. playing through tears of laughter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just at the thought of just like. Oh, God. Oh, hi. I forgot about these guys. I think as it would be fun to hang out with Ding Dong, but it'd also be like, uh, you, you'd be like. You'd do the Robbie Rotten Freddy bit, and he'd be like, he wouldn't say that. He would. <laughs> he, would. he might. In my fan fiction, he does. I've got 40 pages right here. Slap so fan funny. fiction. I could fit so much fanfic into this imagination. <laughs> Slap's foot of child. Slap's foot of child. Trickery upside the head. 
<laughs> you could fit so much fanfic. He's got 40 terabytes of hard drive space. Yeah, because he's a robot. Uh, good night. Good night, Layla. Good night. Have a wonderful evening. Thanks again for good coming night. by. You could fit so much in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. And Julian would start wheezing, and it would be perfect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny how, uh, Life it's like... Tank. Thanks again Bye. for popping All work in. and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All See, work and no Greg play this makes Jack a dull boy. This is his room. That's where he used I to I thought work. changing the color of the paper would make things more interesting. Oh, I'm it's a happy your family. Present. It's the Afton family. Yep, you got your chirp pot, your birdie. The Brown man brick. himself. <laughs> And there's Mr. Mike Schmidt yep. as Balloon oh, Boy. Mike Schmidt, he was very triggered by kidnapping, but then nobody tried to kidnap his sister. No one no one kidnapped him. That's ironic, don't you think? That's He's why not... the movie sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they're creepy, they're creepy, they're the Afton family. <laughs> Re reasons why, uh, it's like reasons why the movie sucks. I was in it. Why Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> sucks. No, no, Number no, you gotta one. say it like the Squidward, the Five Night at Freddy. Reasons why Five Night at Freddy movie sucks. I had Reason to watch number it with, one. I had to why? watch it with SpongeBob. <laughs> Reason number two. Patrick I had was to there go too. to work in the morning. <laughs> Reason number three. It brought me no glee. <laughs> Reason number four, I fell on the floor. <laughs> and reason number five, the main character didn't die. <laughs> Thank you, Reason Squidward. number six, I picked up sticks. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say Reason number is... six, it was too short of a flicks. Hey, look, it's Golden Bunny. Old reason poster. number seven, I'm not getting into heaven. <laughs> oh, goodness. Reason number nine, I skipped eight. <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Jump, insert jump scare. Well, that door kind of jump scared you. <laughs> oh, no. That was a beautiful review. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> insert, insert, SpongeBob Patrick. Yay! Make sure to smash that like button for and subscribe button for more reviews and the cops some exclusive merch that <laughs> expires Friday. <laughs> Squidward, why do you only have two subscribers? Because God hates me. <laughs> oh, <poor> Squidward. <laughs> I don't no, know, Squidward. Your two subscribers are me and Patrick. Uh, <laughs> I know. God does hate me. <laughs> if, if, if only, if only I took a few moments to appreciate my neighbors and maybe stop blaming the entire universe around me, my talent could actually shine through and grow. But alas, I am too immature, more than you and Patrick, to face my own insecurities. <laughs> Well, well, I well. used to be subscribed to you, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> but then it but took I all hated money. you and you so much, I had you doxxed. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs. Whoa, Mr. wait. What? 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 Where's Freddy? I've... Good question. <laughs> you he was in the elevator just a second ago. <laughs> it's terrifying, isn't it? Oh, there he is. That's terrifying, like isn't doxing. it? I'm out of here. <laughs> You talked about doxing on a Twitch stream. Look at this Greg that I just found. <laughs> Hello, random dude. Welcome to the game, bro. Hello. We're losing it. Yeah. Be we're... sure to subscribe and like the video because <laughs> Be sure... I'm very sad. Be sure to like <laughs> and subscribe. I require uh... constant validation. I don't know who I'm trying to be. You're like, you're like kind of Robbie Rock right I can, now? I can see. I have to give you constant validation. <laughs> no, be sure to subscribe and like the video. You're Do your introduction between... so you can get me out of this loop so I can say something it normal. Like bigger. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> what if I think about Tinkers? <laughs> be sure to subscribe. <laughs> I don't know. These are characters I don't do voices of. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm Rusty Robin, so or whatever his name is, Whee! Rusty Robin. Rusty Robin. 
That sounds like a knockoff Batman sidekick. <laughs> the big There's Robin, guy Red I'm... Robin, Rusty Robin. The big Sorry, guy Batman and Rusty. And a little rusty. Yeah, you're Rusty oh. Robin, Robin. Ha ha ha. That's so mean. Yeah, Bruce, You'll why are you so mean to me? Me. Don't call me Bruce or we're out in public. <laughs> that that oh, just what? makes me think of that Batman getting you fast. Why'd the you buster? say that in front of the Riddler? Who <laughs> riddle me this, Robin? Why would you say somebody who obviously isn't Batman is Batman? <laughs> that sure would be like, that's so dumb that I don't believe you. <laughs> Rusty Robin is Robin. <laughs> Riddler Robbie goes, that's Robin's fake news. Guy, your uncle, <laughs> Robin, you're fake news. <laughs> <laughs> like this is the moment Robin where Robin. Oh, she gave up. Gave up. Oh, never <laughs> mind. <laughs> older, dirtier uncle. <laughs> uh, I used to where where are you heading now. right now? Like, I am heading to parts and services. Okay. And recreation. You got, you're actually Don actually has some genuine tears from laughing. <laughs> 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 I had to mop the floor because it was so wet with his tears because he's crying so much. <laughs> you uh, you all he... wondered, can a robot cry? The answer is yes. But only when Ubu makes him to... laugh. No. Oh, hey, cool. Gusagi, you're saw... back! <laughs> Hi, Gusagi! You've come... Where, where did they always come back? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, and Diggy! And Diggy's here! Just like William Afton. Just like William Afton. Like Scoob, oh, you know what they goodness. say about us in snacks? We always come back! <laughs> guys, Don, make sure you give yourself a hydrate. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Okay, good. Um, and we did a little stretch, and the doggies are asleep, but I am gonna see if they'll wake up for a cookie. Oh, yeah. I, I would totally ask the actor if I meet them in person. Good and I know boss. he's cool Good enough, he'd totally dogs. do it. If he would say, I always come back in Shaggy's voice. <laughs> I, I, you know he would. I know he, he's that cool. <laughs> Kusaki. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. seem like a person to be like, I take no, my work too he was too like, seriously. he was, I saw, I saw a video where he was like super sweet with this like four or five year old girl who would like, didn't know that he was the voice of Shaggy. And like, so he, to help her, cause she was like shy. She's like, who is this weird guy that we're seeing? I just wanted to meet Shaggy. So he put the piece of paper like over his face and started doing the voice and then slowly peeked out behind and then showed it that he was doing it. And then she got it. And it was like really sweet. And I'm like, no, nah, this guy's way too, this guy's way too sweet to his fans to be like, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. He'd be like, yeah, sure. That sounds, oh, that's funny. You know, like, I don't know. He's like, he's like, what a sweet yeah, Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Shaggy that's voice, but say a William yeah. thing. Yeah, he'd be like, oh, okay. You freak. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Um, guys, for those of you who came over on the raid, and those of you in the chat who don't know, Gusagi is awesome. You should Freddy's go give her some cavity. love and pop in to and give a follow. Chest cavity, um, for those eye. of you just coming in on the raid, you don't know who you are. I am Meg the Slime. I am Don the Robot. And I'm Ubu. And we are in the Game Grotto. We're playing... <laughs> <laughs> we're playing Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Did anybody and having oh, a lot of fun with did it. Did anybody else uh, call those, like, pasta noodles bow ties? Good job. Yeah. Now remove the chest plate. I don't think yeah. that's what they're actually called. No, they are. Well they're actually called bow ties. Are you called uh, to continue. I thought that Botanatus. was, like, the like, that you match the pattern correctly. Hi, Kakir. Good to see you. <laughs> I like Matthew Lillard, cause he makes me lol. And I'm Obo. Now <laughs> that the throat wires to the replacement Ooh, voice box. That's just normal me. My family like typically gives me like an Eeyore voice. Oh yeah. Even though I'm not depressed. Well, you do have a monotone voice, unless like you're mm. doing a voice, so I can see <laughs> that. <laughs> Return the chest plate and looking spiffy. I'm having so Commence much fun phase. playing Fnaf. <laughs> wow. I'm the king of Five Night at Freddy's. Look at this box that I just found. For Five Night at Freddy movie. <laughs> oh, Bob. Look at this voice that I just found. When Freddy finds out, he's going to frown. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. He totally gets upset because you took Chica's voice box. Testing phase. It's cool. sad that we Activating can't go what the fuck. 
What the fuck? <gasps> Why did that come out of my voice box? That sounds like something Chico would say if you shot her in the eyes. <laughs> yeah. This upgrade, it was Chica's. Gregory is a liar, guys. Honest. Guys, don't be like How Gregory. Don't when be a liar. When I was in the kitchen earlier, she fell into she some fell down sort of some trash compactors. I ripped her head off. Well, her eyes went black and head. they popped out of her head. I punched through her eye and ripped her throat out. If Gregory was at see, that's why he's a robot. If Gregory was actually a 12 year old kid, he'd totally brag about how he used his super strength to like totally do like that anime move where he like punched her in the stomach and her eyes bulged out and he's like, I'm like trunks now. <laughs> he's like, I'm trunks now. Or 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 he'd be like, I I did the I kicked her so hard like Kakashi Sensei or something like that. He'd be like, I'm call me call me Inuyasha. Call call me uh, One Punch Man. Call me Genos. Call me. I don't know. Uh, My Hero Academia. What's his name? Uh, Deku. Call, call me Bakugo. Call me, uh, uh, insert other call me anime. All Might. Call me... Yeah, there you go. All I was All Might. Might. I did, like, a United States of Smash right in her gut, and her eyes just came out, and out came her voice box, and I was like, look at this box that I just found. Here you <laughs> go, Freddy. Just, I heard the I genuine, like... I one punch like, her eye. I just imagine, I... nowadays a kid would like to be saying, I am Bakugo. Just like... <laughs> Bakugo! <laughs> I am Bakugo! <laughs> uh, what we, the we Bakugo? Are, we are very loopy today. Oh, there you go. Very loopy. Bakugo. Oh, gosh. Yes. She tries to tempt Gregory with some Bakugo battle brawlers. I didn't watch the video, but somebody said they tried to do a tournament somewhere and no one showed up. <gasps> That's so sad! <laughs> That like the Bakugan, the, uh, the little tops, well, right? No, that's they're, yeah, they're that's like Beyblades. The models oh. that turn into like <laughs> little was... characters. Yeah, kind of. if if the magnet hits just right on the card, that's probably too small. And yet you on know, the show, they make it look so I don't know easy. If, yeah, I don't know if kids uh, still watch Dragon Ball Z. Like, I know adults that do, but I don't know. They what? probably would say my uh, uh, my hero academia. That's like the the shonen jump anime that's all the rage right now. I am so. sad at how modern day anime is just isekai. The anime, the there whole franchise is just isekai. It's like, okay, but that's an interesting story. Can we make it an isekai? And you go, wh why? But why? Why? It's not like they <laughs> there weren't isekais. There was like uh, Escaflone. There was uh, technically you could say Inuyasha with Kagome was kind of an isekai, but she it's could go totally back and forth. Um, you could say Digimon was an isekai, Monster Rancher was an isekai. So it's like it's not like it didn't <laughs> exist. Kids don't have the attention span to watch DBZ. Well, that's yeah, where they that's got the abridged true, version, Miko. but still, it, Dragon Ball Z Kai or abridged, whichever one they prefer, that felt the same. Uh, which actually that was the funniest Wait, thing. Um, um, peek, what? Peek through, peek through there. Now turn left. Is that now Freddy right. or is that statue Freddy? I do a little dance. Now turn around three <laughs> times and act like a Bulbasaur. Now put your foot right in. Put your foot right out. Hey, we yeah, found exactly. Bonnie, you guys. Right we in. found Bonnie. They watch the TikTok clips. Perfect. They'll get it. What's what's yeah, the they... plot? Uh, just watch the men Subway scream. Surfer gameplay underneath <laughs> it. Oh god. Crispy, you're being too real right now. <laughs> they got to put the base boosted music with like the six. Plushy Angela, welcome subtitles. to the game grotto. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> yeah, when Goku goes full uh, like Ultra Instinct, it's like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, it's like let's fight, and he goes, yeah, I like fighting. <laughs> Actually, no, now what everyone's seeing You're is the right, Saitama Christy. versus Goku fights with, like, somebody on, like, a $10 budget, but it somehow looks nicer than some movies with a million-dollar budget. Even though the, <laughs> the footage is, like, edited with, like, super basic, they're still dashing in, and it's like, you can tell they're trying, but they're not trying that hard. They're trying TikTok hard. There's different levels of quality. <laughs> Gregory, you must get on the floor and do the dinosaur. Hello, Open the door, get on the floor. Gregory, rock that dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm a Vanessa, kid. we need another one. <laughs> <laughs> this one is flawed. Vanessa, get another one. You need one. to understand my epic references. Okay, we'll try again, but this time. With my child. 
Make sure it has all of my ref- Oh my gosh, my dad treated me that way. I had to learn all the references and get all of his jokes. That's why I know tons of things, like, way outside my age group. You know what? But it was fun. My dad was, like, the original meme person, because he was like, I communicate in references. Yeah. And he still does, mm. and it's a great time. Which is why I know, like, so many references. Maybe too many. But... Aww, it's if Angela. I had to say something bad about Don, it's that he knows too many references. I I What's up? <laughs> uh Angela came over on the raid and woke up from a nap. You know, oh, sorry I woke you up. Sometimes sometimes when we do late night gaming, people fall asleep to Don's like really chill RPGs and stuff like that. But today we're playing with Ubu, so sorry your nap was woken up. But we're still happy that you're here. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> I, could, I could be way more chill about it. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm Squidward. Hello. And I'm also Squidward. I'm Squidward. He's Squidward. Jeez, I'm Squidward. Squidward. I'm Squidward. 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 <laughs> but I'm... Uh, what is it? Pinhead Larry. No. <laughs> we're, not do we're not playing cowboys right now. We're playing Squidward. Why should you be Dirty Dan? I'm dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, can't argue with that logic. Okay! <laughs> Which one of you fellers is the real Dirty Dan? Um, I... <laughs> oh, you were screaming? Oh, dang. Goo, what, what game were you playing? What spooky uh, game were you playing? But screaming, I'm curious. Don't scream. That game <laughs> was dumb. Oh my gosh. I watched Mark play that Don't Scream <laughs> game, and I'm just like, what? Okay. No, the funny part was at the end when he screamed, and the guy just goes, <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah, pff, that dead. was something else. Well, here now we're playing Legend of Princess Quest. It was speaking of Legend of Blank, another movie thing to talk about. No. Oh yeah, I remember Spike mentioned that. <laughs> I deny its existence. No. <laughs> if I, I don't <laughs> top 10 reasons Legend of Zelda movie will suck. <laughs> Number <laughs> 1, I have to watch it with SpongeBob. <laughs> it's just the same video. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Number 2, my content is poo poo. <laughs> Not this Number again. Number three, my content is pee pee. <laughs> Number four, you'll Number still Number two, come I have to work in the morning. That's what number two was. That's right, Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> See, I put a new twist on it, so you can't say I always make the same video. Number five, I like to cook with chives. <laughs> Number six, you're gonna ask, what is this? It's number, a really stretch of a rhyme. Just go with it. Number seven. Uh, uh, <laughs> I used to watch... No, I already rhymed heaven well in the last one. Um, my... I know a guy named Krevin. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> uh. I... So number nine, done. I skipped eight. <laughs> Again. Num number eight, I skipped nine. So, oh, no. okay, for realsies though. Okay. So, is there only <laughs> is there only rumors about a Zelda movie or what? Like. No, it. Miyamoto tweeted it from the Nintendo Twitter. He okay. was just like, "Hi, I hacked the Twitter, and we're making a Zelda movie." The, is there? Bye. Is it live action? Is it? Yes. Oh. It's live action, and it's being. I don't know if it's being produced or directed by uh, Avi Arad or whoever. The guy right. who, like, produced Morbius. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already inherently just, like, I don't... I'm not, like, super excited about video game movies because mm. I can... I like video games more. I don't hate movies by yeah, any stretch. Yeah. But... Like it, the main concern I have is Link being a silent protagonist. Nicholas In Cage. The past, I mean, Willie's wonder. I would watch if Link was no, Nicholas. No, no. <laughs> Link like... needs to be somebody Link. like 
young and attractive. You've grown up okay, to be a so fine. Are like you no saying one? Nicolas Cage isn't young and attractive? That means the only thing they're going to be doing is like finding someone. They're going to try to go to like YouTube or TikTok. YouTubers can't really act because they have that constant giggle in the back of their throat that they just can't help. Like, Scarlett Johansson is canon to <laughs> Because it's uh, I I don't know. I'm trying to think like huh. like in all honesty, who I think would be a good link. Joaquin Phoenix. Who do you think they're gonna make his link? Let's be real. You know yeah. it. I know Tom it. Holland. Ubu knows it. Exactly. It's gonna be Tom Holland again. Why? You because are. they only know one person who looks like they're a young boy, and so he's gonna be the one person playing all the roles forever. I agree with you, Lit, uh, Goo. I think it should be somebody who's rather androgynous because Link is. He's got the long hair, you know, like. What? It's going to be Chris Pratt. He's going to say, when I was a kid, I used to <laughs> stomp. Be stomping on all the Oh, God, no. <laughs> Blushing. Oh, Angela, I said the exact same thing. Oh, like, I heard Chris, no, Max. Chris Pratt. Um, I don't know. Uh, Maybe if it's Danny DeVito. <laughs> Orlando, see, if it was a young Orlando Bloom, when I was a kid. You know what? Yeah, Orlando would, Bloom well, wouldn't be too bad. I was real. I, I love I Lord think of the Rings. Danny DeVito should be the... Tingle. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I would be happy. <laughs> I just love making maps. <laughs> Buy one. <laughs> Buy one from me. <laughs> He's got I the balloon it. pants. It's like, hey, <laughs> up here. Oh, you know, or Jack Black. Would you like or Jack Black a single? Jack Black a single would be pretty Bowser. good. Would he Bowser? Like, would oh, yeah. they really do that? <laughs> would you, would no, you they like wouldn't. To buy a map in these trying times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, don't know. It, the, the, Casting, casting Link just seems very difficult with the current Hollywood actors, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm perfectly content with just not caring, and if it's good, then I don't know, I don't even know if I'll no. see it. No, you know, you know what, if, if they're trying to find somebody, and someone who really would do a good job, and someone who really would care, and despite being a YouTuber would still do their very best. Matt Pat. No, PBG. Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Peanut Butter Gamer. Peanut Butter Peanut Gamer Peanut would Butter totally, 100% be like... He'd be like, okay, guys. Are you so serious? So weird, I, it it I would totally be like the zoom... No, 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 no. It would be like I'm the okay meme from me. Django, where he, like, zooms up really close to his face, like, you would? It's like, PBG, we would like you to play Link. He'd be like, would? And he'd, put that, he'd do that face with, like... His... I will be honest, like... Come on. I know PBG's kind of a dork, but, like, he's good at being a dork. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, and Link can kind of be a bit of a dork. And then look at that growth. Stop making me want this, okay? I'm just saying. Stop making look at me that want growth. this. I mean, he's not like the youngest <laughs> actor, look, did whatever. You, what? you said look at that growth as in he's grown as a person. <laughs> yes. As a but all I thought of was like... <laughs> I was like, and look at that growth. Perfect uh, for Link. He's got a growth. <laughs> <laughs> like, the character growth. Because it's like, that's the whole thing with Link. He starts out like, especially if they do like Wind Waker, where it's like, uh, he's like half asleep. And he's like, oh my gosh, my sister. And it's like, now I'm going to save all of the world. It's true hey, because I PBG looks sample. young, even though he's older. Yes. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yes, I you'd see, have to I'm wear a wig. Him. Okay. I'm but maybe if they do the one where he's like got pink hair, like the darker hair would be okay. Or maybe it's just like, hey, it's Link. We love him no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, sure. He's got to be blonde. He would dye his hair blonde. No, he would bleach it and be like, he guys, you might be wondering why I did this. I'm going to be Link. Dude, I'd be okay with it, all right? Who would they get a Zelda? I his, don't know. I don't remember him who, having uh, a growth. <laughs> his uncle who dies at the character beginning growth. of the link character of the past growth. is Matthew Lillard. Yes. <laughs> just it, put that. Like Matthew Shaggy. Lillard's just going to be in everything. It's, oh, <laughs> because BBG looks like Shaggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Austin. Yeah. Austin would be a fantastic lead. Yes. Uh, yes. That's that's that oh, that's Austin. No, they, they have, in <laughs> the in the cast in the uh, credits they have to call. Him Welcome Peter back, Gamer. Randa. I don't care what his real name is. <laughs> um. Matthew Willard should be Ganondorf. Who, uh, Everyone should be who Ganondorf. Was, who is the woman who is in the menu? Um. What's the, the female actress? Oh, um, she would be an okay Zelda. She would be I guess. a good Zelda. I, I don't think she's. I can't remember. I don't her think name. she's cute enough for Japanese audience though. 
That's true. They have. Uh, I mean, makeup can do wonders. Particular so I mean, I guess features the, that they like to cast. People right, for. but but at the same time, she has the right face structure that with the, the right the well the right makeup applied, she would fit it. So it's like I think that might be. Dang, a, I can't think of her name. They should I just make. Her name, they though. should make Zelda a CG character, and everyone else is live action. Well, <laughs> you're a genius. They probably do that with. Uh, <laughs> Tingle, you're right. No, I'm just saying Ganondorf could be <laughs> all CGI. Yeah, maybe. They could get me to be Ganondorf. Yes, a little blue man? That's a great idea. I mean, I can just get an Ubu 4.0 or something. <laughs> put my put his little head on a massive body. Oh man, um, the robot's missing its head! Well, what? it's a darn sh If only there were a, pl a place with a crap ton of robot heads laying around that you already went to. You mean the, the garbage heap? Yes. So... Oh, that would yeah. be pretty good. Oh, I've actually... Crispy Biscuit, I think I've seen, like, so. Some... Look up that name right now. Alexis Beldell, because that's not bringing an image to my mind. I need, a, okay. I need an image to the name. All right. Yes, we get to go ah. see Music Man. One of the best parts of the game. Ooh. And he's doing it there. He's just like, do 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 do. Alexis, oh. I spelled it wrong. Hold on. Um, um, does anybody else remember how the music oh, for the DDR this, version uh, of Bowser? Castle that's with? Gilmore Girls, girl. The what? Bowser's Castle. Yeah, in the DDR Mario game. Oh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to help there. I that played that like the... once in my friend's house. I saw it once at my cousin's house. He was like on the last level. I saw... It was I like okay. It. I know it exists. I saw it with my own eyes. Dude, I was so close when I was younger to getting it on eBay, and then I didn't because I, I don't know why I didn't. Probably didn't have enough money. I don't think you, we've seen anything that this person. Is yeah, yeah, in. but still, give me a, give me a face. The... Oh, yeah, the yeah, girl yeah, I know is... her. Okay. As Zelda? As Gilmore Girls. Girl. I could I could see that. They'll, Actually, they'll yeah, have because... to uh they'll have to correct the forehead ratio. I, 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 why not? To, I will say to be fair. Yeah, I agree with Aw, Roxy. Roxy, we didn't oh, need kisses. I was running to Fazer. And You're then like, she jumped through Fazer. <laughs> Father. Oh, father. He's like, this one's good. Keep him. He loves me. <laughs> Dang it, I don't like Vanessa. Good. She's icky. I love him. <laughs> I will keep you I safe. Keep you safe. <laughs> <laughs> His head cannon is going too far, but I yeah, love Yeah, I it. think you're right, Angela. Uh, the, uh. The, the face structure um, that Alexis B Bledel has, it would be good for Zelda. I didn't know Five Nights at Freddy's was not in America. Why do you say that? Oh uh, no, it's British. I mean, then again, <laughs> then again. Oh no. When you're working with measurements and woodworking, we use both metric system and imperial. So, at least I do when I do woodworking and design and stuff. Oh, that's a great one, uh, random. The Jorah's mask. I have yet to beat it myself, but I have watched Don play it. You didn't beat it? Help. No, I've never beat Majora's Mask. How long did I lend you it when we were younger? Oh, weeks. I couldn't get past the first dungeon. I did it. Oh. It it was one of those things where I played um, Ocarina of Time, and it's uh -huh. a lot more of an open world where you can sort of just, like, adventure. But uh -huh. then uh, Majora's Mask gets so restricted you because you've got that time frame. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> oh, I'm ten reasons. I don't No more squid! <laughs> Top ten reasons no. I don't like math. You Number guys. one, they're British. No <laughs> Number more. two, I had to play it with SpongeBob. Uh. <laughs> Number three, it didn't fill me with glee. You two, four, stop it. That's I, enough. <laughs> I spilled my tea on the floor. Hey, look, there's the robot head. Number four, I had to go to work in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Don didn't look at it, but jump scare. Am I right? <laughs> got him. Jump scare. Number five, I got jump scared by the damaged head. I do not believe it will work in that condition, though. However, there is a staff report. 
repair station. Uh, West well, Arcade. that's really cool and random. I, I, I don't know how long it'll take me to beat it. One of these days. What, what? Oh, the... the mask. Uh, 20 years. 20 XD6. <laughs> 1930. Whoa! Oh, oh, Dang. I see. We just waiting by the save point now. No, she was like in the middle of the room by the doorway. Nah, that was a glitch. <laughs> I'm camping. She was camping though. Uh, I'm, I'm the best there is. Camping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see. Roxy. She really is camping. <laughs> now totally... she's spawn camping. Roxy. <laughs> what? Freddy. What? <laughs> Take Freddy with you. Daddy! Daddy, I don't want to see Ro Auntie Roxy is being weird. Come to Papa Bear. I will keep you safe and warm. Does it want to do It's cold in here. Time. Safe and warm. You're defined. Mons Bear. <laughs> yeah. Roxy wanted to give us kisses, but we don't want any kisses. Oh, she's like that weird aunt that's got the way too much lipstick on. Yes, she's got the lipstick. She like leaves the kissy marks on you and she's doing it. And everyone knows she does it on purpose, but they still do it because you look so cute when they do it. And then you're, like, you have to oh. rub it off and you're like, ew. And they're like, ha ah, so, ha okay, so cute. So in our Pizza silly song. head canon where uh, Vanessa and Freddy are fighting for custody over Gregory, the robot. <laughs> Uh, Roxy is the aunt that leaves kisses on you because she's got really this thick This has all lipstick. happened within the last, like, hour and, and a half. So what does that make Chica and Monty? The weird cousins? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think in this weird headcanon we've created, Chica is a featured guest on To Catch a Predator, and Monty... <laughs> That's right! Oh my gosh, I forgot about Daddy that! Daddy Freddy, she keeps throwing herself at me! Oh guys, Why, guys, why are you doing this? You have a seat, right over there. Prepare for an incoming Vanessa. of hugs, because TK is oh, about okay. to hug you all. Thank you, TK, for the hugs! Oh, snap. Uh, we haven't okay. gotten to Monty yet, so we don't know. Yeah. We haven't gone to Monty, so... Monty says, hey, little guy, he's obviously the cool uncle. <gasps> he is <laughs> hey, the cool little uncle. Guy. Yeah, he also goes she... rock and roll. Yeah, rock that's, a, that's something a cool uncle would say. Yeah. yeah. Monty's definitely the cool uncle. <laughs> Man, Freddy's voice is annoying now. <laughs> I know, I... Yeah. Sounds, yeah. sounds like the so Blubbo mic. <laughs> Should everyone, like, please? It's the greatest day. <laughs> Should everyone, like, it's the greatest day. <laughs> Ah, take that. Classic. You can't give me kisses when I'm in Freddy. Oh. Now, is is Roxy's annoying aunt meter so high that she also demands you kiss her on the lips when she sees you? No, she's the kiss. She's the cheek kisser. Okay. So Chica I, is I, mommy? <laughs> I mean, Vanessa is mommy. Yeah. Chica is the one who wishes she was mommy. Vanessa is mad because herself. Freddy's hiring their most recent uh, Gregory that they made because Gregory likes is afraid of Vanessa, but likes Freddy. So he's like, I will keep this one safe. Because all the other me. ones dumped are actually other Gregories that they've made together, like robots, where they order another package from... Uh, the, <laughs> Thank you, Reg, you for it? the follow. They, they order a package from uh, the Robot Inc., so like the Fat Freddy Fazbear with their employee discount, and they put it together. And they're like, we will call him Gregory. Because it's like, Freddy, it rhymes with Gregory. And then we're at a Y for Vanny. I mean, Vanessa. I don't know where um, we get the I'm G. not Vanny. Yes, you are. I'm totally I'm not Vanny. I'm only with you because you remind <laughs> yes, me of the bunny. Are. I miss Bonnie. <laughs> I miss Bonnie. He was my one true love. <laughs> You're my, you're my rebound. Put on the I bunny suit. Don't you because say you that. Remind me of my friend. Don't say that. <laughs> that's weird. That's, that's oh my weird. gosh, that's weird. Oh god. <laughs> I want a divorce. I'm taking the kids. I'm taking Gregory. <laughs> I'm taking the Gregories. <laughs> I'm taking the Gregs. Oh goodness. Oh. oh, random. I'm so sorry you got it for the Switch. The Actually, I'm I curious. I have no idea how it plays. I, my assumption is that it plays really poorly because the game is, it doesn't perform very well. It didn't do very well on the PS4. On the PS4. So I'm curious, is it really, really hard to play or is it just like, you know, it's it's still playable? If you feel like sharing, I appreciate it. Or did someone come by and like turn the polygon count to like in the hundreds when it's in the like tens of thousands? 
did the electrician electrician come to your house and fix the switch? Let me. I I am genuinely <laughs> curious how it plays yeah, because I, I have too. a switch. I and saw it I and wanna... I was like, this doesn't seem like a good idea. <laughs> this doesn't seem natural. It's playable. Oh, that's good to hear. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about <laughs> security breach. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. It made the crispy that's, biscuit. That's uh, fair. Their PS5 lag, so. Well, no, we tried to. We thought it'd be the same on the PS4. So when we did a stream, because I didn't want to have to move the PS5 downstairs for the streaming room. Uh. Aw, you know, you can hug TK back if you want, crispy yeah, yeah. biscuit. You just do the ex the exclamation mark hug. And you can at whoever's there. Freaking and then they float the up on the screen. <laughs> <gasps> the best area in the game. We're here. Welcome okay. to the green zone. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go green. <laughs> Gone green. <gasps> Whoa, it's Nari. Hello, hello. It's a seaweed raid. There he is. I thought you said it's Narnia. <laughs> it's Narnia, Nori. It's Narnia. <laughs> I'm going to Narnia. I'm going to Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi, how are you? Reason number one. <laughs> Guys. Wonderful weather we're having, hmm? Nari is amazing. <laughs> She's a lovely artist. And if you like cute, adorable VTubers who are very sweet, you should go check out Nori. She is great. And give her a follow. Currently, we're just normal. Yes, <laughs> apparently, you guys are... Uh, and reasons I love Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Number one, it's very normal. Yeah. Number two, no I... more Squidward reviews. <laughs> no more. I got to watch it with SpongeBob. <laughs> he was very normal. Oh goodness. Hi, Cat. Hi, Norm. I never thought normality could become a cult, but there's SpongeBob proving it. Ah, uh, so Random said, in spite of the fact that you can play it on the Switch is playable, but you want to, you want to, they want you to play it on deep fried mode, which is my guess uh, is that it's very crispy. Ah, I see. Good. That's what I want. The Colonel would be oh, happy. Thank you it's for how I order okay, security what? breach. Son, we both have our mascot heads on. I like my security breach the way I like my chicken. <laughs> Extra crispy. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Put the rat in the deep fryer. Oh, thank you for the stretch. I don't like chicken. I like rat. <laughs> Sounds like something from Fallout. Yeah, like a giant rat. Crispy I fried prefer rat. the raticus burger. burger. Raticus burger. Raticus burger. Raticus. <laughs> It sounds like a Harry Potter. Have you spell. ever captured a Raticus? <laughs> nah. Have you ever protected a child named Gregory? Mm -mm, nah. I see. I'm going to, have to teach you to be mascots. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Just... Oh. Well, try <laughs> him, <laughs> not me. <laughs> Very nice. Here's Princess Quest too. The sequel. This is a rat that I just found. All right, we're wow, gonna go there's a sequel. Princess up here. Oh. And they made a sequel really fast. They made it in like two hours. Too fast, too furious. Dang. To me. Man, it's funny you say that because Freddy and Vanessa and Gregory are family. It's yeah. all about family, Tom. It's all about <laughs> family, Greg. <laughs> uh, yeah, your brain sucked. Gross! What is this? Uh. Oh, zombies? Nari, thank you for stopping by! I hope you get some rest. Too fast, too furious. <laughs> Top 10 reasons I no. love fast and furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who doesn't listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> There have been complaints from the audience that I do too many movie reviews. <laughs> <laughs> and I just gotta say, if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. <laughs> I don't like it, so you don't have to. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, totally I'm the Squidward critic. I remember it, so you don't have to. <laughs> I complain about it, so you don't have oh, to. Oh, goodness. 
<laughs> you know, uh, random. The... <laughs> sorry. That one... You're not sorry. Don't apologize. Okay. You're not sorry. <laughs> Okay. Okay, but for reals though, that's totally what Squidward would Plankton do. Plankton would be Linkara. He kind of sounds like Plankton. Honestly. I'll review Power Rangers when I review Power Rangers. <laughs> oh man! But what I was gonna It'll say. It'll be out when it's out. Sorry, what I was what? gonna say is that the last Pit Princess quest. It has a very difficult conveyor belt part, so I can see why that happened to you, Random. <laughs> Who's dying in the corner now? <laughs> I think he needs a minute, guys. <laughs> and no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, That's Ubu a classic needs Cody <laughs> plays moment. <laughs> I've come to steal your oats. Who <laughs> <laughs> star Ubu, everyone? Oh, oh my in god. In the game, Grotto. All right. Me. Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. You have returned from <laughs> the Giggle you. Zone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs, I'm here to steal your oats, got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Oi. stealing it, because I went to college. <laughs> Those oats are mine. <laughs> Oy vey. <laughs> I'll, say it's a, I'll say it's a crack on the wall when I say it's a crack on the wall. It's so funny watching Oni plays and, uh, hearing like these references to Nostalgia Critic and Linkara because like I grew up watching those in high school. <laughs> it's like I've never heard anyone talk about Linkara. You know, I've heard Nostalgia Critic get mentioned by a few people I know. Right, but... yeah. Well, yeah, like I used to watch Nostalgia Critic a bit more, but like I just didn't... The repetition is just like... Well, yeah. also he, he hasn't been doing quite as much, so like I was yeah. watching him and his brother do some stuff, like more casual mm. reviews occasionally if I was interested I think in the, the movie the or like oldest, with their opinion, but the oldest YouTuber that we still watch, like to this day, as videos come out, is AVGN. Like oh, Don yeah, and yeah. I we watch AVGN. I like, need an old nerd and a young nerd. <laughs> that was his newest one. He did like an exorcist to it, Dr. It, Jekyll. Like, Mr. Yeah. Hyde. It, mm -hmm. Like, all the other ones, like, over time, like, will catch up and things like that. But the only, like, older VTuber, that, or VTuber, uh, like, YouTuber that we, like, actually watch the videos. I don't know if Markiplier about. counts. We, we occasionally, like, we, no, we'll wait for a few things to yeah, come but out we, and, like, yeah, check we'll, and be like, Yeah, we'll, like, not watch Mark for, like, a couple of weeks and then just binge everything because we're just, like, we need background no noise. Yeah. But, like, when a nerd video comes out, we're watching it. Well, just because it's, like, <laughs> they're not super frequent and it's, it's almost like John. AVGN VTuber. AVGN V. Oh. <laughs> that would be scary. <laughs> A -V, A V V G N. A V. Oh. Angry video VTuber v nerd game nerd game nerd. G game nerd. <laughs> game. Ah, uh, hello. I am game nerd. <laughs> it's me. It's game nerd. Spike. Hi, Spike. Spike. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's Spike. What is your favorite games? <clears throat> Specifically Five Nights at Freddy's ones or like in general? Because I got a lot of favorite games. Uh, my favorite games. I, so, probably my favorite game ever is Spyro? either Crash Team Racing, well actually, that's a good guess. Uh, Spyro 2 and Spyro 1 are easily in my top 10. Mm -hmm. um, but Crash Team Racing and Crash Team Racing Nitro Field are like my favorite games. That, you know, I've had multiple people tell me that Crash Team Racing is great and I just, I don't want to believe them. I'm just like, it, but it's just a racing game, I don't get it. Can you oh tell me why gosh. it's amazing? Like, give me your fan opinion. I mean, I remember the demo was smooth. That's about all I remember. But I'm so. Uh, you know how like Mario Kart is a good kart racing game. Yeah. Well, 
there's just so much more to the uh, mechanics when it comes to drifting in CTR. And you don't... Mario Kart, you set the speed that you go to. In CTR, the speed is determined by how good you are. There's no CC that you set before you race. It just, okay. it, it's entirely determined on, do you understand how the drifting works? And, and that's basically, like, it, it's it's just so much more Purple fun. Purple Room? Purple Room? Because in oh, Mario guys, Kart- Oh, guys, it's like FNAF 1. Sorry, <laughs> go ahead. Because uh, drifting in Mario Kart is basically like, what is your understanding of parabolas? But in CTR, yeah. it's like, it's, it, there, there's like an actual mechanic behind the scenes where like, the more oh. like when you drift, it's you do. Trap, my favorite. Keep going. When when you drift, you do these like little little uh, extra like boosts, and with each one that you do, they they stack on top of each other. So even when you're not drifting, if you've like done those drift boosts enough, you're st still going like fast. And then on top of that, if you go over a turbo boost. You know, in like Mario Kart, you go over a turbo boost, you get like a quick boost, and then mm -hmm. you go back to normal speed. But in CTR, if you're stacking those like drift boosts oh, and you go over a turbo boost, properly. you maintain State the speed from a turbo boost. So there's just so much more to it. That's it's very interesting. I like it's not even like rose tinted glasses. You know, as much as I love Crash Bandicoot and grew up with Crash Bandicoot, it's just a very in-depth game. Okay. And, uh, I think what I, I get it. Yeah, what I usually tell people is, um, the only reason I play so much Mario Kart and not as much CTR is, like, purely quality of life stuff. Like, uh, like with with Mario Kart, you can like turn off items and just like do forty eight races from on random tracks in a row. Like, and I like doing that <laughs> enough that I just do it for fun. But um, if they if that was in CTR, I would never play Mario Kart. Like, I see. Ubu, you are based. <laughs> Crispy I, I, I like the idea behind Super Smash Brothers in general, like pretty much all of them. Um, I, I like. <laughs> I lost all I've interest in the newest one. Smash, Smash Brothers. <laughs> they added Steve, and they just broke too many design rules that are just like, no, this is no. And then they added the, they just. It's not so much the, of like personal preferences. They just so many missed opportunities. Yeah, and I also think that if you're but a like new the concept fan, is still good. If you're a new fan of Super Smash Brothers, like my my cousin is and stuff, then um like there's a whole new level of like, oh this is cool and this is new and it's like something you have access to. But if you've been around since the beginning of Smash, you've kind of seen the best and the worst of it, and so like you have a different frame of reference than people who play it now who are. I, I guess I can say Well, it's say still a fun game to yeah. play. It's just that, like, personally speaking... Actually, that's funny you say that, Random, because that's who Don liked to play was Piranha Plant for a little while. Oh, yeah, while. I, I was surprised at how good Piranha Plant was. Like, no, my, my... Honestly, the problem is Steve from Minecraft because it was, like... Technically, if you go one step before that, it was the uh, Xenosaga ones. The Xenosaga... Xenoblade 2, excuse me. Yeah. Because the whole point that Sakurai said at the beginning of this one was that There's he didn't no want to have no transformation that's characters. That's kind of what I'm talking about, how you and know then he the just... best and the worst of it. No, no. I, it's more for upsetting that his own words as the lead designer, or at least that's what he said he was, was yeah. like, oh, I'm putting these in now. It's like, why oh, didn't you just put Sakurai them in? Goes, Sakurai goes back on his word so much. Right, Dude, and that's disappointing. Thank so you it's... for coming by and hanging out with us. Yeah. Have a good rest. He's Guys, gone. we're going to do music, man. Moink. Best song in the game. Let's go. But, I, uh, all, all I'm, I guess what I'm really trying to get at is it's like, I understand how that could be someone's favorite. Like, Smash Brothers is a great game and I'll go back and play it randomly. I just really was disappointed with the second um, Music Man! The That's overall, like, content of the second uh, stream. Like, I really didn't like Kazuya, even though I like Tekken. I really wish it was a um, it would have been cool if it was like Yoshimitsu or something. And here, here comes he the giant comes. fist. Here he comes! Oh, wait. Here, comes. <laughs> here comes the boy! Ah! Leg. Oh. Oh. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> Hi. 
Yeah, I, I got some things to say about Smash as well. Like, uh, run, run. like you said, um, you know, Sakurai will say a thing and then it'll be like, never mind. Like, right. uh, it's just, I, yeah. he, he, he did that a lot with like Brawl and Smash 4 as well. Like, uh, whenever he said, like, we took out the ice climbers because, you know, we, we probably could have made it work. He was like, we probably could have made it work, but it's just the ice climbers, you know, basically right. is what he said. And then he was like, we don't want to change Ganondorf's moveset because people are so used to it by now. And it's like, people are used to playing as the ice climbers too, you know? Well, people like, can also uh, just play <laughs> Captain, Captain Falcon. Falcon. Yeah, and have an infinitely more fun character to play as. Um, and then like, uh... You know, during Brawl, he was like, we thought about making a me as a character, but like, you yeah. know. And then he was like, we, we also, we thought about like making an Animal Crossing character, but it's like too peaceful. And then what's the first character they announce in Smash 4? I... This villager. Oh, you got that. Right. Um, it's just, it was so, yeah. as a developer for video games myself, it's just like, th there's usually a reason behind that being a design that then if you go back and change it, it's like, yeah it makes them overpowered. Because mm -hmm. now the characters that would have had that now don't have access to that, and now it's like, well, what about Zelda Sheik? What about, uh, you know, and then they'll make characters. That, it, it almost felt like the characters that people really, really liked for a while there were the ones that were kind of underpowered, and then when they released, like, Banjo-Kazooie, it's like average abilities and power. Still fun, mm -hmm. But you're probably not going to really win matches that often, but you can have fun playing it, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> um, and that's just, you know, like I said, the concept of Smash Brothers, and it's the most newest one, or it is the newest one that's the smoothest. Like, I can't, you know, it, it's really fun, and I really like that yeah. about it. I enjoyed it for a long time, but I just haven't found myself going Here back to comes, it recently. Come out it's time. also, it feels a lot more, and this not it doesn't feel as bare bones as smash 4 did but yeah. definitely compared to brawl it's like it, it's and i know it's weird to say because smash brothers oh that's that's the gameplay you know is smash but like you know there have been story modes adventure modes there used to be more to classic mode it's so funny that they've changed what's called oh classic yeah i mode really so wanted much. I really wanted multiplayer in the, like, Souls thing so much, mm -hmm. and they didn't, it's like, I really liked the Subspace Emissary, but it was like, oh, people were showing it on YouTube, so now I don't want to do it and make it fun. And it's like, but, that was... Yeah, it's such a silly thing to do, considering the one cutscene you put in World of Light, you showed everyone to right. announce it. That's just like, eh. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I... I genuinely, I can't stress enough how much I hate the trophies are gone. Trophies are what got me not only into Smash Brothers, but into video games, really. Like, uh, you know, I, I played Crash and Spyro, but what got me into Nintendo were the trophies. Hmm. And uh, he was like, it's too much work. We did the JPEGs instead. And it's like... I remember uh, when we first met, Uwe, you had shared that the you you would get trophies in smash brothers and that would be like what motivated you to try a different game or like right. oh this character's in smash what game are they from you know yeah exactly like i guess you can still do that with the spirits but like it's nowhere near as interesting i just you you can like google the the same image that's on like that that is the spirit in the game and just go to google Im images and print it out and like you have it you know it's like look it's it's the spirit but yeah. like with a trophy it was like an entirely new 3d <clears throat> model yeah and sometimes that says it was the game like, it's from it, it, they were models that were 3d models that you hadn't seen in 3d before too like yeah. i remember the rayman model and how everyone was going gaga over it's like are we getting a new rayman game like what this 3d rayman mm -hmm. model is great and then it was just a trophy but like you know that it, it was it was something exciting to talk about that it's a shame that they just decided wasn't important enough to keep doing yeah i like i mean it it, it was like integral to the series to the point that when they made the smash amiibo they were the trophies yeah and it's it's just so <laughs> it's 
strange. <laughs> well, it, I think uh, that is a good point to make, that random set they're playing right now. That's kind of the fun thing about Smash. You can just sort of play it whenever. Or they're very three. short, you know? Yeah, I still play <clears throat> Ultimate. I was playing it the other day. I, uh... I had like a few more little achievements to do. Oh, that, unless you meant security breach as SB. I thought I saw I read Smash Brothers, so yeah, you my know, bad. Okay, either okay. way, <laughs> I'm Smash not Brothers sure. security breach. Um, either or. Um, SpongeBob. But uh, no, no more Squidward. <laughs> not <Rings>. Henry. <laughs> um, yeah, same game. Smash Brothers security breach. SpongeBob, same game. Okay, security um, breach. I see. I see. Same okay. game, different models. Just a mod it. Yeah. Five <laughs> Night at Freddy and Super Smash Brothers. Five Night Brothers. at Freddy. <laughs> Top ten reasons I'm not in Five Night at Freddy movie. Um, also, uh, that one random dude said, I downloaded a mod that turns Captain Falcon to Saul <laughs> Goodman. That's pretty good. Pretty good. That's good pretty man. Uh -huh. Um... It's all good, man. No, but, uh... Crispy Biscuit, no, no, I said no more Squidward <laughs> reviews. Don't, don't Talk encourage it. him. <laughs> I played it for SpongeBob. Father Pookie, I would definitely have to agree with you. This is my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's game. Also, welcome to the game, Grotto. Welcome. Hey, Freddy, you're still hanging Hello. out here? <laughs> so, we just did Music uh, Man. Yep. Which means we've got... What? Go back to Roxy's Raceway. Yep. And Father, and take Roxy. me away from here. <laughs> oh, I will keep you safe. Wife You're all right, let's go get ice biscuit. cream. Okay, let's yeah, let's go get ice cream. Here, I know the perfect <laughs> place. Chica's Cupcake Ice Cream Place. It's across the way. But I wanted to go to the ride the go karts. No, ride the go karts after we get ice cream. But, but what if I throw up? What if I get nauseous on the right? We we Quit have being a little whip. <laughs> I will get a new one, a new green man. But you know, Henry's a robot. Yeah, and <laughs> Frederick Fazbeddington holds disdain for the weak. I mean, with the way he looks at you, he kind of does uh, judge you a little bit. He might wave at you, but he's got immense disdain in his eyes. <laughs> they judge you. They burn right <laughs> through your flesh to your robotic child soul. Yeah, down to your endoskeleton. <laughs> that only moves when people aren't looking at you. Which is why the skin's there, so no one can truly be looking at you. <laughs> whenever people, whenever like the animatronics turn their back on uh, Gregory, he does the thing from yeah. the end of Invasion of the Body Snatchers that that guy does. Where he points and goes... <laughs> <laughs> I I wanted Don to look oh. at y'all with disdain, oh. so I switched. Um, no, I do think the ultimate was, was the one that felt the best. I just think finally after what like fifteen years or so of playing all the Smash Brothers, I just haven't had anybody to play with. I and am I get a very competitive. non competitive player, so Don wants me to be like his his <laughs> boxing ring competitor, and I'm just like, okay, you win. I'm not, like, I don't, I'm not very competitive at all. Which is a shame, because, like, you don't really have anyone to be competitive with. Nope, and but I will not just, play online, because it gives people a blood. false sense of superiority. Hey guys, look, it's the MVP of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. The Cupcake! <laughs> wow. It's a factory dedicated Whoa! to it. His eyes are bugging out. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Hey guys, it's the arcade game that didn't get put in the game. I know. Oh. If that's right. Um, exactly. It could have been. It could have been. Yeah. Good. I, at the end of the day, when it comes to the gameplay, like purely gameplay of the it's versus so mode, true. spin dash expert. I, I like uh, I like Smash Ultimate a lot. It's like as far as that goes, it's probably my favorite Smash game. Toilet but presents. There's so much to Smash that like. I'm a ninja. I'm a there, ninja. There's so many. We don't have a hoodie. Oh, I know, right? Lies. <laughs> um, there we go. There's so down. much that goes into Smash Brothers that I have what? opinions on, I guess. You, you, Ubu, and your opinions. Yeah, I have a lot of them. That's okay. That's what we like about you. Excuse me. 
that's it, thanks. Yeah, and your funny voices. Like thanks. when you're a robot. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. I'm sorry, thank you. Uh, but yeah. Like, uh, I usually, whenever I talk about Smash Bros, I usually just talk about, like, the characters <laughs> I want in and the characters I don't oh, want in. Spin My Dash Expert, you asked the absolute greatest question to Don. Uh, terrible, and I think it was the <laughs> biggest uh, weakness play that uh, Sakurai and Nintendo could have ever done. And, Don is not a fan of Smash uh, it, it breaks everything about the game. It's, uh, it's not, basically everyone else is playing Super Smash Bros, and you're playing Minecraft. It's like, you could just play Minecraft instead. No one's... If anyone's forcing you to play this game, then don't play it. Oh, but it's one of the best-selling games. Yeah, thanks to marketing, uh, lack they, of morals and marketing they, they uh, resold, manipulation. They because co they counted the copies wrong. But well, no, they're just like, oh, we sold so many copies. Yeah, you sold me two copies, and I only bought one, but you counted me twice, and that's just me. Not accounting for all the people who bought all the other versions a few times, because hey, every time you bought the version, the name stayed the same, and they never made a sequel, so that also you counted for a copy. Thing. Anyway, um, I don't think Minecraft is a bad game, but I think it's more of a platform than a game, so it'd be like saying, like, Roblox is the best-selling game of all time because everyone plays it on the tablet. Well, you got kisses for Manti again. And then I guess by that <laughs> regards, like, if you have a free game come out and everybody downloads it, or better yet, it becomes automatically downloaded on your phone, so every single cell phone that's sold that happens to be whatever brand that has that stuck on there... Um, I don't have the hoodie anymore. It seemed like a waste of time. Anyway, um... I don't know my, what the hoodie my, actually does. It, it makes you look cool and be comfortable. Well, that is Oh, true. also, the, uh, Steve uh, doesn't follow the rules of um, frame data, kind of like Mr. Game & Watch, except he's not light. So it's basically just take a character, make them extremely unbalanced. They can basically play their own game, which means you have to play their game or not. And that gets rid of the entire back and forth. If you just want to play and have fun, it doesn't really matter. For, from a competitive sense, it's bad, and that's the whole point. Nintendo doesn't want it to be competitive, therefore they're doing everything they can to fight against it. And that's what Steve is. Oh. My, my, biggest, my biggest gripe with Steve is the reason I eventually came around to being excited for him. Like, the concept of him, like, before they put him in. Uh -huh. was I was like think of all the Minecraft music that'll be in Smash Brothers and then they didn't do any of the iconic Minecraft music what Minecraft music like, the like background noises yeah, yeah no, the, the background well, the, music yeah there's music the there is dun, 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 yeah that's dun, what I mean by ambiance and background noise yeah, I wanted some remixes of that and they didn't add any of it well that would be that would be a different song that'd be a remix well, yeah, but like every a lot of songs in the Smash soundtrack are remixes, except for Sonic's. Yeah, because yeah. Sonic's songs well, are there's already one. great. There, there's <laughs> one. Yeah, there, there. I mean, you know, there's one they did like 15 years ago. There's um, a, uh, what was it? Um, uh, Fire Emblem. There's quite a few that are just not. They're just as is. Yeah, there are some instances where like you don't need to, but with right. Minecraft because they're so peaceful, it's like. You do need to, but they're right. also very iconic. So what you're saying so you is there could have, have been them. epic Minecraft music, but it didn't happen. Yeah, like, I mean, I've heard, like, fan remixes of these songs on uh, YouTube, and it's like, that sounds... I, You know, Sakurai's thing was, like, they need to sound... Like, we've made our soundtrack sound, quote-unquote, battle-ready. And so it's like, if that's the reason you didn't put it in, I mean, I've heard remixes of these songs that sound true to the songs, and are more energetic. Yeah. They so, could have just gone like the Five Nights at Freddy's movie did and just find the good song and then put it in there. Yeah. Uh, and but Nintendo also, never really does that, so... Also, yeah. that rule doesn't apply to every song in the game, otherwise they wouldn't put environmental noises in the Pikmin stages anymore. I mean, yeah. I. All I'm saying is I never knew Minecraft had any songs to it except for, like, when people were like, it's the Minecraft theme song. It's like, oh, I just thought that was, like, random birds chirping and, like... Just some rant, somebody sitting on a piano that decided to hit a key every once in a while, going like, bum, <laughs> bum, bum, <laughs> bum. You're not wrong. It like, does sound like that if you're not paying attention to it. That's the point. It's but, just, I don't know. It's not yeah. a composition. I, I don't know. I, I have other gripes about uh, Minecraft that are more personal, but that's also that also has almost nothing to do with the game. It has everything to do mm. with its popularity. And it's just more of a disagreement than a... Um, than like 
a lot of other things. Nah, Crispy Biscuit, we didn't grow up playing Minecraft. So, like, the the Minecraft craze was a little bit after our time. Um, oh, no, I, I had no, the alpha. No, it's not true. I like, just didn't the, get no, it. No, the time where everyone was playing Minecraft. And, like, you played with your friends and stuff. Uh, that was when we were a bit older. I like variety so in my games. Yeah, we didn't really I played play it. Minecraft. Oh, What's Wet Hands? It's... It's one of the songs from yeah. there. Oh, that's a... I, I don't mean to be insulting, but that sounds like a silly name. It does, I don't disagree. I, I, it just, I don't... I don't know. Yeah, wet, because he's I, digging in the dirt. And I the tried to play it, and there are so many better games that do a lot of the same things. That mm. I and I and my whole thing was I'm trying to make video games from scratch. So for me, it didn't like scratch an itch of like I can build something on my own. It's like yeah, I can build something on my own anyway. So it's like that's what I mean by personal. It's like this is just a basically it's a super a basic game, game, and game more engine of a platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. That, that makes sense. Even even today, people are still treating it that way. It's like hey guys, I came up with a new game. We could kind of mini game in Minecraft, and it's like yeah, I think this that's more of a really what it is. Crispy Biscuit. Making. There was a lot of people that were like right at the right age when Minecraft was really popular, and I think even now, like there's still kids who play it, but it's not like at the peak of its popularity like it used to be. Um, but yeah, Don and I really didn't. We weren't really a part of that. No, we tried it. It didn't get it. And then everyone's like, no, 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 you just need all these mods. It's like, that's the example of a terrible game to me. Hey, you have to mod it that heavily? Nah. Who went? You came just in time for us to take out Roxy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bail, bail. Man, Man, get that Tony the Tiger looking. Oof. But to be fair, I, I, I despise Roblox more, but that's just because <laughs> it's like, let's take Minecraft and then we'll just make Minecraft, but with Lego looking people, and then it was like people started making games in it using a language that's so specific that they're not really gaming. Uh, yes, the biggest of oofs. Hi, who went? Hello, things. Raiders. Welcome to the game, Grotto. We are playing Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach, and guys, if you don't know who went, you should go that's give great. some love. I am going follow. through it just fine after many giggle fits that brought tears to my eyes. <laughs> yes, I, I honestly feel like I'm going to be hoarse tomorrow from laughing, but I am okay with it. I'm not going to be. I'm not a hoarse. Was that the I'm bite of 87? To talk tomorrow at work. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a meeting tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it, that, this is what it's like being a gamer. You just uh, stay up late and you do it. I don't it. really get my voice like destroyed. I spent too much time doing Look, things. we are gonna get yassified. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 please, after you. Who's there? Personally I like Minecraft. Uh I don't play with mods because I'm not a silly Billy. I think I know for me, I got into it I and every time I see people with mods you. I'm like, why? I I I, I I was into it for like about a few days, maybe like a couple weeks, and then I basically just lost oh. like all interest because it's like okay, but now what? Mm. Oh, I know. It was over too quick, you know. There just it wasn't deep enough. We ran out of stuff to do, and that's yeah. actually done in a lot of builder games. Um, so that kind of makes sense, right? I. It's it's a really fun game for me to just kind of turn my brain off and like watch YouTube while I'm playing it. Yeah. And games like that, I can play those forever. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Don actually, and you guys probably saw it. Yeah, 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 but you actually like little. leaned back as you moved to Gregory. That was great. Um, <laughs> I guess I just uh, there's a lot of games that people would consider too difficult that I do that for with YouTube. So it's like I get that concept, you know. It's yeah, just, like turning your brain off. Well, but. yeah, like, I, I, but the thing is, okay, people are going to think I'm lying and I say this, but it's like, I do that with, like, Monster Hunter. Yeah. I'll play Monster Hunter in the same way that, like, you're describing um, Minecraft, and it's like, but there's, most people would be, or even Dark Souls, even, I've done that with, like, that kind of game. It's just like, yeah, you know, I just get into a rhythm and I just go for it, and it's like, that's, I understand that concept and it can be fun, but for me, I just feel like it's just a little too shallow, but it's, like, a really good, like, kids first adventure game. But there's like mm -hmm. games that are even bigger and more like more gear, more things you gotta do. Thank you for following. Oh hi, thanks, Spit Dash Expert. Um 
But yeah, the, I think that has a lot to do with it. But it's Ooh, like... Ooh, I do that... Uh, you do that with Doom, Cuphead and Doom Eternal. Yeah. Actually, Doom Original is one of those games that Dawn would just turn on and play. Doom and Quake. Yeah. You just, just, like, play for nope. chilling. For me, it's Harvest Moon, and I absolutely love Subnautica. That's probably my favorite game. I heard um, that. So, <laughs> another one would be Fallout. Any of the, the Fallout 4, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Like, if I just want to, like, be in a different world, I'll just go to the... Awesome. To the wastelands. <laughs> hey, Shmukoi! Good to see you! But, like, um, the funny thing is with Doom Eternal, I was like... I got it for PC. I was kind of mixed... I had mixed feelings about it. I still liked it overall, but I was really disappointed with, like, the weirdness of, like, oh, we want you to do the gun dance, and I'm like, this seems... To me, it's like, this is You're dumb. talking about... Oh, Doom Eternal. Eternal, yeah, no, because you liked the new Doom Oh, I love Doom 2016, 2016, but other people, they were like, they wanted to enforce you to keep switching guns, and people talk about it being great, and it's like, that's just, it just felt... Here, I'll do you one better. Here, if we can say hello like this, watch. It felt good to a point, but... Hi, how are you? But if you tried to play it with a controller, it just didn't feel as good as playing with a mouse and keyboard, and it's just like, I, I like to be able to play, like, with the controller and I just was not a big fan of the ammo count and I know why they did it and I understand it I just disagree with it but it's still a game I've played like two or three times and mm. you know it, it it should be more fun than it is but it's just that weird it's the arenas too like the arenas huh? are in eternal are kind of weird it, it... It's just this weird, like, feeling where it's, like, at the beginning of the game, it's just not as good because it's, like, you have to get those skills again if you're playing in... It just oh, seems Oh, yeah, strange. wasn't somebody... Like, Crispy Biscuit, you were talking about Cuphead a minute ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. You know what's funny is, in spite of being a mug, Meg the Mug, um, I, I've never played Cuphead because I am absolutely, positively terrible... At Contra. At 2D platformers. Contra. And 3D platformers. So and platformers in general. One of these days, somebody is going to save up their pixels and redeem that I play Cuphead, and it's going to be a catastrophe. So I am just mm. mentally preparing for when that happens. <laughs> See, Cuphead um, is so fun. Uh, crispy biscuits. The the thing about that with the finding the most optimal way to deal with enemies in the um, original dooms for example like the older ones there was that feeling of doing that my problem with eternal was that they hard coded it too much it was like oh you need to shoot the uh masterminds in the turret with a particular type of gun um it, it became less about like understanding the characteristics of like okay this is a rapid fire gun like the plasma rifle in the original one it was a rapid fire gun didn't have as many like quirks or like cooldowns Honestly, if I'm if I'm completely like straightforward with it, it's not even about like the the gun switching. I can get over that, and that can be kind of cool. It was the weird cooldowns that were like made it feel more like less of a first person shooter and more like an MMO where it's like do your rotation. And I'm not a big fan of the rotation. Like I play games like that, and I enjoy playing games like that, but I don't really enjoy the concept of a rotation. And in Doom Eternal, that kind of if you really think about it the way I do, it like boil it down to its raw concept. It's basically, make sure to do your rotations. It's not about, like, efficiency. It's about rotation. It's like, okay, this is off cooldown. Do this. Do the flamethrower. Get your shields back up. Then do this punch, because you can do that punch. And then do this, and it's like... Oh, Roxy's over there. It's it's about... Sure, it's about, like, finding the optimal times when to do that, so to speak. Like, oh, this is off cooldown. Use it here. And then it's like, okay, change your pattern and how you're going to approach it. That's cool and all. I just, oh, it's you're the trying cool to get to parts and services. Yeah. I'm like, where are you going? Because you went upstairs. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. And, I, and again, that's more of a preference thing. That's why I'm saying it's like I, for, Final Fantasy XIV has rotations in it. And I didn't <laughs> I'm sorry, the random of it, dude. But... That, that, that might be because you're playing on the Switch. And I am so sorry <laughs> that you have to get some glitches. That is a bummer. Yeah, it can happen. So like we that. have Roxas. I eyes. mean, I've had glitches in this one. This so is true. It just happens. Um, we have Roxy's eyes. And, oh, we, do we have to do Monty next? We would if we want to do 100. percent Well, we don't need to. We don't need to. 
Yeah, and like a, I would say an hour or so uh, before I collapse and also need to <laughs> set stuff aside for work and then go to bed. Yeah, I'm j we're, I think we're just going to uh, go with the... Um, let's just do the Vanny ending. How about that? Okay. We, we can do the Vanny ending or the... Um, um, the terrible ending the, where you go live in the box. The princess. Oh, we can do the princess quest ending. Because I've been doing all the princess quests. Oh, yeah. Good luck! Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Catch you later. Guys, that was my sister. Catch you my later, real dude. sister. Be right there in the chat. Holy crap. Holy crap, it's a real life slime sister site. Uh -huh. It's a real life sister. <laughs> Carefully detach the Dude, every connector. once in a while when I stream, my brother's in the chat. That's awesome. And he has to try so hard to call me Ubu and not my real name. <laughs> well, lucky for you guys, I I use my real name as my VTuber name. Well. Same with Don. Oh, the wait. initials. Plug the replacement eyes into the open eye socket. I didn't know sisters were real. They're not. It's a trick. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 should, I shouldn't have deceived you. Well all. done. Reattach the <laughs> ocular connector wires. Rude. Hold on, it's hard to see. Well, ain't that funny because it's the eyes that you're doing. It is time it's just because I don't get to click. I, I also think it's really buttons. funny that, like, the way Commence that Freddy looks advanced. without his upper uh, mouth part, he's just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> he's very unga bunga. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> bum, bum. It's us. When the when the Freddy is sus. <laughs> That's so funny. Anyway, follow me for more epic content like this. <laughs> like Squidward reviews. <laughs> <laughs> What if, like, I just threw every idea for content in the future out the window and just started doing Squidward reviews? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Hello. Today on Squidward reviews. Follow I hate it, so Squidward you don't reviews. have to. <laughs> Today I'll be reviewing Whiplash. <laughs> Reason number one, I hated it. I watched it with Sponge. <laughs> uh, really? I didn't know Roxy could see through walls. Also, turn oh, these are Roxy's eyes. There was an accident in the raceway. <laughs> well, nothing seems to stop her. Okay, fine. Good news. It is almost <laughs> Roxy's dead. Be safe now if you find Roxy's dead. Nice. <laughs> saw Roxy's, Roxy's dead. <laughs> nice. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, it's right. so funny how concerned he is for Roxy, and then he's like, Gregory, good news! <laughs> yes. Right, 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 right. I gotta get out. Out. Get out, out! Do it, go! Yeah, there it is. Did you know that birthday wishes can come true when Freddy comes back? It's true. Kids who have more really? birthdays have fewer they friends and parents who don't love them. This has been another fun fact. I love fast. the elevator ads. They're these so are good. Roxy's eyes? Oh my gosh. <laughs> We've been playing uh, Robocop Rogue City, right? And there's these radio ads. Oh, they're And hilarious. they are so dark. Like, there was this one that was like, come to the safari. Um, Do you love animals? Well, animals that are endangered, um, they won't be around for very long. So I why don't you come shoot them while they're still um, alive? I'm stuck in elevators. It was so dark. <laughs> oh, stretch done. Guys, That's I think Don's gonna die. I do hear that similarity with standout. That's pretty good. Um, I'm stuck in this elevator apparently, so... Well, I guess Moon's gonna get us then. Probably. Stand out, goofy It didn't movie. open the door for me, so I guess I'm going this way now. Awesome. Freddy, we gotta get out of here! <laughs> Freddy, we gotta go! Good morning, Freddy's mate! Freddy's got that eye thing where you see the squigglies in your vision. Oh, is that Freddy coming for you? I hope so. 
<laughs> I guess we'll find out in a second. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Top ten uh, reasons you should yeah, stay in the The, the uh, elevator wasn't working. <laughs> Number one, above the crowd. Number two. No. <laughs> even if you gotta shout out loud. Number three. <laughs> Also, is the did only you guys notice as we were going up, like, you got primo, like, animatronic booty? I was like, what? No. Go. Go, go, go. You got them. You got no shoes. That means you go faster. Every kid knows that. Now I'm oh. <laughs> no, My they speed have been... went up by five. The... There was animatronic booties. That's what it was, Spin Dash Expert. That's what I saw. They were hologram booties, but it it's was. Oh God! Moon, no. It doesn't have to be. You don't know hey, that. Oh man, do you know what <gasps> time it is? The Mom? doors are open. Mom? Why are you still here? You plan on moving Why in, are you still or you just here? want a job? Maybe join the internship program. You okay, that sounds fun. Do not right. come through the elevator because I, I know this is just. A a why are you trying every stage. trick in the book to get me at the door? She's trying to bribe me! Freddy, save me! I don't if I live see with you, Mom. I'm gonna kill you. I think you deserve a reward. What you gonna do? The doors are open, you can go home. You're pretty cool. I hate you. <laughs> I wanna stuff food down your neck! Moon! Oh! Moon! No! He, he just appeared Moon. in front of me, too. That was like a landmine. Moon does Wait, like a general grievous go. spider shuffle. <laughs> he really does. It's a moon in time. Of course you can. <laughs> Come on. We can hide you somewhere. My favorite part was when Moon said it's mooning time and he mooned all over the place. Like it's more than time. It is a safety precaution. It is my design. He looks so sad when he says that. I hate that part. This is my design. It will never I be can't safe. leave, not even in a live action film. Freddy, if I leave now, I would never kill an change, ant. Will it? There will be yeah, more that was Sans Freddy, God. Yes, I'm afraid that is Here, Why did they Just give Golden put this other Freddy earring the on. one blue eye? Why did they do see, that? Look, look, see? Freddy's already got one of the Patan earrings on. He's just trying to get Gregory to put the other one on. <laughs> and they can shoot shit into Gregory. <laughs> Gregory, you know, Freddy Gregory. <laughs> now he can leave. And be really strong. You know what, Knight? It's okay because security breaches lore is just whatever you want it to be. So you're good. You're, you're good. You know, I I didn't even know if it was supposed to be Golden Freddy. I just thought it was Sans Freddy, and I thought that it was, was silly. It was supposed to be Golden Freddy, and so he had a Sans eye. I'm just like, why? The kid's like Sans. Let's put it in a Sans eye. Like, escape. Maybe we can Was Golden her. Freddy even in the movie? Yes, he was supposed to be the one that shows up at their at their house. I I don't know. That was supposed to be Golden Freddy. See, I didn't see it because it just looked like a broken down Freddy. Like this one's. No, about to I be. guarantee it was supposed to be Golden Freddy. Yeah, he's about to become Sans Freddy. Yeah. We're not making that up. No, it was in the it was in the movie. Beep, beep. No! Oh, no! Dad! I like how their order is to disassemble him and make the first thing he does is push him off a bridge. Yeah. That's just called killing Freddy. That's not just. Oh, same. I'm sure Spin Dash expert. That's like his whole thing. Map Hat makes everything canon. Honestly, I, I bet he's, yeah, they, they probably already gave him a copy. <laughs> fast Dad is Fast Dead. Don't say oh, that, Crispy. Oh, God. There she is, spawn camping again. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance. <laughs> Nowhere for me to now hide. Now that Fast Dad's no longer around, Aunt Roxy is more aggressive. She's there for the custody. She wants the money. Hideout, yeah, right? the ant wants See? the money. See, it's justified <laughs> Nice and Freddy's movie. I'm I gonna scared, hire some people to come her. bust up the place. <laughs> I'm sorry, it scared you, Crispy. <laughs> I'm like going she crazy ha man. she has been very on point. That like she spawned. Yeah, Roxy me the has time. been nuts this playthrough. I'm gonna punch him. <laughs> Maybe if he had Monty's claws, he could punch them real good. Yeah. He does in that picture. 
Maybe if he had Monty's claws, he could punch them real good. Maybe if a bell rang, an angel would get its wings. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Whoa, did you notice that those coils kind of look like the puppet? Fun fact about Five Night of Freddy. Did you know the <laughs> cords look like the puppet? Chica's head is still on backwards, too. <laughs> Chica's head is on backwards, too. Did you know that the weird markings on the laser tag walls are actually ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs? Did you know that Five N Freddy Night Five Nights? Wow. <laughs> and and security breach is only six hours? That's not five nights. Okay, we're gonna do the princess quest ending. Yeah, All right. let's go! Everybody remember? This was when we were... We're not... We're a golden princess who doesn't sleep on the job. We're gonna go see Foxy, guys. Yeah, Did Foxy. you know in Princess Quest 3, you play as a strong, independent princess who don't need no quest? <laughs> but she's on a quest, Ubu. I mean, Squidward. <laughs> Explain yeah, that. Yeah, but she doesn't need one, though. Because she has one. She found the quest. Sure. The was... quest was the friend she made along the way. No, don't, don't <laughs> Donovan's start. Donovan's favorite meme. Is, is it a That's meme? Funny. It's It is a meme. That's what a... the heck is Foxy doing up here? Okay, so you're gonna play the rest of the play this Let's Play uh, stream as Squidward. Okay. <laughs> and Don has to be Plankton. <laughs> I have to be what? Oh. oh, but we get a drink. I think it's really funny how they put Foxy in this game, but not in the game game. Game. That's stupid. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> that know. can't be stupid. I listen to public radio. Yeah, well, I'm the guy writing it. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do a good plankton right now. Too much you, laughing. I you can if you believe in yourself. Like me. I believe in myself. What the? I like the foxy sprite a lot. It's cool. I like it. It'd be cooler if he had a model. Like he was <laughs> in the game. <laughs> wow, Squidward is based, guys. <laughs> 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 Thanks. Anyway, if you thought that opinion was based, make sure to smash that subscribe button so you can hear more based Squidward opinions. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Fanny Man. Hiya! Hiya, Katsibaku! Nice to see it's, you! Hello! It's Plankton DLC. Hello. Yeah, the VR going. DLC. Uh, no, VR stands supposed for to... Vanny. Reality. Actually, Rip and roar. If, if they actually did do that, if VR stood for Vanny Reality, that would make more sense. Yeah. That's how she sees the world. Everything's purple and a hologram. Fish, fish, fish. What is fish? Fish. Here happening? comes Chica. What is all this fish there happening? There she is. <gasps> Chica! There she goes. She looking. She okay. looking at you. Here comes the difficult part of this. Yep, this part uh -oh. is nuts. You can't let her see you or she'll smack you across the room. No, it's the conveyor belt. <laughs> Don't no, worry, no. Crispy Biscuits. We're almost to the end of the game and then you can't watch because we'll stop streaming. Yep. And then you can sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you can sleep when I give you permission to sleep. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I give you have my permission to die. Yes, that's it. Oh, I expect you to die. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> nope. Was getting caught part of your master plan? Yes. Actually. Oh. That was the easy one. Well, part. good job you did it. Thank you. Good job. You're really cool. Thank you. <laughs> You're no problem, bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's go to bed. What the heck is now. happening? It's broken. This is the part that's yeah. Was breaking the elevator thing go. a part of your master plan? Oh, 
not specifically, but I mean, could be. Not really a <laughs> this spin dash. Are you talking about Cell from Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> yeah. That's what I like imagined you said. So I was like, wait, what? I mean, I guess he's like an android <laughs> or something. That was the first thing that Cell absorbed was plankton. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's green. And so the end is near. And so I think. I've have you heard the AI plankton singing uh My Hello friend. by Adele? No. No. <laughs> I it's fake. My uh, case. I can't like I can't get into oh, those AI singing I'm things. Mm. I get it. Mm. That one in particular is funny because <laughs> yeah, it, like it, is it keeps <laughs> mm -hmm. it keeps like breaking in the chorus, so he just starts like yelling in agony, and it's really funny to me. Guys, we went to Fox's and stage. I died. Oh, dang it! I can't oh, believe- Oh, Zagnuts! I can't believe you've done them yet. <laughs> oh, Zagnuts! <laughs> oh, we're getting there, Crispy. Don's gonna try oh, again. Done. Oh. Was that the bite of 87? Yes. Yes, it was. Now it was the bite of 23. 1923. 1926, 36, 46, 56. 20 XD6. Bruh. Yeah. 19 XD6. I'm sorry, Crispy, we gotta try again. Let's do this one first. I Whee. remember that stream that Cherry was listening to those AI singing, and I could, I was just like, I was trying with everything in my power to not be like, like ruin her fun, because I was like, this is so cringe. <laughs> but I love Cherry, so I didn't want to make her feel bad. Cherry, I don't want to make you feel bad, but you're kind of cringe. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know there's some people that really are into that kind of thing, but, you know, I just wanted to let you know in case you're concerned about that. <laughs> Cherry, oh. I don't mean to rain on your parade, but I'm uh, unfollowing you. <laughs> I would never no. unfollow her for being cringe. <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> I'll just make fun of her every stream I visit. <laughs> I, I, this conveyor belt sucks, you guys. You like, unless you have played this game, you don't understand how cr just crappy it is. Like, I have literally had Don hand me the controller because I wanted to know how bad it is, and it is, it is insane. Guys, I don't. Yeah, mean you're bread. right, Knight. You're right. It is funny to see like that to hear them be bad, but like I can't genuinely think that they sound good. I'm just like, no. <laughs> I think it's entertaining, but I think it's more entertaining if like you can get someone who can do a good impression or like the actual voice actor. Yeah, I agree. Like there was one time that uh, I can't remember when exactly, Oof. but there there was somebody who was in the like um. The, the security breach, uh, the Glamrock Freddy, and they met the voice actor who does Glamrock Freddy, and they, like, pretended that he was saying certain lines, and it was really cute. Ugh, I, I really don't like yes. that, this part. Thank you, Christopher. I... I like the ambiance. This game gets a 10 out of 10 for the uh, 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 conveyor belt ambiance. Mm. No ambiance. If the scale uh, is on a 1 to 10, is, uh... 1 being a lot of fun and plays really well, and 10 being plays terrible and kills you for no reason, then yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> Uh, and I have one great. dog. Oh my gosh, I, no! I love hitting square. You know what it probably is? I'm playing through the monitor. Oh, is the delay screwing you up? <laughs> I mean, it could be. <laughs> Top uh, ten reasons the conveyor belts were a good addition to the FNAF franchise. They were the best one. serial killer of them all. Two, I played them with SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Don, do 
do you want to tab over to the actual TV so that there's not any delay? Then we couldn't hear Ubu. That's okay. We cannot hear Ubu for like it's five okay. minutes. It's okay. We don't want to hear Ubu anymore. <laughs> I just, I, we, we want to finish this, and I don't know if it's possible with the delay. It, it probably is. I just need to... You just need to Buy believe your in yourself. Guys, we need to believe in Dawn. Drop some emotes in the no, chat no, no, of no, Dawn. No. I just need to I cheese it. I believe in Santa Dawn. Santa Dawn. <laughs> I don't remember the rest of the words. To I don't song. know what the song is, so. <laughs> it's from A Year Without a Santa Claus. When the, the parents sing to the child about believing in Santa. I believe in. There we go. Yeah. Something. There's some, some dawns for good luck. Some dawns for good luck. We got Wiggly Seal Dawn. We got Rockin' Out Dawn. What else it better I not be Dawn of the Dead if you know what's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I jest, of course. Okay, People now I won't up. die immediately. Good. Chica. Chica. Chica, look. Uba, Uba, Chica. Oh. <laughs> Chica Boca, Chica Boca. Oh, Chica. <laughs> Whoa, Foxy, what the heck are you doing out of the maze? What's wrong with you? Foxy, what the heck are you doing in my Family Guy episode? <laughs> Ban that conveyor belt. Ah! Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> Just screams. <laughs> Chica Boca. Chica Boca. Foxy, what are you doing? <laughs> Foxy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Was that your Stewie Griffin? Foxy. <laughs> Foxy. 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 Uh oh, he saw you. I wish I I had my fire. Abby emotes right now. Uh. I would I would post the band <laughs> guy ones. Something is not quite right. We got we got Springtrap. We got Vanny Mash. We got Springtrap. Vanny. Brown Oprah, Brick. <laughs> I love building brown bricks in Princess Quest. Oh, I'm glad you're having a good time, Crispy Biscuit. I'm having a lot of fun. That's you got, you gotta remember it's having. Having? Can't be having, it's having. I'm having a lot of fun. Yeah, there you go. That's so phlegmy. <laughs> oh, there is, <laughs> there is no question. How's over there? How's over there? How's over there? There's uh, no quest other than the Chex quest. They wow, left that yeah. heart there because they knew that you were going to no, get hit. No, every time you take damage, if you destroy an enemy, they'll drop a heart. Oh. Every <gasps> time. Guys, yeah. look! Hey, look! It's from the... the it's the f it's the nine-tailed fox hidden Is inside Vanny. To Vanuto. Vanuto? <laughs> it's, it's the... It's from... Uh, um, it's the door that Glitch Trap is trapped in in Help Wanted. Did somebody now, say door to darkness? The end is near... <gasps> And so I face <laughs> the final, final evil. <laughs> Man, that was annoying. <laughs> Is on that my ears. from Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Bowser from other games? <gasps> Guys, look, it's an ending. Crap! The game stopped working! Oh, frick! Don't use that language. Bad language makes for bad feelings. A dull boy. <laughs> <laughs> she gave it up. She just wanted to bring terror throughout the land, but... She ripped her own head off. <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go home. Let's go get ice cream. Hi, how are you? 
Yay! <laughs> we did it. We it's got a sad ending, I guess. An ending. It's an ending. And that's good enough for tonight. We got an ending. Uh, oh. I still think my favorite ending in Security Breach is the one where Freddy and Gregory drive away in the car. And and Greg, uh, Fred's like, oh, Gregory, do you know how to drive? And then they run, and they, like, do the jump, and it's like, yeah! And then, uh, and then he dies, and he, like, jumps in with the battery from the car, and they're like, yeah! Da -da, da -da 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 -da. It's so good. That one is just my favorite. It's the most ridiculous one. Oh, so good. Freddy goes, do you know how to drive? And Gregory goes, you don't need a license to drive the sandwich. Burn Trap is a good one. Of course, that's the, the canon ending, so. Um, Supposedly. Your favorite is when he goes to sleep with the box? Crispy, <laughs> why? That's the saddest one. How's it a canon ending if Afton's in hell? Well... <laughs> Because he That's always comes thing. back. Yeah, he always comes back. We all knew this. Always. Um, like a Scooby-Doo villain. <laughs> he does. He, he goes on to be back. a world-famous monster truck star. Exactly. And I would have come back again, too, if it wasn't for those darn kids in the animatronic suits. Zoinks, man. I always come back. Totally, dude. Like I'd always come back if there was food. All right. That's why it's a pizzeria. Split spring trap in half. Yeah. <laughs> all right, gang. Let's split up and scare the kids. So like, all the animatronics, all of the animatronics are just, are just the Scooby-Doo Scooby -Doo gang. gang. Yeah. All right, Monty is uh, Fred from Scooby-Doo. That's his placement in the family. Yep, that's what you do, and um, you set your respawn point here, and then you call it good. Don, what are you doing? A thing. He's gonna jump off the top floor. <laughs> Do it, I tried. It doesn't let you. It doesn't let you. He tried. Even if actually. you push all the Wait, blocks. Wait, are you doing the ending, I love? Yeah, I'll do Yay! that. Yay! Okay, we get it's one just more ending, run guys. Over here it's and so do it. it's easy to get to. It's literally run over here, take a few elevators, you're done. I mean, it, Ready? Right. Cool it's Ready Rashbeer. Did you know that everyone? <laughs> Ready Rashbeer. Yes, it's true. Oh, you haven't seen this one, Crispy? Well, you are in for a treat. You're in for a big surprise. Look at that wall. It hasn't been cleaned in 30 years. 30 years! That crack in the wall looks kind of like a funny bird. A <laughs> funny bird. <laughs> eh, I'll just go for it. Basically a straight shot. So. Here we go! I'm sure there's going to be some random person in my way. Oh, you're actually... It's me, I'm in my way. I hear Chica. Yeah, it's Chica. It's okay, I made it. Yay! Hooray! Gregory, you did it. Have... Leave. Yeah! Best ending! Fuzzbur! Uh... Don't worry, Gregory. I will keep you safe. Vanessa well, I... can't find us if we're on a road trip. <laughs> And Aunt Frog says, like, no, uh uh. Hello, please take this map! Was that the bite of 87? Yes. Yes, it was. He ain't gonna live long enough. Hey! <laughs> He's so evil the looking. Power, I feel. <laughs> uh oh, they're gonna. Oh my god! Yeah! They did it! The complex is three stories, including uh, three sub basements, based on the distance of the elevator going down, and it probably has an entire square footage above, uh, probably between 500 feet to 1,000 feet. So oh as no. far as the square footage, it would be like 10,000 no. square foot, and then cubic would probably be the five floors, so it'd basically be roughly 50,000 square foot, give or take a. You 10, Let's 000. put it on his ears. Zap, crack, zap. Zap, crackle, pop. Now Gregory. you can run forever. Now Bobby can't 
can't ever take you away from me. <laughs> Let's go get ice cream. into the sun. Cause I'm the cool parent. There you go. There's another end. How is that only two stars? And that because was... of his traumatic past, Gregory gained a deep eight for billboards. <laughs> well, Ubu, that was a terrific time playing Security Breach with you. Thanks. I had fun. That's it. That's I had fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were able to come hang out with us today. Uh, me too. Um, so y'all, I'm probably gonna end the stream here. I couldn't really find anyone to raid. So, uh, we're probably just going to fade off into the evening together. And, uh, if y'all don't already follow Blue Star Obu, the names in the title, you can go give him a follow. Has my and, character uh, been squinting the entire time? No. Oh, <laughs> You've been very suspicious at it now. Of this I'm just like, so, I don't it's know, last couple days, I feel like my eyes have been squinting too much. No, like, I'm not actually Thank squinting you so that much often. For the follow. Thank you for following. We're going to be wrapping up tonight to the beautiful sounds of this ending credits. So, we will catch you all next time. And uh, tomorrow we will be streaming Robo Robocop Rogue City and hopefully continuing ending, uh, it. getting to the finale. So uh, if you guys would like to join us for that, you are welcome to. And make sure you catch Ubu next time he streams. Whatever that is. <laughs> it will be random. Just watch your <laughs> notifications, y'all. <laughs> all right. Well, Ubu, have a wonderful night. We will catch you all later. Bye everyone! Catch you on the flippity Bye -bye. flip.